Good evening, folks. This is your host, N Commander, and welcome to the first late night, at least for me, stream <clears throat> that we're doing on the channel. It's a bit of an experiment to see how much leeway I have in terms of both scheduling and topic. Uh, for those who follow me on Discord or on Mastodon, you'll know that my last week has been, shall we say, a bit hectic, and that's about all I'm going to say. So, I wanted to do streams every weekend in December, and that didn't happen. Um, I've just been too badly swamped, but I still want to try and get to that 5k, so instead of completely writing off this weekend, I want to do something that I personally want to do, which is kind of unwind, and see if we can get an ascension on screen. Uh, for those who are not familiar, and I, I'm going to actually load up NetHack. We're going to start a new game, but but I will. Let's see here. Uh, is it under here? There's uh, NetHack is a very very old game. NetHack is actually older than I am. The first release was in 1987, and I'm hoping the text is big enough to see on stream. Um, yeah, I know, there was no technical difficulties. I was ready for this one. Um, but NetHack is a 35-year-old game. It's one of the most complicated ones in the genre. NetHack is notorious. I'd actually say it's probably harder than Dwarf Fortress, um, at least prior to Dwarf Fortress actually having a UI, because um, it uses quite literally every key on my keyboard. Um, it's pretty impressive. So I'm going to explain the game as I go along. And it is possible. NetHack is a console game. You can run it on basically anything. I've ported it to Solaris. I've had it on AIX. I've had it on a lot of other ones. I'm going to roll a new character here. Um, so we're going to be playing. Uh, I'm on the hard fought public server. I'm going to be on NetHack 3.7.0 hard fought branch. Uh, so that's V. I am going to roll random for every character. Uh, since again, I've actually managed to beat this. Uh, so let's see what we start with. Um, so we are a digger. Um, yeah. We are a neutral female gnomish archaeologist. That is an interesting starting combo. So there are 12 classes in NetHack. All of them have different starting inventory and different skills archaeologists are basically the spoof of indiana jones they are they're essentially this the, the way the game treats them is that they are what are known as the tool users which you can see here on my right panel um i started with a bull rip a fedora a leather jacket three food rations a sack a pickaxe a tinning kit and a touchstone the touchstone i will get into when it becomes relevant um, but it definitely, um, will be useful. The problem is that we have incredibly, uh, I do mean incredibly bad weapon skills. The whip is garbage. It's one of the worst weapons in the game. Can I, let me see here. Can I actually, some versions of this have a, um, have a dice but i think the whip is like 1d4 and does not work on armored equip uh foes we do have a pickaxe which is slightly less horrible but yeah weapons are gonna be a real problem uh frederick horsey thank you for the ten dollar donation so basically the goal of the game is you have been tasked by your deity to get the Amulet of Yendor, which is at the very bottom of the, the dungeons, um, the dungeon, and then get all the way out. It's essentially an extension of NetHack. I just realized I am not recording this stream, but that's fine. I'll just, I'll start the recording a little late. Um, that's really there all is for plot. There is a lot of things in this game that I will cover as we go, but right here on the start, we have this exclamation point. That is a fizzy point uh, potion. Yes. Um, and the both the amulet of Yendor and Rodney come from the original Rogue. I would say NetHack is probably the closest successor of it, although it's not 
the actual it has no i don't believe it has any code in common with the original rogue so one of the big I, things that we're gonna have to deal with is that potion items are unidentified uh every character does start with some knowledge of tools like i know what a uh sack and a gemstone uh a touchstone look like but that's it um one of the big aspects of net hack is to determine what the items are and how to deal with them so okay so let's explore this first level um because right now we need basically everything and we just lost our cat to a teleportation trap uh they are on go they're going to be on the level somewhere we just have to find them actually i'm going to switch to the pickaxe instead of using that bullwhip um let me make sure and actually if that's what we're going to use as a weapon i just need to make sure auto dig is disabled we'll do it uh pickaxes can dig holes in the the maze but we don't want to do that because it takes a lot of time so let's just explore this level and uh okay i just found a different teleport trap uh and i did find my cat i do actually want to name the cat because if the the cat is actually more powerful than fighter than me. So who am I going to name the cat? I think I'm just going to call the cat Kitty. But maybe I'll start naming it after don donors. So, um... Similar. Uh, I'm going to go with... You know what? I like Fluffy more. That's actually better. I did turn the stream latency down to its absolute lowest level. So let's go with Fluffy. Let's see how many fluffies we're going to go through, because I don't... I I have ascended in NetHack. I've never ascended an archaeologist, and they are considered one of the hardest roles. So there's the door to the upstairs. So let's, let's keep looking around. Let's see what's on this level. An altar! It's a lawful or altar, but that is actually an amazing find for the early game. So altars, you can do a lot of things with, um, and they are aligned uh, to various things. I'm a neutral character, which you can see down here. Uh, this is a lawful one, but even though it's not um, not aligned, I can use this to determine if an item is blessed or not. So this fizzy potion is blessed, and this one's uncursed. That is That is actually an amazing level one find. Uh, and we'll be able to do a lot more with that as the game. Why do I have a second? Really? This game? A neutral altar. I have a co-aligned altar on level one. I, I'm not imagining this, right? Like, this is real. Uh, what is it? Layout? There is a command that shows me the layout of... So we have some scrolls. Um, you'll also notice that I am putting the potions and scrolls in the sack as I get them. Just because they can be destroyed by combat. So if they're not in your open inventory, they are safe. Uh, I've got a locked door here. Okay, I'm going to kick this door down. And there is nothing here. That is interesting. Um, it's a statistical chance for each room. Uh, NetHack's code is fairly spaghetti, um, considering how many generations it's been handed down. Um, this has potential. This has a lot of potential. I could use that for sacrificing. Um... I'm going to come, we're going to come back to this, but that is a really amazing first level. All right, so level two, we have a fountain. Um, I just want to remember what the keystroke is. Just to give you an idea of how many game commands there are, I'm looking at the list of them right now. You notice how it just kind of keeps going? There is one that shows me the layout of the entire dungeon. Uh, but we'll come back to that. Alright, so we need to definitely find a lockpick. There's a surprising lack of monsters in this. Okay. 
Yo, one of these days, I should load up an Ancient BSD and actually try Rogomatic. Um, I've never tried it. Ooh, 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 what is that? Two tins. That could be really useful because they could be spinach. Um, I will come back to these because I want to see if they're cursed before I open them. So those are going to sit in my bag for now. Uh, how am I doing on weight? Oh yeah, this version doesn't show weight, so I will only know when I get to what is called Wafer Fin Mint Territory. Um, Rogue Mac was, so for those who don't know, basically Rogue is notorious for, well, all roguelites are notorious for being quite hard to beat. Um, a liquor emporium. Okay, uh, I gotta put in my pickaxe. Are you gonna let me in? Yes, you are. How? That is an early holy water. That's actually... Okay, so... Here's the thing. Most of the time you can't tell what an item is based off its appearance. Water is an exception to this rule. It's one of the very few in the game. And Dylan, thank you for the 40 New Zealand dollar exception. Uh, so a base price of 7 means that this is unblessed water. A clear potion that is a hundred Zork uh, Zorkamids, that is either holy or unholy water. And unholy water actually is a surprisingly useful item in this game. Like, that is a... That is an amazingly good find for this part. I'm almost... I'm not going to do it yet, but I am really tempted to rob this store. <gasps> Smoky. What is this lock? A Smoky Potion? Smoky Potions can grant wishes. And we have the altar directly above. I'm going to come back to this, but... Uh, we are going to clean out that shop. I just have to figure out how we're going to do it. If we can find a vault, it would be ideal. But I am so squishy right now that I don't want to think about it. Like, it would only take one or two hits to end me as a, a character. Alright, let's grab that gold. Wow, this is... This is actually really anonymous thank you for the 33 dollar donation to uh trevor project what what chat i swear i uh... what the sh I make, can I get skills with saber? Archaeologists get skills with saber. What the shit? A level two silver saber. No, apparently the game is messing with me. Apparently if I'm not doing cursed computing, the game actually is going to do it for me. Um, this is not an artifact. I can pick it up. I need to know if that's blast. We're going to take, I'm going to finish this level and then we're going to go back up because that is actually could be my best in slot weapon because again, archeologists like have Jack. Uh, I will take those bamboo arrows. They're not very useful, but if I find a bow, they're better than nothing. I... I'm having very deep thoughts. There's the stairs. I'm just going to pop down and then pop back up. Just in case I fall down a trap door. Um... You know what? I'm actually going to smash this boulder. And that's a jackal. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, I am not... I am not dying this... 
quick this early. Uh, where is my pet? Okay, I'm at 7 HP. Hey, there we go. I'm going to eat that jackal corpse. Uh, I want to know if that saber is cur- Okay, run, 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 run. Yeah, see, this is the part where I might die very, very quickly, because I am not... Yeah, I'm at 3 HP. I'm going to pray. And that was actually a very good move, because now I got two additional hit points out of that. Prayer is not a reliable escape item, but it was very likely to do exactly what I needed to right there. I need to move. Uh, the Archaeologists start with stealth and they start with speed um i'm actually going to let my cat take care of these this if i can get them close enough the cat will deal with them um even though i need the experience actually i can kill that one 10 and i can kill that one i will eat the sewer wrap and i will pick up the food ration What is this? What is this RNG? All right, I'm actually going to mine out a path here to make my life a little easier. Okay. All right. So what is with this silver? The saber is okay. The saber is uncursed. I can't really use it at the moment. So here's the problem with the saber. I don't have, um, I have to use it about 25 times to get the skill level. I'm actually better off going back to the whip for the time being. And then once I have a few levels, I can switch to using that saber. And once the saber reaches basic, I'll be able to use it as my main weapon. I'm too likely to die if I used it right now. Um, let me take out what I don't know. Let's see here. Un take out unknown cursed items, and let's just drop them all. Okay, so those bamboo arrows were cursed. We've got two blessed tins. That might be spinach. Um, I'm going to see if those are spinach. It's newts. That's actually not that bad. That's a power boost, so I will eat those. And that brings me up to saturated. Okay. Uh, all right. I am basically good with this so far. So let's put the consumables and these scrolls and potions away. Uh, several version. The original Unix version was officially released. I know it's in BSD games, uh, and I believe the BSD games version comes from the was started with the code from the Vax version of the, of the BSDs. I'm not certain on that one though. I really, really want to raid that shop, but I am so squishy right now that I am likely one mistake and I die. Let me get rid of. Let's let's uh, let's go down to the next level. Oh, I'm confused. I have to wait this out. If I move, I could kill my cat. There we go. Less confused. And I have to be careful. I am saturated. I really don't want to choke to death at this point. Alright. That's a statue of a bat. That's a rock. Alright. Let's just take it very slowly. I am thinking Gnomish Mines is the way to go here. I'm a gnome, which means that the, the mines will be mostly peaceful. But I am having some strength problems. I can't get this door to come down. All right, we will go around. 
The standard strategy with the with the archaeologist is you use the pickaxe as a starting weapon. What do we have here? Glass orb. Uh, that could actually be really useful. Four gold pieces. Spell book could also be useful. Let me put that away. Um, I don't know how my weight is doing. Um, what's X evil and X pilot? There's definitely a lot that we could do future. Like, if we actually get an ascension on camera, which I don't think would happen tonight, um, if nothing else, it will just take too long. Like, even if I don't, like, die. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tin this, and I'm going to hold on to it until uh, I have lower saturation. Because, again, newts can give you three power points, and that's, that will be useful for the late game. Uh, that's a bat. Uh, let me see here. I want the bat to... Oh, shit. Yeah, like I said, I am remarkably squishy right now. Um, things cannot move diagonally through doors. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Ooh. That was a little scary. Let me rest here for a bit. I'm just typing 10 and dot, so it... it that is exactly what I needed. You hear the sounds of a guard on patrol. That means there's a vault on this level. I am going to find that vault. Yes. I I definitely need the cat. Uh, I need the cat to do thing. Green mold. Hold on. I don't remember how green molds work. Green molds have special... That might be how I get that skill point I need. Do they have a splash? Green mold causes acid damage. If I use the silver saber, which cannot get acid damage, I might be able to level it up. Let me take off my armor. I want to wield the saber. And then this should be safe. Yeah, see, see how I'm missing that many times? It's because I'm unskilled in this weapon. But I can't take silver damage. I can't take silver. Uh, silver weapons are immune to that type of damage. If we can use that silver saber, it will be amazing. All right, so that's another staircase. We actually have two staircases on this level, which means one of these is the Gnomish Mines. Um, I think I want to find that vault. There is a DAWs version of this game, although free for which is where I started playing it. Because um, my father used to get play uh, told me about he how he used to play Rogue in college and medical school, and I found a copy of PC Rogue that I used to play as a kid on a real shitbox machine. Uh, the original Rogue is very RNG. There are strategies, but it's not a sure thing. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna let the cat level up. And then we are gonna try and find this vault, because that will be amazing going to Mine Town. So the vault has very specific rules on how it can spawn. It has to spawn in a, uh, it's a four by four space with walls. So if I just dig around here, it's a pretty good chance I'll find it. 
That's not it, but that is money in the wall. So I will take that. And that's another green mold, which we are going to wield. Actually, it's a lichen. And we continue this. Slow and steady is the rule of this challenge. Because if we find the vault, we can go get those potions up a floor. Um, we could also try and get down to Mine Town and buy some divine protection. Uh, Cobalt. Hey, experience level 2. Now I'm up to 19 health points. Okay, so the vault has to be here, here, or here. There's no other places on the map it could spawn in. There's not enough room up here. Uh, Goblin. I am actually going to try and wield the Silver Saber because I should have an open slot at this point. And we have another Lichen. And the Lichen dropped throwing stars of all things. Uh, Lichen corpses never degrade, so I can just grab that and go. This is proving to be quite a very lucrative level. Actually, I'm no longer saturated, so I can just eat that corpse for the weight. Okay, we are getting gold. It's not the way I was expecting to do it. I don't usually do this this early in the game. Uh, let me see here. Where is this vault? Because that vault is going to have a lot of money. It'll have about it'll have about a thousand coins in it, with which for this stage in the game will actually be amazing. But I've spent a lot of turns on this level looking for this damn thing. And I like I have no easy way like Without a detect treasure skill, it's easier said than done. All right, how far over here can I go? So, so it could fit. I could go one more left. I fit, there it is. Five hundred. A thousand. I gotta be careful. I have to be quick because if the guard comes. Uh, we just got over 1,500 gold for that. That is an amazing, amazing... That is an amazing find for this stage of the game. Now, the question is, what do I do with it? I am tempted to go down into the mines. The mines could be kind of a death trap, but I am a no. That was... That was solid. That was very solid. If we can get some armor... In the Gnomish Mines... Um, this will become considerably more survivable. And I do want to go back and grab those potions, but I don't need the weight right now. I, I'm i just really hope we, worried we're going to... Hey, experience level three. Okay, I'm actually feeling a little bit better about going down to the mines right now. So let's... That's not the mines. Uh, it must be the other staircase. Add... Uh, add in... Uh, that means to the vaults. That means there's a secret room here. There was a vault teleporter. We don't need that because we found it the hard way. But I did lose my cat. And I don't want to go down into the, no the mines 
without the damn cat. There he is. Come on. The uh, the pe the pets will try and follow you, but it's not ideal. I really need a leash. Uh, something we can f we will likely find in the mines if we are lucky. Uh, an ankles would also be a very useful find. So what do we have here? Gridbug, peaceful dwarf, gridbug, peaceful gnome. Now, now you're gonna understand why I why did it have to be a flipping dark level? I hate dark levels. Uh, I'm going to wield the silver saber. Let us see if we can get that skill level. Giant rat. All right, I got back off because of my health. Um, we have a homunculus right there. I'm not liking this. I'm going to, I'm going to wait here. Unfortunately, now my pet is down there, which is not a good place to be. Uh, I am archaeologist. All right, I want to heal up the full before I go back down there. Footsteps of a guard on the patrol. Oh no, it's a. Di you still get that message even after you've raided the vault. I'm going to switch back to the bullwhip. I want to stay on the stairs and deal with this homunculus. Hobgoblin, homunculus. Uh, this is dangerous. The homunculus bites. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, great. And my cat is still eating. Uh, you know what? This is not bad. This is actually not as bad. Let me quiver those throwing stars. Let's see if we can use them. Because I can double turn this homunculus. Like that. Uh... Because if I write an Eberleth right now, it would cause me an alignment penalty that I really don't think I can afford. Uh, I need to make I need to make some room here. Let's let's see if we can run. Let me see if I can get to the upstairs. And I just realized I disequipped all of this. Can I fire at you? No. Wait. Wait one more turn. You know what? What I can do is now that they're here, I can loop back around and that is dangerous. That is very dangerous. And now I am hungry. Yeah, I gotta get off this shit. I gotta be careful. This this is a this is a good way to die right here. Let me let me avoid this combat. Uh, what are you? You're a leech, and please drop a corpse. You did. Let me just make sure I can't enhance. No, not yet. Two, three, four. Uh, you know what? Like, I need to be able to lock you somewhere. How do you keep being there? Uh, you know what? I'm near full health, but that monster could put me to sleep and kill me. And I don't have a good way to deal with that. <sighs> that is a problem. Alright. So basically, the homunculus... Let me see what the homunculus' hit die is, because I actually need to know this. They hit dice, they can hit... They have a 1d3 sleep attack. 
And the way sleep works is I could be put to sleep up to... Uh, in combat, they could get several free hits on me and completely end me. That enemy is a little bit too dangerous to deal with because I'm at 9 AC. Yeah, I'm at 9 AC. I'm not actually sure the, what the 140 of... I Maybe that's the weight, although the weight should be out of, like, 100. But I should be close to what I can actually carry. Let me see if I can kite this enemy away and off the level. Because I am, again, I am fast. Which means... And we are out of here! I'm going to grab those throwing stars. Not that they're super useful, but... Uh, and what do we have? We have a jackal here. Okay. Okay, that was a little, that was, that was a little, uh, dodgy. So, pets will attack peacefuls, and I will not get penalized for that. Although, and that dwarf is wearing armor. Because look how much that, how many misses that is. That is a dwarf I want to keep an eye on. Uh, armored dwarf. If I can somehow get that dwarf out of that armor, it would be amazing. There's a bag here. Ooh! A bag of tricks! That is very useful for the altars we found. That is a way we can get sacrifice gifts. Uh, that is a very good find for this part of the game. I just only want to do this first level of the mines. Um, yeah, this this is this is coming quite solid. Yeah, see, that armored dwarf has to have armor. Uh, what's, what is that K? Cobalt Lord, I am out here. Uh, okay. I gotta be getting close. Okay, Black Potion. We've had a lot of Black Potions drop. Yeah, this, my cat does, is having... Yeah, see, a cat keeps trying to deal... Uh, oh, cool. A corpse, uh, a stone, a uh, gem, and a... So here's how touchstones work. If you're an archaeologist, or no anyone who can, you can use a bless touchstone. If you're an archaeologist or a gnome, you can use a um, uncursed one to immediately identify... Uh, gemstones. This is worthless glass, so we don't need it. Um, yeah, those two are just going to basically fight until there's no one left. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye and explore a... Oh, a dart trap. Uh, that actually... If I can untrap that, that is useful. All right, I'm going to leave this alone for the moment because, again, health. And uh, you can see that those two are still at it. That is an armored dwarf that we definitely want to relieve of their armor at some point. Let me just see what else we got here. White gem. Worthless. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Let's see here. Um... Yeah. Uh, the bag of tricks has about five charges. What I can do, and loot, and using loot to identify it will not use up a charge. So I can do that to get some sacrificial fodder on the altar. And I am feeling weak, which means it is time to pray, because I want to save as much food as I can. Uh, so I prayed on turn 2,460, so I can't pray safely for another 900 turns. Uh, this is so far going actually pretty well. Let's see what else. An acid blob. 
Uh, I'm gonna let that be. Let's keep looking what we've got here in these mines. I really wish I had a light source. It's not horrible as a gnome because I've got infravision. But cavern levels are just by definition more dangerous. An acid blood corp. Uh, a floating eye. Game, why are you doing this to me? Floating eyes are one of the most deadly ways to die in NetHack, and they are one of the most useful items in the goddamn game. I'm going to come back for this. I'm going to the altar. Um, acid blobs uniquely do not degrade. Uh, this is the lawful altar. Uh, not the lawful. This is the neutral one, right? I have a hopeful feeling. Okay, so that just reduced my prayer time out. Well, this is off to a start. AC of nine. Um, I really would like some armor game. Like, you know, you've given me everything else. Do you know, we could try for an early wish. We have the fountain right here, but I could... Which means that I could make a water source. We could do a water prayer. And I could try blessing for an early wish. I don't even know if I hate that idea. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to do it. Oh, look. There's the homunculus again. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and actually kill this thing. Because this is going to be an ongoing problem. Oh, yes, and this is why Silver Sabers are amazing. Demons take additional damage, and they got that's why you get that Sears the Flesh. Okay, all right, so, so far, so good. Um, I mean, we're just talking about the early game here. I'm not even talking, we're not even into, this is literally, we're just trying to get this thing started. Um... Why do I have two smoky potions now? Chat, do you think I should try for the wish? See, the problem is I don't even know what smoky is in this game. I haven't identified any potions. That is like a, that is like as much as a flipping invitation. Like, why am I getting so many smokies? It has to be something. It has to be a common potion. Like, what do I have in this bag? Look in the sack. I think we're going to have to do a round of identification here. I I I don't even have scrolls of identification unlocked. Let me think about this. Let me go. Let me go to the. Um, you know, there's another homunculus here. Oh, we just had brown potions identified. Gain level. Did we have one of those? No, but at least we know what it is now. Yeah, you know, I. I uh, Like, I do not... This monster generation is not my friend. Experience level four, and... Hey, look, we got a piece of armor, finally. That's nice. Alright, I am going to head... To, you know, I think I want to... We're going to have to raid that potion shop. We are not doing particularly well. Oh! Oh! We just got the weapon skill for Saber. And look, now I'm starting now I'm starting to kill things. Uh cave spiders. Can I I think cave spiders is 
poison us. Uh, they are not poisonous, and they have a chance of poison resistance, which is one of the big things I am going to need. Which I did not get. It's only 7% chance for those. Um, let's put the pickaxe away. Um, pickaxe and tin kit can go away. What do I want to grab out of this store? Fizzy, orange... Clear, white. I think I want to grab, try for that early wish. The problem is my luck is not going to be very good, but even if I get a plus zero gray dragon scale, it's still in development. I'm playing, I'm playing the hard fought branch. Let me grab as many potions as I can. Let me grab that clear potion. Um, I believe we have a couple of black potions. I wouldn't mind knowing what that is. Uh, sky blue. I'm going to grab that clear. I'm also going to grab an orange. Um... Yeah, I know. I think I want to try for that wish. All right, that was expensive. I can actually buy a few more potions. Let me find out what this black potion actually is. Uh, so let me actually grab a spare one. And let's go figure out which ones of these are actually blessed. So, first I want to take everything out of the sack that I don't know the stats of. Drop. Really, the game is going to give me an unholy water just like that. You know what? That's fine. Um, Unholy Water is one of the more obnoxious things to get in this game. I am okay with this. Uh, so there is a trick to doing potion identification. Uh, we want to find a closet and lock ourselves in it because we may end up paralyzed. And fortunately, there is a closet right here. Um... I don't have a way to lock this, but I'm going to try drink. We're just going to drink that black potion. Slime mold. That's a fruit juice potion. Or, uh, that actually may be the wrong message. Um, I think that's the message for fruit juice. Yeah, that's a fruit. That's fruit juice. That is a completely useless potion. We can, we can dilute that one freely. Uh, we want to keep holy water as is. We want to keep that cursed holy water. So that one's going in the pile. That is possibly one of the best possible rolls I could have gone here. Um, unfortunately, that is a cur You know what? I can work with this. Like, we can actually work with this. Okay, so there is a... So let's, let's do this. So that's going to go away. I think we're going to do a water prayer here. Um, you know what? You're right. That could actually have been um, Sea Invisible. But I thought Sea Invisible had a specific message. Let's see here. Sea Invisible. Yeah, no. Sea Invisible has a specific message if it's not cursed. So that's fine. See, because now we can turn, we could take the clear potion, we can take the two fruit juices, and unless the orange potion is acid, which it might be, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. And actually, just before, I just realized I have an armor piece that I'm not wearing. Oop, that was not what I wanted to do. So, um... Let's take off that fedora. Where B... 
Hey, look, we we finally gained an armor point. Uh, let me let's go up the stairs. Let's start making a stash because we need to. I need to. We need to be strategic about this. Let's drop the bag of tricks. Let's drop the sack. The touchstone goes down. Let's drop that. The scroll. And then the, the other one. Oh, I just noticed we have bugs coming in. Let's get rid of the stuff that we don't care about. The fedora we don't care about. The bullwhip. I think I'm just going to drop the bullwhip. It's not that useful. So what I need to grab here is I need my pickaxe. And then from here, let's grab the pickaxe and you'll see what I'm about to do. So here's a fountain. And if I drink from the fountain, I might get a wish. The better use here is to make pools of water. So I need to do AE down. That destroys the fountain, and that creates permanent water sources on the map. Now, I have to be very careful about this. So now we're going to go back up, and I have to drop everything except the stuff I want to get wet. Yeah, this is this is an old 35-year-old game. Uh, let's drop the sack, the fruit juice, and then I want to keep these smoky potions as is. So, and I'm I'm actually just going to make that orange potion. I'm going to just take that orange potion and I'm going to dilute it. I'm going to turn it into holy water. Um, and also I want to disable sticky keys because that is getting annoying. Uh, how do I turn off that shortcut? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm going to I'm going to So here's how you do it. So now now that I've got an empty inventory, if I move into a pool of water. All right, I have to use the move prefix. I when the moment I enter water, you notice that these all became diluted. If I do it a second time, they start becoming clear water like that and now I can just drop them pick them up and we are good to go I just don't think I can pray yet I think it's been too soon but I am now set to do the water prayer so as soon as we can do it um, let's see here because I prayed on turn 2400 and 20 which means it's too soon to do it i have to 2490 i need to wait until turn 33,990 before i can safely do a water prayer which is fine we're not in a rush um i'm going to drop the fedora because i am a little heavy on weight we're going to uh, i want to actually switch my inventory level letters around Drop the bullwhip. Uh, I will quiver the throwing stars, but it's not that useful. Uh, I will drop the spell book for now. The sack, I'm going to put the potions in, but I'm my inventory is getting a little bit full. And when I am ready for it, we'll do a round of scroll identification. Whew. So far, so good. Oh, I just realized there was donations that I didn't read off. Anonymous made a $40 donation. Thank you so much. A little earlier tonight. You know what? We can use the bag of tricks, though, to try and get some sacrifice gifts. But again, I want my prayer timeout to be zero. So let's go do some exploring. Uh, we can go down a few dungeon levels. I think we're in a good enough shape that we could actually do that at this point. Yeah, so let's let's explore the dungeon a little bit. Uh, let's go. Let's continue. Let's look a little bit more here. What's going on in the mine? 
Uh, I've been off this level long enough that my cat may have forgotten who I am, but no. Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's just find the stairs to the next n mines level while we're here, because we have to kill time. Um, you can only... The, wa the prayer has to succeed to get holy water. Uh, oh, there's the stairs. There's the stairs. What is with these dark mines? I hate dark mines. Uh, is that a leechin or is that a fungus? That is a leechin. That is dinner. That's dinner of a. That is dinner of a book. That is actually useful. I will say, I think this is the. This is not a bad start for an archaeologist. There's my cat. All right, um, have you leveled up? Because you've been, no, you ha you're still kin. Let's, let me see here. All right, let me see here. Because like I said, tools and items are our big, uh, like I said, archeologists need tools. Although that silver saber is probably the stupidest, a bear trap, really. <laughs> I'm tempted to unarm it, disarm it, and take it with us, but they are very heavy. Two yellowish de gems. Useless. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that is death. That is death. Uh, I need to uh, take food, please. Um. Uh, throw D down. And now we got a second cat. Now we now we have two cats. It cost me a food ration, but um, cats are scary. So I now we have Fluffy two. Oh man, th th this is like insanely difficult. What is that trap there? Anti magic field and a bear trap. And we grab... Oh, we, we have an acid blood corpse. I'm going to grab that and go. Um, let us... Shit. Uh, I, need to, I need to move very carefully. If I hit that floating eye, that is going to be a game over. And this floating eye is on the up staircase. That is like a potential game ending mistake right there. Uh, cat, please come one more closer. Oh shit, I just noticed my HP. Um, Alright, so let me offer this. Sacrifice is confused, consumed in a uh, cloud of smoke means that I can pray safely. So let me grab the clear potions. Um, let us drop those on the altar. Now let me make sure I'm standing on the altar. Yeah, I am. Pray. Wow, uh, my deity just actually blessed my silver saber for me. So I succeed. So here's what I did. So this is not a mechanic that's documented in the book. This is what's called the water prayer. If you have water on the altar when you pray, and the prayer was successful, the your deity will bless it, which is what just happened here. Holy water can be used to bless items because I am considered in good favor of my God. My God actually blessed my silver saber for me it's not actually that useful although i think maybe it actually got like a plus one on there because it's not it's not actually been identified um i could have done the water prayer at five hp but then i'd have to heal it back that's asking that's asking for a death like right there let us find out what smoky potions are. Because the smoky is something relatively minor. Um, yeah, 
And we got a tin out of that. Okay, hold on. Like, if we get a spinach tin, it would be amazing for this account. It's uncursed. Um, it's not worth the holy water. Okay, so let me... Hobbits. Um, Hobbits is safe to eat. Let us find out. Actually, you know what, the, what we can do here is we can go here. Let me get the cat through. Let us close that door. And let's stay in this room. Just on the offhand chance that this is a polymorph. Because that is about the worst possible scenario here. So that's a smoky potion. Take off B. And the way you do this is you dip. Uh, you want... I don't want to do alchemy. How, I'm trying to remember the right way to do this. Um, hold on. Drop 3H. Dip C H. And now we have Blessed Smoky Potion. Invisibility! That's actually not a horrible... That is not a horrible potion. Um... It is temporary, but that's actually one of the best things I could have gone for Smokey. Uh, which means we can probably get a wish out of that. That is actually, like, amazing. That's one of the best possible things I could have gotten. Oh! It's blessed. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's actually a problem because now I can't use the stores in Mine Town. But you want to know something that that's actually really good for survivability? Because invisibility is what? 4 AC? Let me see here. I think it's like a 4 AC swing. Uh, it all monsters take a minus two hit penalty considering I am fast and stealthy. Um, that is actually amazing for this account because I can't survive a fight. I legitimately cannot survive in a fight in this account, so that is about as good as it gets. That is a win. That is a, that is a huge win. I am tempted to uncurse the other one. Um,. Let me... You know what? I'm thinking I'm going to use test that fizzy potion. But before we do that... I do want to test what it could potentially be. Um, let me grab a useless item. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Where B? Where B? Okay, so my ace... So that is a that was a pretty solid thing. Let me grab the fedora because if uh, if this is a um, a potion of polymorph, let's see here. So dip C. Okay, so it does nothing. Can I apply it? I can't apply it, so it's not oil. Um, the dangerous ones here are sickness, paralysis. Hallucin um, hallucinogen. You know, I should wait until I can pray safely. I don't need to know more. This is a victory. Let's not take more risks. Um, I do want to camp this altar, but that is going to get interesting. I'm going to grab that spell book. Actually, no, I'm going to leave the spell book here for now. Um, yeah, see, the problem is my pet is having even having trouble finding me. Which is not a great place to start. But, like, if I attack... Yeah, see, the, the enemies are now having considerable trouble actually attacking me. Oh, look, a Shrieker. A uh, Shrieker corpse. I don't think they give intrinsics, do they? They give poison. So let's see if we can... 
You feel healthy. That is a that is a massive one. Poison is one of the few things that can kill you instantly in net hack. Goff Alice, thank you for the fifty dollar Canadian donation. Okay, I'm saying this 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 archaeologist is stupidly squishy, but we are not in a bad place to be. And we've also got some strength level ups. Uh, strength fifteen, Constitution fifteen, Intelligence fifteen, Wisdom sixteen. I didn't realize they that is actually really high. I don't know any spells. Once I get a few more levels, I could probably read... You know what? Actually, I'm going to make an executive decision here. Uh, curved Sword is probably not useful, but I'll just grab it for the moment. Um, yeah, okay. I didn't think it was. This spell book, I'm going to bless it and I'm going to read it. Because a ble uh, in vanilla, let me just go somewhere safe to do this. Levitation. I can't cast it. Can I get skills to escape? No, I can't. Okay, so that's completely. That is completely useless for 20,000 turns, but then that is my source of confusion. That was actually not a bad thing to do. So I want to just mark that I have read this one. Uh, levitation, I read once. And now we uh, we can sell it, but we're never going to need it. We'll, we'll, ne we'll never cast it. And uh, I will just sacrifice this here since I'm here. Yeah, okay, I'm still on prayer timeout. That's fine. Um, archaeologists can two weapon. Can we two weapon? Yes, we can. the the got the the amazing setup here is either we get a long sword from our god and then we could dip for it. Oh, well, we're not lawful, so we can't get Excalibur. So, um, I think it's going to be dual so silver saber, which means we will go for the end game like absolutely nothing. This is about. This is like the. This is about as god tier as it gets for the early game. If I could get a wish, or if I could get even mithril armor, it would be amazing. I don't archaeologists. I do not. I do not artifact wish just as a matter of taste. But that is a, that is a really freaking stacked early inventory. Like the game coughed up a silver saber right at the get-go. What, what is this? Yeah, see, here's the problem with being invisible. My pets can't find me. But that's the plus side is the enemies can't find me either. Uh, we are going to need to find a mummy wrapping. Is what this comes down to. Uh, I think I'm going to head back down into the the. the um, you know what I need? I need a towel. Like, I literally need a towel right now. Uh, let me go find one of my pets. Because I need... We need to deal with this. If I upset the... Um, if I upset the inhabitants... Where the hell did I leave my cat? Like, I'm pretty sure my cat's on this level. I need, like I said, we need armor more than anything else. And uh, I'm just going to drop this fedora because we don't need it. You come with me. Because I really want you to kill one of those gnomes. Okay, uh, where am, where am I? Okay, so I'm over here. Uh, I'm just going to move very slowly away from that floating eye, because that is, that is like a, if I hit that floating eye, that is a game-ending mistake. Um, I really want that floating eye to die, though. Alright, so now I've got two cats on this level. 
Not that they see me. Hill orc. Oh, okay. That that's a bit scary. Uh. Yeah, that. Up we go. Let's not die, especially after how far we've come thus far. And I prayed on... Okay, so the next time I can pray safely is going to be on turn 4,200. As long as I've got access to an altar, I can't... Whoa! Holy cow. Did you see how much damage they did on a, with a single hit? I went from 30 to 12. Okay, we're not going down to the mines. We can't safely survive that. Oh, the song is too loud. I'm sorry. I will lower the song. Yeah, yeah, I just fixed it. I just fixed it. Yeah, I will say this is pretty decent turnout considering that it is 10 in the evening. You know, 20, 30 people? For what is not a normal stream, I'm going to call that a win. Alright, so we need to heal back up. Uh, and I'm just going to end that poll before one of you maniacs suggests something crazy. I think we're going to continue down into the main dungeon. I think Sokoban is making a lot of sense at the moment. Uh, Kevin Adler, thank you for the $54 donation. Yeah, I'm... I am thinking Sokoban is the road to go here. Uh, I don't think... I don't think you can eat goblins. Maybe you can? Goblin... Yeah, no, you can eat goblins. They're not poisonous. Apparently, they're a bit gamey, though. Alright, that's fine. I, I should remember the list by this point. God knows I've been playing this game long enough. Uh, homunculus, corpse, and arrows. I will take those arrows. We could find a bow to deal with one of those floating eyes. It would be nice. Alright, homunculus. I don't think. Can you eat homunculus corpses? I feel like they give sleep resistance and they also poison you. I'm trying to remember. Sleep poison. Um, it is poisonous. Uh, I've, there are better sources I can get it at. The Naga is the traditional way of getting it. Uh, so I want to get poison. Cloudy potion could be interesting. Let's stash that. Let's keep going. So now we're on dungeon level four. Uh, more arrows. That's fine. I think I'm real. This is a bones level. And I know this is a bones level because doors are never generated open. Uh, this could be really good or this could be really bad. And as soon as I find the bones pile, I'll explain why what this is. Okay, we've got a fountain there. Um, there are memes here. God, I'm going through, like, everything. Let's see if we can find this bones pile. Because that might change everything. Rock Pincer will not die. Please die. Of course, you don't drop a corpse when I really need it. Uh, Guana. I feel like gray oozes I don't actually want to hit. Actually, maybe this is not a bones level, but... I don't think open doors can be generated. Okay, we just generate... Okay, we're feeling weak. Can we pray safely? We can pray safely. Yes, and stomach is content. That's fine. 
I've got permanent I've got permanent food, but I don't want to use it if I don't have to. Why do I feel like see I thought this was a bones level because that door generated open? Guess it isn't. Okay. What is with all the floating eyes? Oh, and of course, you're on this mold is on the staircase. I'm gonna have to attack this mold. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh I gotta find a bow. That's what this is coming down to. Oh, you're right, the ghost might be in a vault. Let me see here. Have we gotten vault messages on this level? Splashing of a naiad tells me there's fountains. Let's keep looking around. Because, like I said, this feels like... <sighs> yeah, I think, I think our next goal is going to be a ranged weapon. If I can't find a wand. That is going to be the next weapon. Okay, and hopefully the audio is better now. Let me, let me just recheck the levels. Like, yeah, here. Let me just lower that a fair bit. Because I keep it very soft on the, my speakers. But, uh... I'm so far, so far so good. So far so good. Oh my god, I, I thought that was Team Ant right there. I really did. I feel like if this stream ends up being a success, maybe in future ones, I'll uh, end up... Okay, so that is a road that goes to absolutely nowhere. I hate, oh, you know what? I hate when the dungeon is like this. Uh, means that there's a hidden door somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. You hear a door open. I'd love to know where this door might potentially be. I think I'm going to just have to dig until I find the rest of the level. Hey, look, the rest of the level. Magenta Potion, that's a, that's a new one. Wow, the game just, just seems to hate me today. Cave spider. Food ration. That's nice. Spider lab. Oh, we just had a scroll identified. We now know what scroll of teleportation is because the, a monster used that. And we have one of those. So we now have an escape item. Which is a very good thing to know. Uh, crude ring. Okay, that is a little bit dangerous because now I am burdened. Uh, I will come back for that. Because unfortunately my pet can't track me while we're invisible. Let me take a look at the chat. Um, Sega Retro Articles. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Valid path. Um, the problem you have with NetHack in a lot of ways. And I just realized that uh, Frederick is thick. Because I highly remember the things. Really, another altar. This game is just giving us altars. Uh, okay. That's... Everything here thus far, I feel like, is... Good? What is this? Yeah, that's fine. That's some, that. That's just dinner. And we get a scroll of teleportation out of that. Uh, okay. So let's, let's do some identification... Let me grab everything out of the sack that we don't know the blessed 
cursed stas of. Okay, so what did we what did we learn about that? So we have a blessed cloudy potion, cursed magenta. So that's good for making more holy water. We have a scroll of teleportation. Um, yeah, so nothing amazing, but nothing horrible either. So consumable scrolls uh, and tools, except for the bag of tricks, because you never want to put that in a bag. Okay. Um, let's keep going down. I really want some armor. Like, that is our biggest problem, is that we're still... That is death. That is absolute death. That is a mountain. That's a wood nymph. Yeah, that that's just death. Um, that's actually worse. All right, let me get out of here because I don't have telepathy. So, what? Well, here's what happened: is I just crashed into a yellow light, and I've been blinded. I will be blinded for the next couple hundred turns. I can't do anything safely with this. Uh, I have to move very slowly through this dungeon because I could accidentally attack and kill something. Yeah, so that is probably my pet right there because I am waiting on this tile and they are not attacking me. That is... Do I have anything that helps here? I do not. And if I accidentally kill my pet, I will be... My god will do bad things to me. Uh, I have to wait this out. Okay, now I can see again. And yes, that was in fact my cat. <sighs> How many game-ending mistakes have I so far dodged in this one? We are ve we are playing very methodically. Uh, Dawes Days, thank you for the twenty dollars donation for Trevor Project. Whew. Uh, we are carrying the bag of tricks um, for altar farming right now. I still we we need armor more than anything else. Uh, I think we, the right thing to do is we continue going down to the next dungeon level. Um. Yeah, we we need to. We did, you know, we did find that crude ring mall. I don't really want to use that as armor, but I m might not have a choice here because I am a little bit too squishy. Let me take that thing to the altar and see how how heavy it actually is. But if it's like if it's not cursed, it might. Okay, it is uncursed. So take off that. Put that on. Wow, that is a garbage piece of armor. Holy cow. It's only worth 2 AC and it's that heavy. I didn't realize it was that bad. Okay, and now we're getting hungry. So I got to be careful here. Do not eat that corpse. Although sleep resistance would be very nice. Uh, Petro, thank you for the $50 donation for Trevor Project. Yep. Uh, eating your pet uh, would cause you to gain the aggravate monster intrinsic. Oh, look. There's dinner. Come on. Hill orc. Uh, we get a spear and a skull cap. Let me just see if this is a better one. Because, like I said, we, we are kind of hurting on finding armor at the moment. Like, this is... I've had some games where I've gone a long time without armor, but this is kind of pushing it. Uh, we've got a spear. Spear is not useful to us. We have better weapons, and spears are generally not good weapons to begin with. Okay, we are feeling weak. What is our... 
We can safely pray at this point. The rule is that it's... Um, I do get a warning before I anger my god the first time, so we... I mostly am just trying to make my food supply last as long as possible. Uh, okay, that's a lot of jackals. And I could take saber... Yeah, I actually think I want to do that advancement. That is a distinct damage increase. Uh, great ooze. Ah, uh, can you eat great ooze? I feel like that's a bad idea. I don't think it's a game-ending bad idea, but I feel like it's a bad idea. Okay, so it can rust, dissolving. Uh, they can be eaten, but never rots away, and is acidic. So, you know what? I'll take some damage, but this is a good thing. Yeah, okay, that didn't help me. That didn't help me. <sighs> Alright, let, let us see what else we can manage here. What else do we have to work here? Okay, that that's a falling rock trap and more. Uh, let me get my pickaxe out and get rid of that boulder. We have a, another potion. I think we're going to have to do another round of potion identification soon. Because, wow, this game is not... It gave me a silver saber and now it's not giving me anything. I don't want to go below dungeon level. Yeah, I don't want to go below dungeon level 10 with my current setup. I'm, I'm kind of put like I we will go as far as the Oracle. I think that's as far as we can safely go. Uh, I got to be really careful about this. Yeah, see, I took a lot of damage there. I'm going to back up to the stairs. Rock mole, rock mole. Okay. Yeah, let's let's heal up. Actually, you know, that's good enough that I think we can continue back down. Okay, that, that spider is about to end me. Uh, what do I have that helps? Um, that spider might not know I'm here. I'm just going to... I'm heal, I'm resting one turn at a time. Nope. 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 Uh, scroll. Scroll of teleportation. Read. I'm about to die. Uh, shit. What is that? Giant rat. I can't pray safely. I think I burn another scroll and hope I land somewhere safe. Oh, that was a little bit too scary. That was a little bit too scary. That was really flipping scary, and I had to burn two scrolls to do that. Oh. That is... That was... Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I want to farm, in, uh, farm on the altar. I, I think at this point, I can't go... I think if I go any deeper, I will in fact die. Which is telling me that the correct move at this point is to... 
very carefully get back to the co-aligned altar that we know about. And I'm going to burn that bag of tricks. Because that's why I've been carrying it. By the time I get to that altar, uh, I should be able... Please tell me that's not... That's a killer bee. You're kidding me. Um... Close the door. Close the door. Okay, the problem doesn't exist. It's behind a closed door. You can't catch me. You can't see me. I am moving as quickly as I can not to die. Okay, so there's... That zombie, that orc is behind me. Where is the upstairs? The upstairs right there. That is a lot of orcs. That is a killer bee. I'm going to read that squirrel of teleportation. Hope I end up... That did not help me as much as I hope it would. I can get away. I'm faster here. I can move much faster than the AI can. Yeah, I can get to those stairs. Is this hostile? That centip centipede's not hostile. Let me see if they'll move somewhere. Right, as long as I go r around... God, this is like playing. I don't think I can make it to the upstairs. All right, hold on. If I can get a free turn, I think I gotta go left, left. I have to survive this hit. That actually is in a worse position than I was. Because now I'm cornered. Okay, I survived. I can kill these things as long as I'm not, like, one hit away from dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can't believe it. We actually got out of there. Chat, I made it out. I could have used Eberlift there, but it's been nerfed so heavily in 1.6, it's not actually that useful anymore. Oh, holy cow, the adrenaline. Um, That was adrenaline, chat. The floating eye won't bug me. I can just heal up to full here, and then we can slowly clear out that level. Uh, a pony? That is actually useful. That is actually useful. Uh, the pony's about to kill me, but if I throw... Did you... Eh, the pony's now peaceful. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I just don't want to die. There was a chance I would end up with a tame pony there, although maybe I had to be... That was terrifying. Alright, let us see what we can do about clearing the orcs on this level, because there is a good chance I can get some armor out of this. You know what? I actually don't need poison resistance. I think the original plan of why... Uh, you know I should be able to kill these. Let me just keep... I just gotta be carefully watching my HP. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna just go for the altar. Or no, I can't go for the altar because the way to the altar has been blocked. 
Uh, what is with all the floating eyeballs? This is the game's way for telling, for making me pay for getting that insane, that silver saber right at the flipping start. Uh, I am feeling hungry. Uh, I want to use perma food at this point because I'm going to, I'm going to try and do sacrificing on this altar. I need something. Uh, so if I eat my food ration, and now what I can do is, because I'm standing on the altar, I can bag a Trex. That doesn't help. A wire ring. Okay, I don't want to wear an unidentified ring. And the bag of tricks is out charged. Okay, that didn't help. That didn't help in the slightest. Like, that really didn't help in the slightest. Okay, then. Let, what do I have to work with? I got, like... I don't have a lot to work with here. Like, I really don't have a lot to work with. I think I need to know... See, I don't have any spare potions, and I don't know what the healing potions are at this point. So that doesn't actually help me. See, one of the things about NetHack that drives me crazy is that Eberlif isn't even directly mad mentioned in the manual. It's in the guidebook, but the way it's documented is so flipping esoteric. I think we got to try and clear the mines. I don't think we have a choice here. Okay. Um... I think I have to take the alignment penalty and try and kill this dwarf. I don't really want to do this because this is going this could have fairly annoying consequences. Uh but I we need some armor. Whoop. And that's my HP going away. If that arm... Yeah, I think we've got anger. Like, I don't have a pet strong enough that can actually kill that dwarf. God. This is a lot of turns considering we haven't gone very far. But this game is determined not to give me armor. Okay. So now when I'm off the level, at least no monsters can spawn on it. So I can very slowly thin out this herd. Okay, and now we're off the level, and we heal up, and then the ant will be there. Uh, there is a way, it has actually been done as an unofficial conduct, the nudist achievement. Okay. Um, all right, so where is that armored dwarf? I think at this point I've got to piss him off. I don't really want to do this. All right. Uh, throw Y... Okay, so now he's angry. He's going to chase after me. Where is he? Alright, he probably doesn't see me. Alright, oh, because I'm invisible. Broad short sword. What was he... Yes! That is exactly what I needed. I... Holy cow, that is exactly all the armor I could have asked for. Um, let me eat him. And I am just going to grab the entire lot and we are going to that altar.
Oh, that, that, that changes everything. Ooh, and apples. Oh. All right, let's let's figure this out. So what what in this pile actually helps? So that cloak is going to make us considerably less squishy. So let's drop the letter coat. Let's get that on. And that that was worth 7 points of AC. That is about as good as you can get in the early game. Let's get the hard shoes on. One, we have a hard hat. That brings us down to zero. If we wear the shield. See, but we are burdened, which is uh, not a good thing. Let me drop the tower shield. I don't think we need it that badly. And yes, that takes us down to unburdened. Holy cow. Um, well, that's why I marked him as an armored dwarf. Because my pet couldn't hit him. Which means that he had something. I am debating if I want to go down to Mine Town or Sokoban. But now we've got a full set of armor. Our AC is at zero. Um, let me see here. Sokoban or Mine Town. I don't really like Sokoban, but I'm not sure what I want to go for. Mine Town, we can't use the shops because we're invisible. It's kind of a it's actually kind of a problem. Until I find a mummy, I can't get rid. I can't deal with this at the moment. Um I usually do Mine Town first, but if we get down to Mine Town, what can I do there? We have an altar. I don't have enough gold to get divine protection. I am thinking Soko is the better of the two choices, but the mines are not horrible for me right now because I am considerably harder to kill than I was 20 minutes ago. Um, I am going to grab these potions, though. Yeah, see, I am basically at capacity. We need to stat. We need to start doing some stashing. Um, let's go through the sack and let's just take out everything. All right. Uh, I don't think I need the tinning kit. And actually, dropping the tinning kit is enough to drop my load. I'm going to drop the potions. I don't think we really need them. At this point. Yeah, I think we can just drop all of those. Uh, we can drop the ring. I'm going to drop the scroll. I'm going to hold on to the pickaxe. I'm going to hold on to the food. I'm going to lose the bullwhip. Um, yeah, I think that's a, the best possible inventory that I can do for the moment. I am thinking... I am thinking... Yeah, there's no way I could do Mine's End. Uh, that is a death sentence. Uh, Mine Town as it is is right now a little bit squishy. I'm, I'm a little bit question mark on Mine's End. Or Mine Town, but I'm thinking that is the better of the two options. Because I have peaceful minds, I'm no mesh. If I can find a ranged weapon, we could take out one of those floating eyes. Like, let's just keep exploring. Like, right now, what, you know, hitting the light shop, if I can find a mummy wrapping, would probably be the smart play right now. Oh, look, I found a Fluffy 1.0. All right, let's let's start taking a look here. And suddenly we are like a lot less squishy. All right, so we got a gnome of a pickaxe here who's going to just mine out the level. I am blind and deaf. I got to wait this out. 
Um, let me just move very slowly towards the stairs. I'm using m the move command so I don't accidentally start a fight. Okay. Uh, fog cloud. I'm still deaf, but that is less of concern. Uh, death should wear off eventually. Yep, worthless glass. A gemstone could go a very long way here. And death just wore out. How do I have a power... You're right. How do I have a power level of 38... Yeah, I'm not liking Sokoban right now because that even if I can make it to the zoo, I think the zoo would be a death sentence. Although I, I still am a strong believer that Sokoban is not a good feature. Uh and if ooh, that's that is shiny. Uh okay, hold on, hold on. Please stop stop interrupting my meal. Okay, so I'm saturated. Do I want to grab that elven mithril coat? The dwarven one has one more base point of AC, but the elven one might be enchanted. I think I'm good with what I have. I don't really want to haul it down to mine town. Okay, so we got a teleportation trap there. Let's find. Let's get down to mine town, and I'm really hoping this is not orc town because I'm going to be really, really unhappy if this is an orc town run because I really need those shops. All right, there's the stairs. Wow, really? It's all dark mines? That is like... That is when the game just does not like you. Uh, long sword that's not useful to us. If we were lawful, we could get Excalibur, but I... Eh. So what else we got? Uh, I am not going to get anywhere near that leprechaun. Actually, hold on. If I put all my gold in my sack, the leprechaun can't steal it. Food ration. Okay. Um... Cancellation isn't super useful in the early game. If I was going below Mine Town to get the Lux Stone, it's that would be a different story. But I don't think magic cancellation is actually something that. Oh, I hit a level a level port trap. I actually got teleported straight out of the mines. Yeah, see, that's the other reason why I don't really want to go down much further. Um, I think Mine Town would be a very good milestone for this character. So let's see her. Let's let's see what we can find. Um, okay, so far so good. Ooh, a whistle. Okay, it's just a standard whistle, so that's a little depressing. Uh, a magic whistle could have been actually a really nice find, but a standard one is not worth the inventory spot. Uh, I am happy with what we found on this level thus far. We have a wear rat on this level. Uh, I need to be just... You know what? It's going to... Their flesh will get seared. And we just learned what potion of speed is. That is actually really, really useful. All right, and then is this a useful? Okay, not useful. God, what what is with all these dark? What is with all these dark uh, mines? That is a. All 
right. Oh, mummy wrapping. That is actually useful. Uh, mummy wrapping will temporarily negate our invisibility. So, um, we're good there. Yeah, I, um... This is definitely... Okay, this is definitely, uh... This is looking up. If we can find a good way to get some gold, we could get some magic cancellate um, protection from the... Assuming it's not Orc Town. If it's Orc Town, I... Uh, game? Why are you... Why do you do this to me, game? Alright, I, I can actually beat this because I have the Silver Saber. Just watching him just disappear like that is amazing. I will, in fact, take all that free experience. If we can, I think the biggest thing I want to find at this point are um, is a unicorn. If we can find a unicorn, it would actually be quite handy. And we are getting a decent amount of food here. Which leather coat cloak? I'm gonna grab that because I feel like that could be something. Um, I feel like that could be a magical item. I, I feel like leather is an identifier, but maybe. Ooh, a chest. And it's locked. I need a key. I don't want to force it. I don't actually have a tool to force it with. Uh, Quivering Blob. I am... Actually, I don't have anything iron, so this is safe. I don't think Quivering Blob gives me resistances to anything. Quivering Blob? It gives poison. I might as well eat it. Oh, uh, Paper Golem. That is actually useful. I'll grab that potion. Let's uh let's get this back into our looting bag. I am this is so far Ooh. Peaceful Gray. I don't want to kill one of my own alignment if I can avoid it. That might be our unicorn horn, but I really don't want to take the penalty for killing it. I feel charismatic. Why? I mean, my stats are definitely looking very good at the moment. Actually, out of curiosity, yeah, I still can't cast Levitation. Not that it does anything for me. Where are these stairs? I'm almost tempted to mine straight down and then come back up. Plate mail does not help is not a useful item at this point. Worthless glass. Okay. We are definitely going the right way here though. Alright. Um Where are we going? Alright, so let me let me see here. I really want that unicorn's horn, but I really don't, uh, let me see here. I really don't want to kill a co-aligned unicorn. I'm not even sure I could safely kill it at this point. Although I, I do have speed, which means I should be able to close the distance. You know what? I think I... It is right there. But that is going to hurt. I it's a is what is it? A minus 5 luck penalty. I don't need it that badly right now. I just uh, it's not worth it right now because that is a good way to just die. All right, so the stairs have to be on the other side of the map. I don't, um, we might do variants later. Um, I, 
I'm really kind of determined. I I was having this thought last night on my Discord that, you know, I used to speedrun Kingdom of Loathing, and I really appreciate games where you have to be very methodical to play. Uh, although, I know that I have definitely not always been methodical on playing NetHack in the past, but I really do enjoy that, and I wasn't going to have a live stream this week because I haven't had the time to do any sort of research. So, I... Wow, that is... That game? I really hate when it puts the stairs somewhere stupid like that. Mine Town! Yes! There's Mine Town. Okay, let, let us see what we have here. Uh, I think this is Frontier Town variant. Uh, okay, so, and now we are experience level 7. Let's find the, let's find the, uh, okay, so it's a cross-aligned altar. Okay. Uh, is that mummy wrapping cursed? That mummy wrapping is cursed. That is a good thing I checked that. Uh, one got dropped out here, so let's just... Let's just drop this one. Really, game? You're going to make me uncurse a mummy wrapping. I mean, I have the holy water. That feels like the... Oh, I may have left the holy water at the top. Um... Let's just see what else is here in Mine Town. A leash, a lamp, a chest, and a lock. In so this looks like a general store, uh, a tool store. Uh, that lock pick, a lamp, that could two lamps. Two lamps. That is potentially a wish. Uh, let's see what else we have to work. Let's see what else the game is giving me here. We have a delicatessen with food. Nothing amazing there. We have the watch. It's not an amazing mine town. Uh, where is, where is, like, I, I've definitely had better. But that is not a horrid mine town. And there is, there is another two lamps there. I actually do think Orc Town has a value to it. It just means that you get completely screwed. I think I think we want to go get the holy water and I think I just need to find we need to go get those lamps. I I thinking Why are these f folks fighting each other? Oh, they're fighting me. Um they're fighting me and it hurts. Um, I'm going, let's go get the holy water because at this point I think we're going to need it. Because if that is an early wish, that is probably about the best thing I could get right about now. Actually, let me untrap this dart trap. That is like no darts. Really, that is all you're giving me, game? It's probably enough, but... Alright, fine. I, I probably have enough fodder in my inventory that I can kill a floating eye. Uh, let's try... Did it leave a corp? It left a corpse! Yes! <laughs> that is another major one. I now have I now have intrinsic ESP. Oh, that is a major victory.
That is a major victory. I don't like using up my prayers unnecessarily. Oh, that is a victory. So now we have uh, we have poison resistance and we have telepathy. That is a victory. Okay, so that that um, I still need a, like a blindfold of some kind, but uh, I will take that. I will take what I can get here. Let me go get the potions, and you know what? I think I'm going to. Okay, so here's our stack of potions. We've got two holy water, some fizzies, a magenta, some yellows. I think I want to do some potion identification. Like, if we know what some of these are, I could definitely make more holy water. Which I'm thinking is the right move to go here, especially if one of those is a lamp. I want to know what these potions are, though, because these are blessed. Um, so let's let's find out. So uh, first we want to try to apply. Okay, so not oil. If I pick up this wire ring because I don't know what this ring is. So yeah, I have. You know what? Let me use the spell book for this. Because this spell book is not useful for me. Uh, I want to dip Q in P. Okay, so it's not... It is not um, polymorph. And I is not. So that leaves hallucination, blindness... Um, let me take off... Yeah, it's not, poly, it's not polymorph. Uh, the book would have changed. So let's take Q. Okay, so that was what? Healing. So cloudy potions are healing. That's actually good to know. Uh, and fizzy. What just happened? Why do I know? Monster detection. Okay, that is a good one to get rid of. That is actually a really good one to get rid of and know what that is. Uh, oh, I just hit caps lock. Okay. All right. So what other potions here do we have that we could get rid of? I don't think it's worth testing the magenta, the murky, the yellow, but let me, let's just see what we have here. We have a cursed sky blue. Yeah, let's grab that. Let us grab the Cursed Invisibility. It's a smoky potion, though, so I don't know if I actually... That... I... F what is it? 10% chance for a genie in a smoky potion? But I'd have to burn two holy water to get it. I don't think I'm... I, I won't uncurse it, but I'm not desperate enough to do that yet. Um, let's, let's, let's do some inventory management here. Let's grab the magenta, the murky, and let's make these all holy water. Cause I really, I think I'm going to want that at this point. Uh, one in 13, we saw four lamps in, we saw four lamps down in mine town. I am thinking like I'm trying to think here if there's a good reason not not just to um, let me put the scrolls away I would like to know what potion of uh, scroll of identification is. That's currently the biggest thing that we don't know. I think I want to convert all those potions into holy water. I don't think at this point. Let me just drop this cloak. Ooh, that cloak is blessed. 
Oh, it's a plus one cloak. That is, a I'm happy I grabbed that. That is actually an upgrade. I don't think it's worth the holy water. I'd have to burn two holy water to make that smoky usable. A 1 in 13 chance. You know, maybe it is worth it. Cuz if we can get a if we can get an early wish, I can uh, we haven't died. We haven't died. Uh, we had some. I have no right to be alive, considering how far we've gone. But we have not died. I think I'm going to try for it. I don't think it's going to work the way I want it. But you usually end up with a lot of excess potions anyway, especially because we still have. You know what? Let me. If we can. If I had a way to do it right now, I would simply go and buy the rest of the potions out from the shop, but I don't have a way to do that. So, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, let me drop the ring. Let me take off the hard hat. Take off the hard shoes. Those are waterproof. Let me make sure i have all the potions i want yeah that's fine and then let's go down the stairs and uh let's not dip the sack please no that would be really bad um actually hold on grab the sack yeah let's drop the sack because i don't want anything in there to get wet Letter coat and mithril cannot rust. The throwing stars can. Okay, we're good. So now we just keep doing this until they all become water. We drop them all. Uh, I'm actually... You know what? We can safely water prayer here and I'm not hurting for food. I'd rather keep the extra holy water. So let me let me just drop these and let me pray. Yep, cool. Now we got seven holy water. Alright, cool. That that worked. So now we dip A in H. Peculiar feeling in a moment. Okay, so no wish there. It was worth. It was worth trying, sort of. I'm not convinced that, that was actually a good move, but uh, I rather burn more resources here than not. Let's grab that sack, hooded cloak. And levitation. All right, I'm good. I'm actually good with the state of our inventory right now. Uh, so now we've got an excess of holy water. So I I kind of want to go for that early wish. If if the mines are going to give me free lamps, statistically one of those has a very good chance of being. Um. Being a decent, basically being, um, let's see here. You know, I didn't write the turn down I prayed on. I think I pray. I'm going to say 8660. Uh, I really wish we could have gotten another holy water for the mummy wrapping, but I'm okay with this. Uh, Miffle coat. Rune blood sword. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Boom. 
That was a little scary. What did I get hit with that was that strong? And I can actually enhance this all the way to expert. Um, is that worth the skill slot right now? I'm not certain. I am not certain if that is worth the skill slot right now. What is the difference? I believe with weapon skills, it gives me a hit to bonus, but I think that's all I actually get. What is the actual difference here? So it would be plus two damage, plus three to hit. I won't get a second silver saber until much later in the game, and that's the only thing that's worth two comment, two handed. I am inclined to advance that to expert. Yeah, I'm thinking that is worth going all the way to expert. Because there, there, it's going to be quite a while before I could get a second silver saber because they're, they're disgustingly rare. Um, now, here comes the next question. Is how do I want to handle... All right, I, I'm just going to have to wear one of these and we're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, I could wield it and then pray if I waited long enough, but I don't really want to do that. And we're going to spend some time here anyway. So let me take out one holy water. Uh, let's take off D. Let's put G on. All right. So now I am visible. I can enter shops. So what do we have here? A lamp. Okay. So two lamps. A lockpick is actually useful regardless. And what is in this chest? That's a lot of things in this chest that are really, really useful. I should have brought the spell book down, actually. I, I didn't think to do that, but... Um, that spell book is so cheap that it's probably cursed because it's, uh, it's a modifier. A 400... It's also probably a cursed ring... And this is either, it's 67, that means it's either enchant weapon or destroy armor. I thought uh, BUC affected your chance of reading it. Like, because a blessed one you can always... Alright. Um, let me pay for the lockpick, because that by itself is actually useful. Let's let's see what lamp you've got over here. A white po why is there a white potion in in um Itchak's shop? That has to be oil. No? Yeah, I think that has to be oil. Cause he's got a very sp wow, on only three candles. If I was on three four three, I'd be raging. So we know a white potion is oil. Let's let's identify that. Um, I don't remember the last time I saw... Like, I never see oil potions in this game. That is useful to do. So let's see what's going... Let's see what the deli has for us. Because the deli might have something useful. Oh, it's a general store. It's not a deli. We have a key, a milky potion, and a lot of food rations. I think I want to clean out the food rations. Maybe I don't want to clean out the food rations. That apparently I'm going to become overburdened. How much food do I have on me? I've got eight on me, so I don't actually really need it right now. 
But that is good to know that there is food in Mine Town. Um, all right, let me make sure this lock pick is not cursed. Okay, so the lock pick is not cursed. Uh, now we gotta deal with the fact that my cloak is cursed, but we knew that was coming. Cool. Alright, that works. There was no magic lamps. All three of them were just regular ones. Um, I am tempted to grab that spell book. There's a leash here. There's a lamp. I might as well grab the lamps because the lamps will help for dealing with the mines. So I might as well grab one. It's only 13. It's not worth it. It's not worth... All right. What do you have for me? I am really thinking I want to buy that spell that that spell book and maybe the scroll. But scroll reading unidentified scrolls is a little bit of a dangerous game. I'm inclined to go for the spell book. Maybe even more, but let's start with the spell book. I could probably read this successfully. You know, I'm not going to lock because I don't want to piss off. No, the, the watch can't see me from here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Do I want to try reading reading this blind? Uh, I am level 7. Archaeologist cast with intelligence. This should be safe to read. Confused monster. I have no chance of casting it. It's, yeah, it's not one of the spell families I can learn. That's that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, at least I didn't burn a holy water on that. So let me name that item. So spell books can only be read four times. Um, yeah, that that was unfortunate. It would be nice if I could have used that. Yeah, so we've got no magic lamps. Wow, that mine town was kind of depressing. Like, there was nothing super useful in this one. Uh, the only thing of real note was the lamp. We're at an AC of two, though. Uh, I don't want to be wielding that. I am sort of thinking I might. Uh, why do I keep accidentally wielding my cloak? I'm inclined to try Mine's End, but I feel like that's an incredibly stupid idea at the moment. Let me see here. Hold on. Let, let's let me look at my list of scrolls. What do we have in here? We do have some unidentified scrolls. My brain at the moment is thinking we might want to try and read identify. Amne Although amnesia would be fairly debilitating. It's not as bad as it used to be, but that is bad. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of I see without no scrolls are the most dangerous ones to read identify, but we don't know any. Let me think what's in that pile. There's destroy armor, but we can get around that by wearing a shitty piece of armor. It's not a big deal. Amnesia is the only absolutely deadly one that I could think of in that pile as long as i know the cursed status it's the only one that is 
truly deadly to read without knowing what it is. Um, as long as I don't accidentally try to genocide. And other words that make YouTube unhappy. Yeah, I'm, I think we're going to have to... Pr I don't like doing price identification, but I think this is the right call here. And I'm going to buy and grab this one. Because right now, we are really in a... I mean, really what it comes down to is we don't have a good idea of what um, to work with. So let's go to the general store. Let's make sure we don't have an identification here. Or uh, we don't have a genocide. 25 gold pieces. That would be a 50 price scroll. That's safe to read. That's 100 and 10. That is, that's actually a scroll of identification. That is a scroll of identification. That's actually worth blessing. Um, and you'll understand why in a moment. Let me go grab some more items because that is actually worth... What do we have here? Uncursed lamp. Leash. Oh, it's a curse scroll of identification. Yeah. Game, why are you doing this to me? All right, hold on. Um, if we're going to have to do it that way, I'm going to have to... I want to do a blast identify because right now identification is at a premium. Uh, what do you have here? Do you have anything? Yeah, you have nothing I actually care about. I just want to see, is there anything else in this chest we cared about? Bronze ring and a cyan potion. A ring of slow digestion would be amazing, although not critical. The potions are generally the most worthless things. I think I'm actually going to buy this ring. And we are just going, let's just see if we, oh. Tripe ratio, okay, yeah, nothing there I care about. Potion of gain level, hold on. Um, you always identify the potion of, yeah, okay, that's actually an amazing thing. A potion of gain level is the most useful escape item in this game. That is like ungodly good to find. Uh, let me put in the potion. Yes, it makes you gain a level unless, unless you're playing Slex, in which case you descend a level. Yeah, I'm... Genocide would be the only game ending mistake here, but I really don't want to eat a scroll of amnesia, although it wouldn't be game ending at this point. I think we're going to do some read identification because uh, we are not what I'm calling a super healthy. Let me see if we can kill that leprechaun. Uh, put the coins away. Because I am fast. And this is why leprechauns are annoying. They are some of the fastest monsters in the game. But they do drop a fair bit of gold. Which is why we care. Let's go back up to the top altar and our stash. And uh, we are becoming hungry. Let me grab a single piece of food out of here. Because perma food, food is going to be concerning. All right, actually, let's let's head to the potion shop because I think there's some potions in there that are still not identified. Um, and if we can at least find the less than useful ones, 
So oil, sky blue, monster detection, speed, and monster detection. Those are all really good to turn into water, except for speed. Speed actually is quite a useful potion. Uh, all right. So back to our stash. Yes, and I should have the gold in my bag. Uh, okay, hold on. Drop R. Okay, so these are all uncursed. I think... Let me see what we've got to work with here. Throwing stars. Wire ring. Because rings are the hardest thing to identify, and there's some very deadly... There's some incredibly deadly outcomes to doing that. So I think I want to turn that curse scroll of identification to a blessed one. And then I think I want to read it and try for a full inventory. Um, a full inventory. Yeah, we've got enough here that I think that's actually a solid move here. Okay, so now we have blessed identification. Let me see. Is there anything in this bag that we still care about? No. Let's see. Here. I, I haven't found a sink. I don't have a sink to drop them down, so uh, that doesn't help. Because I could didn't be kicking drains to find sinks. Um, I do want to grab that sky blue potion, so we're going to go read the ID in the shop. Just because if that is an amazing potion, I want to know about it. Sky blue potion. I might as well grab the oil just in the offhand chance I get a full ID. All right, let's read it. Okay, so we didn't get a full inventory ID. I think I want to know what these scrolls are. Light and confused monster. That was that was fucking useless. Those are like the two most useless scrolls in the game. Like those are impressively useless scrolls. Oh, that is depressing. Light has like some very niche uses, but I don't think I've used Confused Monster ever. Apparently I didn't because the game, I should have probably just done the read identify. Uh... All right, let's, we need to do a little bit more identification stuff here. So let me drop that. So now I've got no unpaid inventory. The danger at this point, the only thing I could think of is if I accidentally roll sickness, but I should be safe to pray at this point. And sick and drinking sickness from a potion is not an insta death. Like I don't think it is anyway. Actually, let me see here. Yeah, I'm thinking we are going to use some quaff identifications. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You know what? I do have darts. I completely forgot that you can do that. There should be some darts in this pile. Yep, yeah, there are. Dart, dart. I have one blast and one not-so-blast dart. All right, so let's let's see if we can figure out. Okay, so B is not sickness, and it's not polymorph. Um, so it could be hallucination is the only other really dangerous one, and I could pray to get out a problem here. So let's try it. 
Uh, that was gain energy, wasn't it? Yes, that was in fact gain energy. Okay, so not poison, not polymorph. Those are the two deadly ones. Um, that was levitation. That is a not a very useful one, but okay. Um, and this one is also doesn't do anything. So, prophecy. Ooh! Enlightenment. So I am pious. I am poison. I uh, poisonous resistant. I have. I'm. T I have tele. Um. There's something you don't see. You are visible, which means you have intrinsic invisibility, but you are actually invisible. Yeah. Okay. So that was actually a pretty good potion identification session. It's not... Um, what is you are guarded? I don't think that means... I think... It doesn't mean I have warning. Yeah, okay. So th this wasn't... That was actually... Man, we don't have a lot to work with. I'm not... I'm going to say this. I think our best goal is probably to go head down to the Oracle... Maybe clear the first level of Sokoban, because the first level of Sokoban will have two scrolls of Earth. And Sokoban 1 is usually pretty safe. But without magic, without reflection or magic resistance, the further down we go, it gets more and more deadly. So what's giving me MC2 then? Oh, I have the mummy wrapping still on. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that was actually a pretty solid identification. Like, it, it didn't immediately help us, but we at least have a better idea of what we have to work with here. So let's go put some items away. Um, I'll keep the lockpick out. Everything else can go away. I really want to know what those rings are. But all those can go there. Um, these scrolls are, like, completely useless. And without a magic marker, uh, I think I'm just going to drop them. They're not useful. I'll drop the tripe ration. Uh, if we find a sink, uh, we could drop the rings down them and try to get them back. So I think I will carry those with me. Okay, Namus, thank you for the twenty dollar donation. I am actually feeling more confident with this than I did. I'm going to just stretch my legs for a bit because we've been going for two hours, and then, um, so let's pick. We'll pick this up in about two minutes. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's generally considered that minus 20 is um, is generally what's considered ascendable. But there are people that have done it with an AC of 10. Um, my first... I have ascended four times, and all four times, 
I've had like an AC. I actually ascended in thick hack with a completely broken priest. That that priest was stupid because um, holy cow, that was an abuse of mechanics. Also, an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie is amazing. I am thinking Sokoban is the right call. Uh, at least Sokoban 1. And then I want to find... Either go to the quest level or the rogue level. <clears throat> uh, the fort would be a death sentence. Um, although... Hilariously, in the game with the priest that I ascended in Fickhack, the portal to Fort Lucas, uh, Ludus did not spawn. It sucked. Yep. I don't like um, Malmar because uh, it does smashy smashy to wands. Oh, okay. Um, well, I got something... Oh, that was... I can't stop levitating. I'm going to have to wait for it to stop. Okay, this this kind of sucks. Because it wasn't a blessed potion of levitation. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to be killing turns here for a bit. This is probably too old to sacrifice, but let's try. Oh, I got luck out of that. It was not actually too old to sacrifice. Okay. Uh, I can work with that. All right, let's let's keep going downward because at this point, I think we can get to Sokoban. Actually, we need to go to the other staircase. Uh, yeah, that's food. Is that a mold? Yeah, that's just a mold. Scroll of light. I mean, I'll grab it just because having a scroll of light. Um, it's stuff I can blank later, so okay. Because uh, I have run into cases where I actually run out of scrolls to blank. Um, okay, let's keep let's keep going down. So here's the killer bee. We are still stupidly squishy. Like, it would not take much to end us. But I'm going to be as careful and methodical about this as I can. I think level ups are probably our best bet at this point. Okay, I'm not seeing any loot there that is useful coins we put those away all right so now we continue uh my cat has gone feral so yeah that was safe to do all right so this was as far down as we got before and this is where we kind of got destroyed like we almost like this is where we nearly checked out last time so let's explore you know i might as well read the scroll of light because why not i'm feeling lazy we do have eno enough fountains that once i oh a throne room oh that could be so big enlightenment said that we had good luck I think we want to clear this. Fortunately, we can kill pretty much... I'm about to die. Um, Yeah, I'm about to die. Let me... I know I have a potion of healing. I'm just going to hold, keep that in my inventory in case I run into something else. Um, a throne room could be an early wish... Really? You're going to give me a unic... You're going to give me a white unicorn here. I need a... Wa Do you realize this game has not given me a single wand? Oh, God. 
Wow, that is... That is a mood. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and dig a new path here. Uh, I am not in a good position for this because I've got the Elven King is here. The AI is not. I'm going to quaff this because uh, one hit will quite possibly end me. Yeah, this level is not... This level is... This level remains slightly deadly. And when I say slightly, I mean yes. Okay, um... Where is that Elven King? This could be really... Yeah, okay, I am... I may not win this. Yes! 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 That is huge. Oh, that was risky. That was incredibly risky. But a unicorn corn is one of the biggest items you need in an ascension kit. Oh, that was risk. That was an incredibly risky play right there. That paid off. Let us go up this let's go up to the let's go up the stairs. Um Oh of course now you come back. Ah Frig I'm not bald I'm not bitter about this. Rip. And I had a cursed potion of extra healing in my inventory. Oh, that that one that one hurts a little. That one just hurts. I had a ring of regeneration and a ring of conflict, both unidentified. Yeah, that one hurts just a little bit. All right, you know, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to just roll another one. What do we get? Ooh, a monk. A monk that starts with healing? Okay, so monks are really a weird class. Um, they're basically the only class that can make martial arts viable aside from the tourist um although tourists really can should use basically anything um basically monks are spell casters even though the game makes you think they're melee the problem with the monk yeah i'm, I'm a little okay i'm a little annoyed by that i'm actually now that i've gone past the immediate death. They start with amazing thing. They get incredible intrinsics. If they eat meat, they uh, take an alignment penalty, but that's not a big deal in 3.6 or 3.7. The problem is that the monk quest is one of the most obnoxious ones in the game. Probably only samurai is the more <laughs> most deadly one because, what is it? It's not Master Keen. What was the monk quest? Monk, oh, it is Master Keen for the Eyes of the Overworld. It's probably the strongest quest nemesis. Yeah, I'm only... Yeah, that, that just hurts a little bit. Um, Alright, let's try this again. So, basically the way it works here with monks is... Um, because we have healing as a spell, not that we're immortal, but it will let us do things that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Um, 
they get I believe they they don't get hungerless spell casting, but they're basically second to only wizards in actually spell casting. Ah, uh, that, that one I I'm not gonna lie, that one that one stung you know, it stings a little bit, but that that archaeologist was not having a lot of good was not having a good time for that this game. Like, even with the Silver Saber, it was really hard to get that, again, Archaeologist off the ground. I really needed better armor. Uh, Jackal. Yeah, okay. Here's where the question comes. Do I want to go for a Conduct? I didn't think I'm not going to go for a Conduct. I just have to be very careful if I'm going to eat meat. Um, the only conduct that I might go for is wielded weapon, but I'm not good enough to really want to try and do this. Yeah, see, here's the downside is you feel guilty. That means I took an alignment penalty for eating that corpse, and that means altars can be actually quite dangerous for me. Um, there's probably another, yeah, there, there's definitely another room here. All right, uh, oh. Wait until I can see again. Ooh, two lynching corpses. Those are basically as good as food at this point. Um, not going to lie, that 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 was a thing. Uh, all right, so monks have a considerably easy early game. It's, it is the one advantage they get. It's just they're, everything else is going to suck. So, where did my dog go? Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm not going to be able to... Did... Like, where is my dog? Did I really just lose my pet that quickly? No, here we go. Alright, let's get... Let's wait until you get closer. Oh, there's a vault on this level. Okay, all right. Uh, down we go. You know, I, the thing is that I couldn't even use Eberle. Really a studded leather armor. That's like one of the best ones I can get as a monk. That is worth using. Uh, the game is mocking me. Yep. Goth Alice, get have a great night. Uh, is this armor cursed? Because that is like the best spell casting armor I can get for quite a long time. The dog doesn't want to walk on it, which suggests that it is in fact cursed. What? I am a human monk. Why can I? Yeah. It okay. So that is a cursed armor. Uh, particular item. I will hold on to this, but it is cursed. Okay, so there's the stair. It's not worth grabbing. Well, I guess I could grab the gems. If we find a unicorn, we'll use it. All right, let, let us see here. I'm still... Oh, look! A wand! The one thing that we never actually got. Um, okay, so here's how you do wand detection in this game. Um, the, the the best way to do it is write Eberleth first, because that exercises your wisdom. Then you try and engrave... It is a wand of enlightenment. This is normally a pretty meh wand, but it's actually quite useful for monks because monks are one of the very few classes, really with only knights, that will have alignment problems. Uh, pacifists can also have it, but that is actually not a horrible thing because we can use that to also identify um We can use that to identify um, uh, rings. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty solid find for this stage of the game. 
uh, let's let's head on to the next one. So that so far, you know, it's not an attack one, but I will take that. Uh, and I do want to just keep casting healing as I can because I want to be able to advance the skill if we need it. Uh, healing is a incredibly useful sort of thing. Hey Val, how you doing tonight? Uh, I mean, we, we've had about $250 worth of donations, which, you know, not, you know, it definitely, for considering it's a late night stream, I am perfectly okay with this. What did I just pick up? Okay, I picked up a scroll. So this is a graveyard. Uh, this is a trapped graveyard. Alright, so let's... Yeah, so Jackal Corpse. Uh, food is again going to be a pretty solid problem. Let me wait and recover back up to full health. Like... I'm already level 2, and I've already got 22, 24 health points. Actually, I can cast healing on myself. So, okay. I think what really made it so hard with the archaeologist is that gnomes are probably the hardest race to play as. They have really miserable hit dice. Um, they have very few advantages over... Um, any other race. Okay, so one of these is going to be the mines. That's the main dungeon. This one's probably the mines. I am feeling like an early mines. Oh, look! M the mines are lit up. We are at... It was one depth, 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 but it was after a very good start. Alright. Um, did this start as a corpse? Okay. Peaceful Hobbit, Gnome Lord. I feel healthy, so I just gained po I just gained poison. Uh, I am going to eat as much as I can. I'm just going to have to deal with the alignment penalties as they come. Wolfsbane and a Dwarvish Cloak. That is actually really good drops all around. I'm going to grab everything here. Uh, the Cloak can protect my inventory. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to make a run for Mine Town, especially if this keeps... If we keep having this good start, I think... Yeah, because... Ooh, an amulet. That could be really, really amazing. Uh, as soon as I know if it's cursed, we'll use the Wand of Enlightenment to identify it. There's only a handful. Um... Ooh, and a towel. Like, where, where was this lock for our archaeologist? Clear potion, gnome lord. Okay, I do need to stop. I'm going to head back to the stairs and heal up. But, like, where was this lock when we needed it? Because now, now we are level 4, and we now have almost more HP than we had at level 7 as our as our archaeologist. Uh, tin opener is not that useful, but, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, daggers are useful. Although, actually, no, 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 they're not. Yeah, I can't, I can't earn, I can't earn marks and daggers, so that is actually not useful. Uh, I might be able to kill a floating eye with him, but... Eh, question mark? Wow, the the uh, the dwarf has been busy. Oh, spell book. And there are the stairs. Alright, so there's Team Ant. Where is my... Where's my pet? Like, where is my pet actually? Oh, you know, probably something in this pile is cursed and that's the problem. Pets will not step on anything they know is cursed if they can avoid it. Uh, Actually, yeah, what the hell happened to my pet?
Did I miss the message saying that there was a sad feeling? I might have missed the message that there was a sad feeling. Okay. Really? Yep. I, okay. I, I feel like our poor archaeologist getting, is getting mocked at this point. Alright, so there's my dog. Must have fallen down a um, trap. Uh, I'm about to, I'm about to take, let's see here, see, the, starting with healing means I can take a lot more punishment than I could before, okay, the problem is I go through hunger a lot faster, oh, but, like, if you, if you ever play, if we ever roll up a healer, oh, buckled boots, that, those are magical. Lockpick. What do we got here? Large box. Empty, but okay. So, so be it. So be it. Uh, forked wand. We just saw that. Wand of teleportation is forked. That is actually really good to know. So now we know we've or no teleportation is one of the vanishing wands. So knowing what that is is actually really really handy. Cause uh, you only ever once put a bad. Only ever once will you make the mistake. Of putting a um, what's the word I'm looking for? You'll put a wand of cancellation in uh, your bag. I got, I got run. Okay, what do we got here? More scrolls. Sorry if I'm not describing this very well. Uh, I'm just, I'm basically speed running through this level. Um, where was I going with this? The short version here is, short version here is where we're, we're in a really good spot is actually where I'm going to go with this. Um, let us continue down and down. This is a dark level, which is not a good sign because I am human. A gray stone in a corner. I'm just going to leave that thing where I found it. Uh, one does not mess with gray stones. Let's see here. Someone here has to have armor. Although, an AC of 4, and considering I've got healing and much more hit dice, it's definitely... I definitely think getting to Mine Town is going to be... Unless we get Orc Town. If we get Orc Town, I might be... Orc Town would be really sad if we got that. Because Orc Town has no shops. The only advantage is the altar is... you can, you can The altar is always safe to use. Uh, I'm not actually going, you know, I'll grab the iron shoes. And there is another gray stone in that pile. I don't want to pick up a lodestone. Like, so the, the, the problem with gray stones is that they're shared between three different items. The luck stone helps with your luck is the easiest way I can put it. The gray stone, uh, the flint stone is exactly what it sounds like. And then you have the lodestone, which is a very bad thing to pick up and is very, very heavy. So let's see what else we've got on this level. I've got a lot of food um, and I am getting an increasingly heavy inventory. So let us eat some of it. 
thinking a bag of holding is going to be quite solid. Okay, all right. I think I think we're okay. I think we're definitely. I uh, or I'm going to fall down a trap door and immediately fall down several dungeon levels. How far did I fall? I think I actually fell past Mine Town. I think I'm in. Yeah, I did actually fall past Mine Town. Uh, what is that? Peaceful Watchmen. Okay, no, this is Mine Town. This is a Bones Mine Town. Or at least I think it is. Please don't be bad. Uh, we've got a general store. We've got... Okay. Uh, we've got a digging dwarf on the level, which is a little bit concerning. A stethoscope. I feel like I'm being mocked, considering how the previous game went. Like, these are all the things that I really wish I had before. Okay, so we have trees in a dungeon. Had trees in a dungeon. Let me find the altar and then let us take full stock of our situation. Whistle, key, large box, key. All right, nothing amazing in that store. Just not... Yeah, so not seeing anything. I gotta kill this dwarf. I don't like killing peacefuls, but if the a dwarf with a pickaxe will destroy the level given enough time, and I don't want the, this level to be torn up. Uh, where is the altar on this level? If we're really lucky, this is going to be a sanctuary. And then I will stop and explain. Nope, let's not unlock that because that will up upset the entire watch. Is it, that, is it down there in the lower left-hand corner? Is that why I'm not seeing it? Nope, nope. Where is the altar? I know it's here. It's got... Like, I'm running out of doors to open. I hear sacrifices, so I guess it's on this side of the map? Because you'd get different messages if the priest was dead. There it is. There it is. Or no. Peaceful Watchmen. The problem is if I try and unlock the door and the watch sees me. Yeah, because I think it's this door here in the corner. There we go. There's the... Pr okay. All right, let me close this door and explain. So that was an incredible amount of loot that we got in a very short period of time. Um, I realized I was basically speedrunning for that entire section. Basically... The normal way you play for the Gnomish Mines, which is what didn't happen before, is you identify everything. Um, you you basically get a whole bunch of tools. Huh. Magical boots that don't give a message. I think those have to be water walking. There's only a handful that don't give a message like that. Alright, so let me drop the scrolls. What do we got to work with here? 
Uh, so a whole bunch of scrolls, a bunch of which are blessed. The uh, the spell book is not cursed. Wow, my intelligence is garbage. I only have ten intelligence. So so realistically, what you're saying is that this monk was ordained from birth to retrieve the amulet of Yendor, but he was dumb. I don't want to say dumb as bricks, but I don't think he got the full marks in his in his monk classes. Like that's not the absolute worst. Wow, the game actually gave me a free holy water. Uh, all right. So what else do we still need to identify? Let's grab all those tools. So I don't have much inventory space. So I think what we'll do here is let me read this book. Drain life and I can actually cast it. It's not a super useful skill for me. And let me see if we can figure out what this amulet is. Alright. So here's how the trick that you do this with the amulet. Is we put... We zap this. And we need to look at what that is. So... I have the amulet on. I am stridently aligned. I am sleep resistant. Which is intrinsic for monks at this point. I believe so. Hold on. Uh, no, it is not in... No, they start with sleep resistance. Okay. Um, poison resistance is intrinsic. I am telepathic. This is an amulet of ESP. That is actually not a horrible find because extrinsic ESP is actually quite solid. This means that I can see monsters through walls. Yeah, that's actually quite solid. Okay. So that tells me that amulet of ESP. There are better ones, but until I find one, it's not worth dealing with. Uh, there's no message on enlightenment for water walking, which I'm pretty sure is what these boots are. Um, let me figure out what else we do or do not have. Potions, healing, uh, let me drop drain life. Let me drop the spell book of healing. Uh, I am going to actually note that I just read this once. Not that it, it almost is never relevant. But if this is a very long game, it might become relevant. Pickaxe, tin opener. The tin opener is not useful. So here's why um, in light ESP is so useful. If I put on the towel, I can now see where every monster on the level of a brain is. So now I can see that the watch is here. There's a bunch of people in this closet. There are snakes here. This is an incredibly powerful thing to have. What else do I have? The stethoscope tells me a bunch of basic information, which is useful. Um, I believe we have a general store. So let, uh, let me drop the pickaxe off because I can't take that into a store with me. And let's see what we can find. Hardware store. Large box. Key. Whistle. Whistle key and a blindfold wow that is a that is not a hardware store i want to shop at i would like to speak to your manager please uh lighting store what do you have for me a lamp a 50 zorkamoid lamp that is a magic lamp that is likely a cursed magic lamp but a, that is a lamp uh, I don't have the money to buy it. So magic lamps have two purposes. I can get a wish out of them, or I have an everlasting light source. The light source is actually really useful. Let me see what else we've got here. Conical hat, 
white potion none of these scrolls are useful okay hold on so drop do i have yep okay i do have a scroll of identification i have a scroll of identification in fact i have two of them and i have a ho i have holy water I am going to actually take advantage of this situation. Um, here's how you we, we're going to do this. So we grab all these. I don't need the conical hat. We are going to dip. I, I don't like using up my last holy water, but the chance of a full identification this early in the game is a little bit too good to pass up. Make sure I've got the one drop G. Nope. Yeah, that's the right potion though. Dip G in X. And then read it. And then this tells me, so let me start identifying scrolls. I just, that's destroy armor. That's a good one to find. And amnesia. <laughs> that is incredibly good to find those right there. Because those scrolls are only ever harmful. So I'm going to sell both of those. That was beautiful. All right, let's read the second identify so that let's look at that one that one uh do i want it? you know i'm gonna read what that other scroll is fire um let's find out what this this book is turn on dead wow that is lame let's see here um and then pick up and let's drop all unpaid items. That's that was actually that's actually not bad to know. So we we know what identification is. We know what destroy armor. We know what amnesia is. Those are the two really dangerous scrolls. Um, what this tells me is that we are very much on the scroll identification game. I really need to move this camera because obviously I keep looking, uh, I keep my hand to my face when I'm thinking, and that doesn't seem to work well for the camera. I am debating what I want to spend my money on, but I'm actually really happy with this opening. Like, th this is about as good as it gets for an early game. I do kind of wish I identified those buckled boots. Oh, they may be jumping. They may be jumping. Hold on. They are not jumping. So that means they are... They could be kicking, but that's hard to identify as a monk because my strength is so high. Uh, they're not bad to have regardless. Let me see what else I can... Let me... Let's drop our load off a little bit. Uh, scroll of Fire, Scroll of Light is not useful. The Wolf's Bane is not useful. The Fortune Cookies can go away. I will hold on to the Apples. And I think I'm going to keep everything else. So now we should have the money to actually grab that. Oh, you know what? I don't have the holy water to get that lamp. That. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I'm almost certain that this is a magic lamp. As soon as I can bless it, I, I should have... I, I completely forgot to do that. Let me just make sure it's not. Okay. Yeah, so now we have a permanent light source, which is a very good thing to have. And as soon as I can get more holy water, um, 
we should be able to get a wish out of that. So I think more holy water is about to come very, very relevant. And you can also see with lamps that when they're lit, um, they drastically increase how much I can see. And you also can see I can see enemies through the wall now. You know... Ooh, I am becoming weak. Pray. Crap. I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I think I'm about to die. Actually, maybe not. No, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. I'm trapped in a corner and I can't get out. What do I have that could possibly help with this situation? I don't think I have anything here that actually helps with my situation. I also, yeah, um, shit. No, I can write Eberleth. Uh, Eberleth. Oh, that was too close. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Actually, I'm moving away. Alright, hold on. I do want to start leveling up attack. That was way, way too close. I don't want to do that again. That was way, way too close. So if you write the name Eberleth on the ground, it's a reference to Lord of the Rings. It's the name of the elven goddess. It causes most enemies, not all, to retreat. Um, and But the thing is that that mechanic isn't even alluded to in the game. I think an oracle might, the oracle might have a clue about it, but I've never actually seen it. I only ever read it by finding it on the wiki. Uh, I think I read spoilers, like a spoiler text guide many, many years ago. And then I read about it on the wiki. Um, and I just realized I accidentally maximized that terminal. Okay, the adrenaline's kind of pumping here. Just a little bit. All right. It is now midnight. It is now Sunday, East Eastern Standard Time. Um, definitely. Oh, an altar. It's a lawful altar. I only prayed recently, so I can't get holy water out of this just yet. But we will be back. Did I put my lamp out at some point? I must have turned it off. But that that is that should be a wish as soon as I can bless it and a general store. Oh. Oh, this this quite possibly changes everything. An opera cloak for 50. All the cloaks are... Not, none of the cloaks are harmful. And all of them are magical. I'm going to buy it. A tin for 5. A whistle for 13. Fortune cookie. And a short wand. Uh, the wand I will come back for. Cloak of Displacement. 
Well, so displacement is a very weird mechanic in vanilla. It basically causes enemies to strike at where you might be and not where you are. But I am giving up two points of armor to wear that. Like, and the basic robe is considerably better. Like, if it was a Cloak of Magic uh, cancellation, that would be a different story. But displacement, I don't think I want to switch out my cloak for that. It's not a bad item though. I'm going I'll, I'll just stash that here for now. Ooh, and an acid blob. Like yeah. So because now I can offer this here. And you have a hopeful feeling. Yeah, so my prayer timer is not I can't safely pray. And I accidentally left. Basically, if I can get a wish, I can get one of the best armors in the game. Which would be, for what we are, the stage of the game we're currently in, a gray uh, dragon scale mail would be probably god tier. Like, I don't know, like, I can't think of anything better. Reflection's a little bit easier to come come by in the early game. And also, it does help that I have a attack that a ranged attack. Okay. Oh, that nymph is awake. That that is actually quite dangerous nymphs nymphs are the annoyingly dangerous enemy because um they steal items from you so i just want to get off that level as quickly as possible uh i did die but i really that game really had it in for me pretty much from the get-go uh so we are now running monk uh, my monk is doing quite a bit better than, um, the game is just going to hand me an elven mithril cloak just like that. I mean, even if it's cursed, even if it's cursed, that's like my best, that's one of my, oh look, and there's an altar in the same room to test it with. Yeah, that, that is like. That is, uh, that's an upgrade. That is basically just an upgrade. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I also can advance those skills. Wearing, wearing armor as a monk is considered encumbering. I, I lose the ability to hit well. Oh, that actually changes the calculus. What the hell do I wish for? Hold on, I, I need to think about this. So if I, I I have one, I have a I have a magic lamp. I need to bless it, but I do have a magic lamp. The problem is that the standard early wish is to go for dragon scale armor. Uh, I would say Cloak of Magic Resistance would be the best possible wish I could make. And then, because Reflection is a little bit easier to come by, but Amulet of Reflection is not a bad wish either. A ring would not be a horrible choice, but what the heck, what ring would I wish for? I'm not going for any conducts. Like what would what could I possibly wish for? I've gone I've gone monk past the castle and then I went splat somewhere in gentlemen. Um, 
Oh, this is a hard one. Hold on. So... If we could find a spear... I actually think a spear is the way to go here. Oh, this is this is not an easy decision. The problem with going for the cloak is the cloak has really flipping horrible AC and I would lose the robe which means I couldn't be a spellcaster. I do have Drain Life, which is a usable attack spell, though. As long as I just get the attack spell up to unskilled, that is workable. At which point, I just need a quarter staff or a spear, and I have a usable weapon. I don't want to give up the robe because it's. I'm going to have to do more spell casting than not, and I'm thinking using running the monk as. Um, I am thinking martial arts is not my best move here. I, I honestly think if we can find a spear, it's going to be the better play here. I'm going to, I think we're just going to hold that wish in reserve because at the moment, um, yeah, I... Yeah, wearing... Hold on. I need to see what the rules are for wearing armor as a monk. No, okay. Wearing body armor also affects spell casting. Okay. Uh, let's... That means that this armor is completely useless to us. And you feel sensitive. What is you feel sensitive? I don't remember what that message is. Warning. Okay, so we have intrinsic warning now. My gut is still saying the cloak of magic resistance is then the better thing. Because you always want to start with magic resistance or reflection. There's it, the, the jury is out of which one is the better of the two to get. I tend to think that magic resistance is the better of the two choices. Because it protects you from polymorph traps, which you can appear under uh, in Mind's End. It protects you from a lot of thing, a lot of insta deaths that reflection will not. And at this point, we are already at 64, 62 hit dice, which tells me that reflection is the be uh, re um, is the better way to go here. The other possible choice is to wish for a t-shirt. That would be two points of AC that we could enchant. A marker. You know what? I think a magic marker with ch uh, a charging or my magic marker may be the best wish to go for. Because we could rock that robe all the way through the end game. Let me think about this. Because right now we have no way to actually get that wish. We just have it in reserve. Because we don't need intrinsics. There's like only one or two intrinsics that we won't get naturally. And incidentally, this is how warning works. You see how I have these this one here? That means there's a monster that I'm not super concerned about that I don't know about. Which goes really nice with having intrinsic... Um, I do want to keep leveling up our power while we can. Okay, so we have a scroll there. And we have a murky potion. Uh, murky potion, I think, is looking very good to just try and use test because now we have a bunch of them. We have two seer. So if I dip, okay, so that doesn't go in there. Um, oh, an object detection one. That is actually really useful. Well, okay, it's not actually that useful, but it's a nice good thing good bit of fodder for dealing with um 
let's see here. We've got gemstones here, gemstone there, gemstone here, and a gemstone there. I don't. I left my pick back down in Mine Town, but that's handy because we can just turn object detection into water, and nothing bad will happen. Like they are the most useless of the potions for the most part. I think the only time option detection really comes in handy is if um, you are trying to uh, find the fort. Because it's an easy way to find vaults. Potion of Sleeping. Another one that we can throw in the bin. Violent Gem and... Alright. Let's get off this level before I die because I am, again... I'm not squishy, but I'm squishy enough. Oh, and a wand of teleportation. That is a great escape item. I, you know, ring of protection is starting to make me think. The problem is that how high can I wish for protection? Uh, I'm not liking this level. Whoa, that werewolf is about to end me. Uh, Wanda teleportation coming for the rescue. Okay. Uh, I am more likely to die here than not. That, that actually didn't help me. Uh, do I have enough energy to heal? Yes, I do. If I stay here, those ants have to engage me one by one. I don't think they know I'm here. This is a very dangerous situation. Uh, let's get to that upstairs and off this level before before we actually die because we're completely out of power. Uh, oh right, there's a nymph on this level. You know, just, just because it wasn't hard enough. I feel like the game is mocking me at this point. Um, okay. There is an unidentified wand in this shop that I would love to know what it is. So how do we get that wand? I think we want to... Uh, a ring of teleport control is not a horrible idea, actually. Like... That is actually would be a pretty solid wish. But I really want survivability over anything else. I really don't want to engage with that nymph. Let me think about this. What do we have here? Can we sell stuff? Because that one was 150. Um... If we could just get a little bit more gold, it would be usable. Let me see here. I mean, we could. There are multiple ways we could try and get for a wish. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to having this type of in um paralysis. I think, I think I want to grab that pickaxe and I want to go mining. Because money more than anything else is probably our biggest problem. We're going to need divine protection. So taking that into account. Getting money and then stuff to survive. Is Kind of where my mind's at right now. All right, so now we're back at Mine Town, and I fell down a trap door. <sighs> All 
Alright, let me let me get back up because obviously I of course I had to fall down a trap door. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to grab those daggers because we can easily sell those on the level above. Crossbow does not help. A uh, bunch of unknown scrolls do. Okay. Ooh, a random bag. That... Hold on. Drop Q. The bag is empty. That... That could be... You feel like someone is helping you. Teleportation trap. That's fine. Someone is helping you means that something in my inventory got uncursed, but I don't see anything that actually got uncursed. Alright. Oh, I just saw a wand. Hold on. Let... That no... Apparently, every wand of teleportation in this game is being used against me. Um, do I want to pray for food or do I want to use perma food? I mean, I have a lot of perma food, but I feel like I'm going to have to do sacrificing. So I don't. I think I'd rather save the perma food. Okay. Yeah, a Tengu is the way to do it. Um, it's not a horrible wish. I just don't like it as an early game wish. Alright, what do we have to work with here? So we have a Blessed Potion of Sleeping. Uh, we have a bunch of scrolls here. Enlightenment Teleportation. Um... I think we want to try and... Let's see here. What do we have here that we can sell? Uh, we could sell all this to the general store for at least a little money. Uh, let me leave the pickaxe here because that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Pickaxe we can leave here. Because, like I said, there's a one there that I... Every one that we find is a option that we have going forward. All right, that's a hardware store. So let let's let's get some money here. So let's drop uh, scroll of light because that is completely useless. Fire is useful for green slime, but green slime won't generate this early in the game. Uh, what else do we have here that we can dump for money? Because I think money is by far going to be our most useful thing. There's that unidentified amulet in the store on an upper level. There's the wand that we don't know what it does. Um, we could have gone holy water of that last prayer. Actually, that was actually a risky prayer. Although, given that we... Yep. We've had some... We, we've had about $250 of donations tonight, which, considering this is a middle-of-the-night stream and probably the quietest part of... English speaking YouTube is not a bad place to be. Um, let me. I'm going to sell these da daggers. I think I can sell these. I might as well just sell them. There's no reason to keep them. Uh, is there anything else in our inventory that might be worth doing? Let me see. Let's see if we have any other interesting scrolls. 38. That's probably enchant weapon. No, that would be an 80. What is the scroll? I, I don't like... Like, scroll... Price identification, I know, is... Interesting. 
It's either enchant weapon or remove curse. And both of those are actually quite useful to us. Uh, sorry, it's going to be enchant armor, remove curse. So I think we're going to want to read that one as quickly as we can. 75 pieces, so that'd be a 150 scroll. Which doesn't... It's probably... Okay, that doesn't actually tell me anything useful. But we know the most dangerous one. Um, Yeah, it can't be punishment, which is not horrible, but... Okay. 23. That's enchant weapon. That's going to be enchant weapon. As enchant weapon and 113 means it's a 200. That could be a bunch of things. I think that's worth just reading and finding out. Um, is there anything else in this pile that would actually be useful? Scroll of teleportation would be a good escape item. But I think I'm happy with what we have right now. I'm act like I said, money is going to be our biggest biggest thing right now. Uh, let's grab that pickaxe and let's get out of this level. And how close am I? Yeah, I'm not that close. I'm not going to advance martial arts because I think I'm going to need those skill slots. Uh, this, however, may be worth killing. Actually, I already have cold resistance, so no, it's not even worth killing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just see a unicorn? I did just see a unicorn. I saw a gray unicorn. Yeah, you know what? That's worth it. We need that. We need that unicorn. Um, I should be. Holy crap! I'm about to die. Uh, I can do it as long as I am at full energy. Let us just recover our strength. That unicorn is the next major. Why did that dwarf zap a wand? Alright. Uh, we need to wait for our spell energy to recharge before we go after that unicorn. That nymph I've got to do something about. So far, so good. I will note that, that my lamp has been on for a really long time and it hasn't faded. So let me grab... Do I go for the wand or do I go for the amulet? Chat, I'm going to let you let you decide. Yeah, I'm thinking either the wand or the amulet. I The wand is my thought here... But the amulet could also be quite good, especially if it's reflection. But we could also get reflection at Sokoban. Um, let's see what chat's thinking. Chat is thinking apparently the wand. Also, let me just see if this is a magical bag. Because I forgot to check that. 50 gold pieces. That is a magical bag of some kind. That's either oil skin or that is either... Um, oil skin, cloak, whistle... Yeah, that's 
that is that could be a bag of holding that could actually be a bag of holding yep we're uh this is just like a very chillax stream because i need some stress relief in my life i think i want to drop one of these scrolls because they're not going to be useful for me as of right now um The amulet could be the amulet I could use immediately as long as it's something. Although I don't have a source of telepathy right now, so I kind of want to probably. I think the wand is the better call here. And then I want to figure out what that bag might be. And then short wand. It's a wand of digging. That is amazing. Like, that is a good number of escape items. Let's figure out. Let's see here. Let's put in um, our potions. Let me first figure out their curse status. Let's see here. Uh, potions. I think it will auto-detect, uh, auto-identify if this is a bag of holding. No, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to encumber myself and then put items in. Like, if I can successfully untrap one of these... I just need something heavy. Like, I literally just need something heavy right now. That's all I need in my life. And actually, there was a box on this level now that I think about it. Actually, wasn't there a vault on, like, the first dungeon level? Like, I feel like... Yeah, let's pick up that empty chest. And now that we've got that empty chest, and I put, like, I just need to be just barely over encumbered. I feel like there was a vault up here. Yeah, there is a vault up here. We've got some time to kill. So I said we grab that. I'm going to actually just grab, take one of these object detections. Yeah, okay, so the vault's over there in the corner, so now we know where it is. Which saves us a nice bit of time. Uh, okay, so... Oh, I of course I left the pickaxe. I left the pickaxe on a previous level. Because once we have more money, there's a lot more things we can do. What is with all the bear traps? I'm getting really sick of this. Alright, there's our pickaxe. So you hear someone cursing shoplifters. That means there's a shop on this level. Hold on. Hold the hold the bone. Where where was the shop that I haven't seen? If there is a shop on this level, that means it's probably in the corner somewhere. Is there really a hidden a hidden shop here. There's only a handful of places the door could be. Because uh, shops have to basically de um, designate uh, generate in a dead end part of the map. It's just due to the way the 
the code works. Silver arrows, a horn. What is down there? What am I digging towards? The wall seems too hard to dig into. So the shop is like right here. And there's the door. Oh, and there is the... Um, that is another general store. It's not a particularly useful one, but it is another general store. But fortunately, now we have a way to get intrinsic. Um, yeah, so as long as I wear a towel, I can attack these guys. Oh, I just hit with a welded weapon. Okay, that that's... It's not fine. I'm not going... Okay. I have a yellow potion. Let's go get that vault. Alright. Sure. I'm, I, yeah, I I'm finding it amusing that I never use object detection in a normal game, and I'm, like, using it all the time now. Look, we have money! We have a lot of money, actually. Uh, not enough to get divine protection. So, a mechanic I haven't shown in the game as of yet. Yes. Now we have intrinsic ESP, so we, we could actually switch out. That is a lot of hell orcs. That is a stupid number of hill orcs. Um, we could switch out the amulet and it would actually be quite safe because at this point we now have um, ESP from another source. So knowing what that other amulet is, is definitely a much better idea than it was before. So I think all in all, that was a major victory. And I think there was one or two other things in that store um we definitely want to find out i do act you know i should actually start using this bag even though i don't know what it is uh really because i just want to get to encumbered so let's grab that amulet is there anything else you sell that i care about and the answer is no, there is not. Alright, so is this a cursed amulet? Yes, no. It's cursed. That probably means it's strangulation. Because those strangulation is very, very commonly generated cursed. I'm going to just stuff that in my bag. And we'll, look, we'll try and figure that one out later. And then other stuff in the bag to put in is coins. Uh, I will put food in the bag so we can free up the inventory. I am inclined to try and make holy water. Because if we do holy water at this point, we can do the enchant armor. Um... Additional AC is a very strong thing to have, and formally identify enchant armor is actually quite powerful for this stage of the game. So, uh, how do I want to do this? I'm actually going to dip in the fountains on the offhand chance we actually get a wish. There's the snakes. We get a gem. Uh, yeah. All 
And we get yet another scroll. This continue this is getting interesting. Okay, so that's now a water. Okay, so th those fountains dried up without giving me anything useful. Um, you know, if this is water walking, I can find out right now because it only these boots could only be water walking, or uh, also I wanted to grab that money wrapping. These boots could only be water walking, or um. And here's how I find out. Uh, let me drop everything that I care about. Yeah, okay, that's everything I actually care about. Uh, I just realized I never actually seem to put these boots on. Okay, so they're not water walking. They're probably kicking then. Uh, okay, so... I'm actually going to... We'll quaff test these two other ones because I don't know what they are if they're not cursed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of water. I, I do find it annoying how difficult it is to make water in this game. Like, this should not be this difficult, but it is, in fact, that difficult. Uh, and our turn count is high enough that we can safely water prayer. Uh, let me put these on. You are surrounded by a golden glow. Oh, I got to, I got, that is awesome. We actually got a free point of divine protection. Our AC dropped down from four to three. That's, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad at all. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I think. The leather gloves are probably the right... I apparently named my leather gloves um, Drain Life R1. What else... What else would... What is the best item here to increase the AC on? I'm thinking that robe is the best one. Enchant Weapon doesn't actually do anything useful for us. But I can use it to exercise strength. So let's improve the robe. Oh, that was magic mapping. That was the wrong scroll. Okay, uh, that's fine. Dip J H. Your hands twitch. That that was me exercising it. I probably shouldn't have burned the holy water on that, but eh. we can always make more. Is basically what it boils down to. Let me see if I can figure out what the rest of these items are. Uh, dip K Z. Dip, K, B. Okay, so these are both safe to drink. Clouded darkness. Okay, so that's blindness. That's actually a slight problem. What's the other one? And that one's levitation. So I am both blind and levitating. Um, but now I know a bunch of stuff that I shouldn't drink. I still don't know if this is an oil skin bag or if this is a... You know what? I think I want to be able to be ready for that wish. So let me grab that lamp. And then let me put, let's put away scrolls and potions. It's pro, you know, actually maybe we'll read the scrolls as soon as this blindness wears off. But I still don't know what to wish for. I don't know what a solid wish here is. You know, actually, since we're 
since we're in the process of doing stuff, let me take that off. What scrolls do I know? I know destroy armor, I know amnesia. The only one that is incredibly bad for me is punishment. Uh, but there are ways to deal with punishment that I am not that worried about. So, let's read away. Charging! That is incredible. That is actually really good to have. I'm going to charge up the Wand of Teleport because that is going to be our escape item for most of the game. That is actually... And that saves me having to wish for it. I they, Scrolls of Charging are disgustingly uncommon in this game. Uh, they can... Basically what that does is it recharges a magical item. It's... Wand of Teleportation's not a great use for it, but... Eh, uh, the scroll disappears. Nothing interesting happens. That may have been create monster. Yeah, I think that was, I actually do think that was create monster. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I think that was Create Monster. And then, what's the last one? And the last one was Punishment. Shit. Okay. Um. That's annoying. That's not the end of the world annoying. We have to deal with this. We have to deal with that Iron Bar. Uh, Iron... The... There are ways to deal with it. I just have to deal with it. Okay, hold on. So the easiest way... So punishment, and you'll see it... Oh, actually, because I was... No, I am actually punished. The easiest way we can deal with punishment is to dig a pit and then f drop the ball in it. So, um... Yeah, so there's the... There's that... I think this still works in this version. No, it does not actually still work in this version. Damn. Okay, so we need to... The, there's a couple ways to deal with it. You can deal with a scroll... Um, you can deal with it with magically opening it. You can deal with destroying the ball. Uh... What other ways can I get rid of the, the stupid punishment? It's been quite a long time since I've actually been punished. Uh, ending punishment. Pray, praying can do it. Remove curse will do it. It can be stolen by a nymph. Um, yeah, there are a couple ways to do it. Actually, no. Apparently, digging it in, digging it, and will eventually get rid of it. I just have to keep. You just have to keep doing it, and it will eventually end the punishment. Uh, I just need to get another boulder. So let's do it. And also, I was apparently attacking with that pickaxe that whole time. So, okay. So, to do that, let's try this one more time. So, pickaxe down. We make a pit. We now move out of the pit. Be really nice when I can see again. Because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Oh, good. That just finished. Okay. So, now we grab this. Oh, damn it. The, that boulder filled the pit because I did it wrong. Alright, so we're going to have to deal with this this punishment problem. Let me just figure out. Do I have another boulder I can easily get to?
Uh, let me grab an apple out so this pony will leave me alone. Fro... Fro... 1G... Hey, now I have a pet. Yeah, okay, so we, we definitely need to deal with this iron ball problem. This is this is really irritating. Alright, so if I go here, let's deal with that. So now we have that. We dig the hole the pit. Let's grab this. So I was doing it right, it's just changed in the intervening versions. Okay, so now, all right, so now the iron ball is buried, and now if I just keep trying to move, I should be able to get away from the iron ball. There we go, punishment is over. No, it's not, because it is still, in fact, attached to me. I'm running out of ways to actually... It's also possible to bury the ball and walk into a bear trap. Which will end it. Well, I've got bear traps right here, so let me disarm one and take it with me. Okay, so now I grab the bear trap. So basically the problem with punishment is that that ball is just going to follow me no matter where I go. I have to deal with it. Um, I need to go back to a level that has a boulder on it. So let me... And I also can't fast travel while I have the ball attached. I'm actually going to have to pick it up when I go down the stairs. Or someone's going to... It's just going to hand me a wand. What is this wand? A leprechaun appears next to me. Okay, so where's... So pick up the iron ball. And try not to die when we fall down the stairs. Alright, so this time let's... Let's dig a hole. Uh, and what happened to my... What happened? Did I drop my bag when I fell? I did drop my bag when I fell. Uh, this is why I have to end this punishment. Okay. That digs a hole. There's a boulder I can use. Oh, I'm fainting. I'm fainting. Hold me. I need to slow down because if I keep playing like this, I'm going to make an absolutely fatal mistake and I'm going to die. Alright. So now I need to get into the pit. The ball is going to fall. Now I need to deploy the bear trap while I'm standing on this tile. Okay. Okay, now the bear trap is set. I bury the ball. And now, does is that going to end it? <sighs> okay, I escaped the punishment. Oh, that was way more annoying than it had to be. That was way, way, way more annoying than it had to be. Like, that was obnoxiously annoying. But we escaped punishment by burying the ball and then sticking our foot in a bear trap. Don't ask me how that works. It just does. Okay. So, let me take a, mo let me take a moment to recount where we are. Well, right now we're actually not wearing any armor, which seems like a really good way to die. 
So now we're down to an AC of three. You know, the, the idea for a ring of protection may not be a bad idea. But it isn't that much AC. Yeah, it did level up. Um, I should probably name it. I don't know why... I need my horses after delivery companies, but I do. I'm going to grab a soda. I'll be right back. I am inclined to go to Mind's End. And here's my thought process. I'm wondering what chat's going to say about this. Going to Mind's End at this point would get us the Luck Stone. And I think we can handle it. Actually, I th no, you know, I think Sokoban is the better call. At least the first level or two of Sokoban, I think it's the better call. But we are pretty bloody squishy for Sokoban. Because Sokoban, can, it's, it's a very narrow level. It's very easy to get into trouble on Sokoban. But Sokoban has a guaranteed wand. and I think it's two wands per level and a lot of food. The gold in Sokoban would also be decent for divine protection. The other thought I'm having is to try and sacrifice until we get a weapon. Because right now we have Diddly as far as spells go. If I, if I, if we can advance attack spells to level one, which we're still not, we're still unskilled, so we haven't even used it successfully 25 times. Um, we know there's a unicorn in the mines. That was kind of why we were going on this little side trip to begin with. I think we want to continue going down that road. Because that is going to... Because getting... Especially if we can get the horse to help us. Uh, okay, hold on. I think we... If we can get a unicorn horn is probably our best mess move at this point. There's the unicorn. Can I get it into a position... Hey, there we go. And there's the unicorn horn. I'm going to want to bless that as soon as possible. That, But that is, uh, that is the first major item of our ascension kit that will basically carry us throughout the entire game. Uh, NetHack is based on AD&D. Uh, it is based on second edition. So it has an incredible number of pole arms in its in-game uh, library. Let me see what else we've got to grab here. Like, is there anything else here in mine six that is useful? I'm not really seeing anything. Ooh, a large cat. Does that do anything for me? Uh, I will tame it. Like, I will just throw it a tripe. There's no reason not to. In fact, the pony is better because the, the pony, um, let's call him Fluffy 3 because uh, we, we apparently it's what we call our animals around here. 
And what did we have in this box up here? Because I pro I only would have left this box if I couldn't have looted it at the time. Wow, that's a lot. Of, that two smoky potions. Okay. All right. Let's get back down to let's go let's go to the mine and let's use our wand of enlightenment and do some little let's do a little bit of enlight. Let, let's see if we can figure out what that jade ring is because a ring would be uh, rings are in handy for a lot of reasons. You feel an unexpected draft. I don't remember what that message means. All right. Let me move away from the altar just in case this is conflict. And now let me zap the Wand of Enlightenment and see if we can figure out. You are, you're fast, you're lucky, you're stealthy, you're invisible, you're cold resistant, you're pious. You have a small penalty to hit um i think the small penalty to hit means that this ring is a oh you can jump what's giving me that is that the boots you are stealthy you can jump you have a small penalty to hit Hold on, hold, hold the horn, hold the horn. I can jump. Are those from the boots? Oh, they are from the boots. Okay, so now we know what those boots are. I thought I tested that, I must have done it wrong. So we have jumping boots. Uh, not my personal favorite item, but I will totally take that. All right. Um, I don't really want to use up another enlightenment charge, but I want to make sure. But I don't think this ring is. I think this is a penalty ring. Uh, type of object in inventory. Minus penalty to hit. Okay, and then that can go into the sack. All right. Uh, what else am I looking for here? I'm definitely feeling like I want to make more holy water more sooner rather than later. Let me think about this. Our next... What is our what would our next prior? I think Sokoban is our is the best move we can make here. Although I would say a magic marker would actually a magic marker might be a very solid wish at this point. Yeah, but let's let's go to Sokoban. I think I'm not seeing any reason. Oh wait, hold on. I just saw something I want to snag. There's actually this is important. This is like one of those weird dungeon features, but there are certain cases where items can be generated in a way like this. And hey, look, now we have two scrolls of teleportation that we did not have before. That's nice. I think I'm going to have to enhance martial arts to expert. It goes all the way to grandmaster. I don't think we're going to get a weapon anytime soon, so I think the skill slots are worth it. Can I? Yeah, I can't take it further than that. Uh, I will grab those food rations, and I will just eat the corpses. Okay, now we're saturated. So what else do we have on these levels that we don't know that we... Oh, that's a yellow light. That's a yellow light that just exploded. I have a unicorn horn. I have a unicorn horn. That is not a problem 
And the wood nymph just stole a potion. Where is that wood nymph? Because I need to... I need to end her. Uh, okay, so smoky potion is confusion. And now I can advance... Oh, cool. I can now advance attack spells, spells to basic. Uh, we get a wand of teleportation. And, yeah, okay, you know, I'm good with that. That was... We are now considerably more likely to kill stuff. Drain Wife is not what I call an amazing attack spell. And now we have another ring that we could work with. Uh, wow, that's kind of a lame level. Is there anything on this level we cared about? There is an altar, so let's just see what's going on with this altar. Okay, nothing here. A throwing spear, that doesn't help us. You're like, there's so many items in this game you'll never get enough of to actually be able to use. Ooh, a lizard! A lizard is actually amazing because now we have protection from um, petrification. Okay. Ooh, ring of invisibility! We found a useful ring. We actually found a useful ring that's going to live in my finger for quite a while. Uh, cursed and uncursed teleportation. That is also actually useful. So scrolls, potions, um, yeah, that's actually, everything in that pile is actually really useful. Let's go, let's keep going on to Sokoban. I mean, I could play with tiles. I don't like playing in ti with tiles. Like, I don't find it nice. Uh, let me heal myself. I will say that we're getting a lot of mileage out of that healing spell. How are we doing on retention? Retention, I'm going to have to recharge that spell at some point, but maybe we'll see how far we get without having to do that. And now we have a scroll that we don't know. We are going through. We are act, we're going for this dungeon quite well, and I, this has to be a bag of holding. I really do need an identification scroll at this point. Uh, what am I seeing through the wall? Peaceful Oracle. Okay, so this is the Oracle level. Um, nothing there. there so that means so the sokoban is always one level below the oracle uh these statues do have a chance to have spell books kind of like that I think that's... I have that distinct feeling that's going to be the only spell book we get. Oh, no. We actually got another one. Wait, did, was that the chime of a register? Did I hear that... Read that message? Uh, statue satyrs with all your might. Okay, so no. I, I don't think I read that. I don't think a shot can generate on the oracle, but maybe I'm wrong. Alright, so we just got two new spell books. I think we should go find out what those are. Uh, you hear a scroll reading Fenord. I have no idea. I didn't see anything happen. Okay, 
Okay, so far, Potion of Light, Dark Green Potion. Let's go to that altar and see what we have to work with. Because I feel like... Oh, that is actually a bag of holding. Because I just found out... Uh, yeah, that is in fact a bag of holding. Not that I meant to take everything out of it. All right, so let's do some let's do some curse identification here. Uh, bag of holding. Take everything out. I, okay, so there's nothing in this bag that I don't know the stats of. One of these spell books we don't know the stats of. The other one we do. Uh, so let's read J. And I don't have a high enough level to have successfully read that, I guess. Let me try again. Yeah, and come with the dust. Okay, fair enough. Um, I probably should have blessed it, but... Eh. Alright. What else... Do, what do we have to work with right now? We have two teleportations, enlightenment, create, digging, uh, a unicorn horn... It might be worth converting this altar so I just don't have to go up higher. I don't think we need to do this just yet. I think we're good for the time being. Let me, let's put all this in here. Okay. Then let me go to our potions. I want... Uh, I, let's wait until we get some more holy water, but we definitely want to bless that bag of holding. Although, if there's a bag of holding in Sokoban, that is going to be depressing. Um, yeah, so rings. Yeah, so Sokoban is our next move. Ooh, and another. we have another spell book right there. Hopefully, we will find something useful. Alright. I hate when levels are like this, where I have to find the exit. Yep. Okay, there is Sokoban. Oh, yes, and in this version, the maps can be rotated just to screw with me let's see let's see how much of the solutions i remember uh this should be a very this one is a simple puzzle so this one needs to be moved up to the left then you grab this here you move this one down then now we have a ring one up left and then that goes into the pit okay and now now we can start clearing out these rooms so sokoban is probably my least favorite part of the game just because it shows up so early that you have to do it so many times and these are both you do you get two guaranteed scrolls of earth it's one of the few things that you will always get in Sokoban, which is a pretty situational item, but you always are better off having it than not. Alright, so go here. There's a wand here. We will check that wand in a moment. This needs to be moved up. Uh, oh shoot, there's a monster right there. Okay, and it, it's four levels, like I said, I just always find this a very tedious part of the game. Okay, that's there. Okay. 
But generally, I do consider once you um, complete both Sokoban and um, Mine's End, I do consider yourself being in the mid game. Okay, and then one more boulder to finish this level. See, and this is the other reason I have with Sokoban, the problem I have with Sokoban, is that because monsters can spawn at any point, it can cause boulders to get stuck. You can break boulders and make illegal moves as per the um, rules of Sokoban, but you take a pretty severe luck penalty every time you do that. So it's not really a good thing to do. All right, so that's one level of Sokoban done. We killed this monster, which is a crocodile that is completely destroying me. And drops a longsword. Okay, oh, that's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to eat that. All right. Unfortunately, yeah, don't... If you can't donate, do not worry about it. Um, but I hugely appreciate that. So let's add to the engraving... Okay, so that did nothing. I didn't get a directional prompt. There's very few wands that actually do nothing, including the wand of nothing. That might be secret door detection. Um, I'll have to zap it a few times and see, but it is an otherwise safe wand. Uh, okay, let me see if I can remember how to do this one. So this boulder needs to go to the left. I need to go down. One, two, three, four. A silver wand. And actually, while I'm here, zinc wand, no message, zinc. All right, so this one needs to go left. That goes down and into the hole. That goes down and into the hole. This is fortunately a pretty easy layout. It's it's the 4A and 4B ones that I tend to get, I have trouble with. What's funny is that the Sokoban puzzles actually came from a real magazine um, that were basically just copied into the game. Okay, so far so good. Oh, is that what I think it is? That is what I think it is. That is death. That's a cockatrice. That is one of the most dangerous items. That is one of the most dangerous things in NetHack. Uh, and I just realized that my lizard corpse is not in my main inventory. Where it needs to be. One of the very few items that just needs to be there. Uh, cockatrices have a delayed instant stoning attack. Um, if... I've actually never lost... Uh, no, that's not true. I have actually lost a character to them, but it's rare. Um, but they are scary. And for those who are wondering, I jumped into the pit to grab the items in the pit. Uh, because if I put the boulder in, it will destroy the items. It won't destroy the items, but I they would get buried. So it's the, it's the way you retrieve them in this level. Yeah, that is an incredibly scary looking room right now. Um, let me get as many of these boulders cleared out as I can. Okay. As long as that you don't get blindsided by them, you can also wield their corpse. It's known, it, the nickname in the community is the rubber chicken. Um... Because 
very few uh, uh, monsters in the game are stoning resistant. They're like... I want to say the riders are stoning resistance and like the name demons and like two others. It, 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 there are almost none. So, um, the rubber chicken is a very powerful way to get rid of problems. Alright, and that is another level of Sokoban done. So now what we do is we unlock this. We're going to let the chicken come out. And we kill it in a single hit. And make sure I'm wearing gloves as I walk on that. Because if I get blinded... Oh, a wand of digging. That is another good item to have. Uh, let me just put on my blindfold. And then... Hold on. Uh... And okay, so now we have an ivory ring, we have a candy bar, and a tripe race. Uh, okay. So let, let's figure out what this wand is. Okay, it's a wand of light. That's that's not useful. Uh, wands. Okay, let's put the ones that we're not using away. Enlightenment. Digging. And create monster can all go away. You have to be very careful putting wands in bags of holding. Uh, okay, so do I remember how this puzzle works? I think so. I think I have to move this boulder two to the left. And then up. Yeah. Okay. I may have screwed this up, but we'll see. Alright. That plugs that hole. Uh. Ooh, a wand. I'm enjoying finding all these wands. Ooh, a vanisher. And I know what teleportation is. That's either make invisible or cancellation. I need to know what wand this is. Because if that's cancellation, that is either... That is a potential cancellation. Make... Make invisible. That is a be very very careful of this item because cancel it. A, a can a wand of cancellation can end your game, and you'll understand why. Basically, if you put a wand of cancellation in a bag of holding, you will lose your bag of holding. Um, and that is about as devastating as it sounds. Okay, so how do I make a passage through all of this? I think what I do here is I need to move. This one down to here. I now come around. I move that one up. Like that. And now I can move that boulder. Okay, so now I can find out what this is. Okay, so that is a wand of make invisible. Which means that if I find another vanisher, that is by definition cancel. That is not... Okay, that is solid. That is very solid. Okay. And now I'm hungry. I'll just eat the candy bar. Because that is almost no nutrition and I don't need the weight. Alright. So now we move this boulder down. Like that. And now... Okay, and then let me just grab auto pickup, and that gives me an egg, which is like, you never eat random eggs. They're fine for pets, but as a player, you should never eat them for a lot of reasons, especially because you can accidentally eat what are called, what players in the game call grenades, 
which are cockatrice eggs, which just like their namesake, they will stone enemies. Uh, and they can be tossed to throw enemy to uh, stone enemies at a range. All right. So that is another boulder. Oh, look, another. Speaking of which, there is another cockatrice right there. Um, I think the game is sending me a message. All right. So now this boulder goes all the way down. Uh, and then this one goes all the way down. And so what's, what's in this tin? Just hobbits. Okay, cool. And then how do I get that boulder out? I think I just got to move one. Yeah, just, I just have to move this one and then move this one down like that. And that is a that is the third level of Sokoban cleared. Okay. Ooh, a scroll of identity. Um, I might. I'm thinking I might want to take a break here and go identify some items. But I, you know, I think I. I think I want. Let's go see what the last level of Sokoban is. Oh, I hate this one. This is like my least favorite of the Sokoban levels. Uh, especially because this one requires thinking. Like I don't. This is the one I never remember the solution for. And I also gained level 9 right there. Uh, oh, and a wand. How are we doing on wands? I think... Oh, wand of lightning. That is a very solid wand to find. Let me see if I can remember how the solution to this puzzle. You have to move the boulders very specifically in this one using the bottom roam to turn them around. Because if you do this wrong, this th you make one mistake on this puzzle and you do actually make it unsolvable. That's why I dislike this puzzle more than any of the other ones. Let me see if I remember how to beat this one. I think I have to move this boulder one left and then I can move this one down you have to do this in a very specific order so if, if I take this boulder and I move it two to the left One, two, yeah, okay, so that's out of the way. Now, if I move this boulder, this boulder here, I need to move. I just need to figure out where to move it to, because uh, I need to be able to get into this area. So I think I just move it one left like that. Now I could take this boulder here, move it here, and turn it around so I can get it up and out. Uh, but how do I get it up and out? I think I have to just... Let me think about this. I think I have to move the boulders actually from the top down. Like, it is so easy to screw this puzzle up. I also think one of these boulders are not actually real. Like, oh no, you're not mimics. This is actually, they're actually all real. Uh, okay, so how do I 
do this in such a way that is not going to be some horrible, horrible mistake if I start moving things. Because basically, once you get this puzzle, this room set up, it's easy. Um, which I think I've got to move this one. If I move, let's see here. Yeah, one of these I've got to move to a more, less bad position. Because I could take this one down, move it down, get over here, push it down. Okay, hold on. I, I actually see all the moves I have to make. I move you one to the right. I move you one to the left. And now I should be able to grab one of these boulders. And I think I just screwed up. I did I screw up yeah I may have just screwed this up it this is not a forgiving puzzle that's why you have the scrolls of earth they do let you generate more boulders Yeah, uh, I did in fact screw this up. Like I said, you make one mistake on this puzzle and it's not solvable. It's not solvable the intended way. There is a way, there's a, there is a way to correct a mistake. It's just not easy, uh, because I can't get this boulder to go down at this point. Um... If I move this one, one to the left like that. I had to move the one on top of it by one before I did that. Yeah, that I, I've already, I've screwed up this puzzle already. Um, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Let me see what I can do with this. Yeah, because there is a second, I believe there is a second solution that some people know of. So if I move that like that and then I move one here like that yeah I, I screwed up damn it I, I actually screwed this one up quite well like I said it's one wrong move for this one and it all goes to pot. So that means I'm going to probably have to take a luck penalty. Um, let me think about the least number of moves I can take to fix this. If I take everything and drop it out of my inventory, I can squeeze into spots that you normally would not be able to. It is a luck penalty, but is a viable move especially because i really want that soko gold all right hold on if i move yeah, I got to get one of these boulders out of the way. I just don't know which one. Uh, my best bet at saving this puzzle is probably...
probably moving this one left because then I can move this one here, here. Yeah, this this is a complete screw up. Damn it. Uh, can I get this boulder out of here? No, not easily. Okay, then I guess we're going to do it the less than elegant way. Um, I'm not even sure how to start salvaging this. I think what I want to do is I want to move that there, which is not a val it's not a good move to make normally, but I've already accepted I'm screwing this I've already accepted I screwed this up. Okay, so I have to drop my entire inventory. So if you, yeah, so if I drop my entire inventory, uh, I can now move on to the space. And that actually doesn't solve the problem, but I can move this boulder down. And now that can be turned around. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully that is not the only... Hopefully that I, I don't have to make, do that again. Um, I think I have to move this one one left because now I can start moving boulders in. Because I can start doing... Yeah, I can start doing this. Well, okay, that's a bit... It's a bit scuffed, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, that will... That will do well enough. All right, so we move this boulder here. We move that one there, and yeah, I just screwed this up again, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I actually did. I really hate this part. This, this particular layout I despise. Like I said, it takes just one mistake to screw the whole thing up, and you can't easily recover it once you have. Um, okay, so the boulder is there. What can I do with the boulder being there? Um, I can actually clear this boulder out now. And before, and we'll have to fix my luck because the, the biggest danger of having low luck is you take a very, very large hit um, hit penalty. Like I, I'll start missing things that I should not humanly be able to miss, but I will. So now I can move this here, and then I can get that boulder out later. Let's see how many boulders I end up short by I haven't had to smash any and I only have two in inaccessible locations so well actually I am successfully hitting stuff so I don't think the the lock penalty has been super severe at this moment uh, okay so we can now get that boulder oh that was a missed move that that was Literally, I tapped it one too many times. All right, let me just drop everything and we'll fix the puzzle. Uh, okay, so... Oh, I can't actually fix this. I'm going to have to smash a boulder because I can't get into the spot. Yeah, because I've got three of them stuck together. Okay, fine. I will grab the pickaxe. And then that 
turns that all I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die because of this. Oh, that was really scary. Okay, hold on. I, I gotta stop and we gotta recover. Because if I keep going, we will, in fact, die. And we've come this far. I'm not going to die that easily. Okay, take it slow. Take it easy. There is no rush. Okay, there's the panther. Uh, yeah, okay, just... There's a nymph right there. So I'm just going to sit right on these steps until I am back up to full health. Or full enough health. Once again, Sokoban continues to suck. That said, if I if we get an amulet out of reflection out of this, it will be good. All right, Val, have a great night. Yeah, I think we're going to be one, maybe two boulders short. Uh, yeah, and there's exactly what I mean, how monsters can spawn and get right in the, the way of things. Uh, I don't think... I think I'm going to have to use my Wand of Lightning. Yep, that worked. Cool. You know, I just remembered you can actually teleport boulders in Sokoban, and I actually do think that avoids the luck penalty. Oh well. <sighs> Just keep pushing the boulders until we have it. Oh, I didn't realize- okay. Yeah, I, I'm actually surprised that we are still holding 21 viewers, considering this is not one of my normal streams and it's two in the morning but you know that's a pretty good argument for me actually just streaming in the middle of the night when i feel like it because i've always been very sensitive to when people may or may not be online um i don't want to i don't want to pray when my luck is bad that's just asking for it or Asking for bad. Actually, nymphs can't teleport in Soko. Ooh, and a stethoscope. Although, I think I already have one. Don't I already have a stethoscope? Oh, it's my stethoscope. That's, that's why. And let me just get that looking glass out here. Because I believe looking glasses will get crushed if I move a boulder on top of it. Oh, we are almost... I think this is the farthest I've ever gone on a stream. Like, I think I've gone to Sokoban on a previous stream before, but I can't think offhand. I don't remember ever clearing it on a stream.
Okay. I'm actually wondering how many people are able to uh, follow along, all things considered, considering this game is notorious. This isn't... Actually, I would say this is worse than Dwarf Fortress as for all, far as UI goes. And maybe I will do a Dwarf Fortress stream. Uh, I used to do a lot of things in that community, like... Ooh, a gelatinous cube. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Um, especially because they now have the Steam release, which, you know, has this thing called a UI. Um, although the problem I had with Dwarf Fortress wasn't the fact that it has had one of the worst UIs in existence. It's because the game just became less fun. Okay. I actually think we're only going to have to zap with only one charge to make. Uh, that was one too far, but that's recoverable. So yeah, we just need to get one more boulder in the hole, and we have this one done. Uh, so if this actually works... Let me just check. If uh, I pull out... Where's my bag holding? Like, actually, where is my bag of holding? Did I accidentally detonate my bag of holding? No, I didn't have a wand of cancellation that was make invisible. Where is my bag of holding? Did I leave it on a previous level? Ten locks. Uh, teleportation. Okay, well that works. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to search Sokoban to see where that bag of holding went. Seriously, did I accidentally... I... It is possible a nymph grabbed it. Oh, she just read a scroll, a curse scroll of teleportation. She has to be still in Sokoban, though. I don't think she can level port out of Soko. I could be wrong about that. Oh, maybe she can. Uh, that's a problem. She read a curse... Oh, there she is. Yeah, so she's reading my escape items. That's incredibly rude. So, did I grab the bag? I guess I didn't grab the bag. Still gotta be here. Uh, uncursed bag. I don't know how many charges are left in my wand of teleportation, so... Yeah, we'll cross that. Let's see how bad the zoo is. I'm not seeing anything horribly scary in there. So let's crack that thing. Let's crack that sucker open and let's get some people coming out. Actually, you know what? Um, throw one O left. And now I have a pet that will probably die horribly. But now we can start working on it. So there's the lair golem. Just lure them a few at a time out. Albear grabs me. I need to be. I need to hold, heal. Let's 
Okay, I am now weak. How's how's my horse doing? Horse horse needs to be healed. Uh monster FedEx 2. Okay. I'm going to let the horse take care of as much as this is possible. Because the horse is much more expendable than I am. But we're definitely thinning out the herd. Clear out the winter wolf. I'm, a, I'm very low power level, so I should probably... I'm going to stay back here. Oh, the uh, FedEx 2 has grown up into a horse. From a pony. That Okay, so probably, probably won't survive. Okay. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Let's heal up, wait for our power to restore, and we'll keep waiting to clear that. And we get some more strength bonuses, which is a very good thing to have. Okay. Why Why am I suddenly now... Did I lose strength? No, I'm, I think I have injured legs, because scratched... Uh, me. Alright, and then take care of you. Eat that. And then... I'm just gonna wait on the stairs. Yeah, okay. Cool. And now we have a long worm coming. Uh, worm tooth is not useful for this character. It's, it's amazing for some. It's not useful for a monk. Monks really don't have an easy game of it, even though they get ungodly good um ungodly good um intrinsics like they really don't have to go out of their way to get intrinsics unlike most character classes so they have a very easy early game but they get they basically run out of options pretty quick which is why like i can't figure out how to handle all right let me get rid of this rust monster uh that zoo is nearly empty at this point all right, so let's back up and recover. Okay, and back up we go. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna wait for that nymph to come out and I'm gonna drain life, drain life for on her. Actually, I'm just gonna smash her until there's a lot of dead things here. Um, oh, look, my unicorn horn. That is a good thing to have. Whoa! I'm down to 6 HP. How did that happen? Lock the door. Lock the door. Oh, that, that, that was nearly a splat right there. Someone hit me for a lot in a single go. That was... That was bad. That was bad. Alright. Heal it up. Heal it up. Uh, War Horse. Okay, now, now apparently we have a third... Ver we have another FedEx... It might even be the same one, but okay. Uh, Alright, so heal. Let's keep... <sighs> What's left in that zoo is very, very scary. Uh, When I get to weak, I'm going to just... No, you know what? I think I want to make holy water soon. Although, I guess we... It'll be more than a thousand turns, so 
I will pray as soon as I get down to weak. Just like that. Okay. We just killed the Wumpus. I find it funny that we basically actually played the original version of that. Uh, okay, so let's clear the Jackal out. Oh, we're in a Dust Vortex. We are blind. Clear that one out. Drain life on the eye. Shrieker shrieks. The snake is dead. Ooh, that is a scary monster that I do not want to be right next to. Oh, well, that's a little disappointing. So it is it is a Sokoban bag. Um but we already have a bag of healing, so that the only prize for us here is the gold. That is a little disappointing. Um, and when I say a little, I mean it is very. Is that a wraith? Why is there a wraith in Sokoban? Oh, I didn't drop a body. Wraiths, if you eat their corpse, you immediately get a level up. But Sokoban's, it's one of the very few places in the game that monster generation is skewed towards lawful. Um, let's grab all this gold. I will say loot-wise, this was still worth it, even though the bag was not. Which is... Disappointing, but okay. I mean, we'll have enough gold to buy a little bit divine protection. I don't think I want to try and... And I'm just going to grab that scroll. I'm pretty sure that scroll is Scare Monster. Yeah, it is. Scare Monster. Okay, so that's Sokoban complete. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to call that a, six, a win, but at least we completed it. Because we didn't really get much out from it. Like... Let me think about this. We are level 9. It's 400 times 4 times 9. We can get a little bit of divine protection from this, but because we got a little bit from our de deity already, we probably won't get anywhere as much as we would have. It's like... Uh, that's basically how I feel about this. Uh, but yeah, next, next spot we're heading to is Mine Town. Um... Maybe the altar actually, because I think I I think we want to do the identification game. Uh yeah, I think we want to do identification and then we want to get some divine protection if we can. I can advance I gotta decide if I want to advance the uh, martial arts to master. Yeah, there's a lot of good reasons to do so. There's some reasons not to. Uh, okay, so let's get to that altar. That's actually not the altar we want. We want the... Is that the lawful altar? What is it? Is it progress? It's not progress. How do I get the layout of the dungeon? Uh, you know, this works. Okay. So, now that we're back here, let's, let's start doing some identification games. 
So everything that we don't know the status of. Uh, we have a blessed scroll of identity. I think I just want to just read that right out of the gate. Wow, that is a lot of... That is a lot of... Um, uh, stuff. Alright, let me grab all that. Let's read that cursed scroll of identity. Let's see what we have to work with here. Um... Rings are, like I said, the hardest one to identify. Polymorph control. That has potential. I think we want... I think... If we could get an amulet... If we could get a wand of polymorph, we could... We could become a minotaur... And we would become minus 10 AC. It's it's dangerous. But we could do it. Like that is a dangerous strategy. But it might be the best move available to us right now. Um, Because if we become a Minotaur. Let me, let me see if I can remember the rules for doing this. I've only ever done it like once or twice, and it was both amazing and horrible at the same time. So we've become a Minotaur with Polymorph Control. Um, as a Polyform, they can't wear armor. See, the thing is that if I become a Master Mind Flayer and I accidentally run into Team uh, a Cockatrice, that is, in fact, a game over. Uh, I have I, That is one of the very few times I have actually gone splat. But that does give you an innate minus 10 AC. So that Ring of Polymorph Control is... That is an S-tier item, even though it is cursed. Uh, nothing else in that pile is actually useful right now. And we still need to uncurse it, but that is amazing. Um, okay, so what else we got to work with here? I am inclined... I am inclined... To wish for a Helm of Brilliance. We don't have a good hat... A Helm of Brilliance would help with our spell casting, which is still an incredibly sad 10. That's why we are, like, utterly garbage at this. Because we, like I said, we have one wish in reserve. Maybe we should make holy water, though. I feel like holy water is the right play here. We want to bless the bag. We want to bless the unicorn horn. Those are two big things we want to do here. Um... The spell book doesn't really help me, but let's just look at the bag. What else we got in here? Uh, scroll of teleportation. We have a bunch of potions. We have one holy water left. Let's put all our food away except for the lizard corpse. Which actually isn't in my inventory. So what else in this pile goes into the bag? I think we're going to put the wands away. I want to keep teleportation out. I want to keep digging out.
We have two spell books we could read, which would be useful, but with our intelligence being about as... We're basically as dumb as a brick right now, which is not a good place to be at this stage of the game, because uh, magic is going to be the better way we keep uh, things going. So I am thinking holy water is the move here. What in it, What's in our potion pile that we do or do not know? We have two, uh, I see three potions we can just, four potions we can just basically throw right out. I would like to know what the other ones are. Yeah, let's do, let's do a little, let's do a round of identification here. And let's figure out what all these are. So let's, I believe I have a dart here somewhere. Cloak of Displacement. Actually, you know what? Let me grab that Cloak of Displacement because if I have a Potion of Polymorph, um, that will actually become a more useful item for us right now. So if I dip Q in L, nothing happens. So that means that's safe to drink. You feel completely healed. So what was that? That was... Um, That was full healing, so that's a good one to know. Uh, so let's dip Q into there. Okay, so that one's safe to drink because we have the polyhorn. You have a peculiar feeling for a moment, but it passes. I don't, even, I don't think I've ever seen that message before. Peculiar. I think that's monster detection or... But there should be... I believe that was hallucination that actually I just had. I am looking at spoilers for this. Like, I, I, I often... The way I see NetHack is like a chess game. Okay, so... this I, It's disposable. There's nothing... It doesn't actually do anything useful for us. Um, okay, QM. Your brain is on fire. Okay, so your brain is on fire. I just damaged my stats. Oh, and you can't... I actually lost intelligence on that. Because, and you can't get that back as easily in these versions as you used to. You know, that's fine. Uh, let's try Q and S. Nothing happened. That was a potion of hallucination. And then the last one is uh, fruit juice or otherwise meh. Okay. Um, we learned a lot of what those potions are. Learning what full healing is is actually going to be very useful for later in the game. Uh, so I'm actually happy with that end result. Not gonna lie. I am gonna throw the Cloak of Displacement in my bag. It's not very heavy, as is the mummy wrapping. I would love to know what that amulet is. I don't think we're gonna get to find out. Uh, spell books is fine. Let me go for the tools. What do we not need in these tools? The pickaxe can go away. Uh, I'll keep the lamp out because it can't easily be damaged. And yeah, the rest we just kind of keep like that. Uh, let me deal with that. Those ants that showed up. Soldier ants. Ooh, I am taking damage. Oh, I'm weak. Uh, the, okay, here... No, I don't have things ready to make into holy water. So take a consumable out. Take a food ration. And eat it. Okay. Drop everything.
I think my boots are the only thing here that can rust, so I'm going to just drop those. Um, let me grab the bag of holding. And then let's take out the potions. And then let's turn let's make these all into water. Okay, cool. And those all became water. Just like that. Grab those boots. Yeah, I really got to get the AC down. That is basically our largest problem at this point. You know, I just realized I have this. Can I offer you up? It's probably too late. Let's see here. Yeah, nothing happens. Uh, iguana. Okay, so my prayer timeout is not zero. That's actually... That was a very important safety move because if my prayer timeout is not zero, uh, I will actually get screwed trying to do anything. So let me drop. And let's find out what this potion is, this T. I'm just going to dip R and T. Liquid fire, that's confusion. Okay. Okay, so we just learned a whole lot of potions that we don't want to bug with, bugger off with. Uh, don't I have a wand of create monster? I do have a wand of create monster. I pro Yeah, let's use this and let's do some sacrificing. Let's see here. I've actually just reached... Okay, Violet Fungus. Still a hopeful feeling. Oh, that's a lot of jackals. I still only have a hopeful feeling. I think my luck must be negative. Great. She stole my uh, amulet. Where is she on this level? Okay, that's where she is. Come on, we get the sacrifice, and it is good. It is good. We are go We're working on it. I always like. I always like sacrificing water nymphs right after they steal things. Uh. But I am still only getting hopeful feeling, which means I can't safely pray. Do I have? A, I have the wand of enlightenment. Maybe it's worth using a charge from it. Why can't, what is wrong, why can't, let me see what my current stats is. I cannot safely pray. I'm not lucky, but I'm not unlucky. It's probably worth just waiting. Let me wait, if I wait a few hundred more turns, I probably am going, I, I could probably... Just wait, wait this out. Yeah, like, let's just use this entire wand. And a white... That, okay, that is an exception. You do not want to sacrifice a white unicorn. Uh, it is peaceful, though, so I don't need to worry about that. That's actually worse.
Come on. I, I can get something to sacrifice here. A potion deemed disposable. Okay, so we have another one we can get rid of. Uh, I guess while we're waiting for my cool the prayer timeout, I'm gonna go. I'll go school, play with some fountains. Although with my luck being negative, it's probably a bad idea. Nothing useful there. Um, we do have another potion. We can just might as well. I mean. All right, so now we have another potion we can drop. Money. We are not having a lot of luck with farming this altar. Still just a hopeful feeling. Yeah, let me go let me go wandering for the dungeon. Cause at this point I'm going to use up all these wand charges, and if I have to sack for like an artifact, I probably won't have to, but I feel like I feel like this is not going very well. Basically, here's the problem. If I if my prayer timeout is not zero when I do this, um, bad things happen. But I don't know why my prayer timeout is in zero. It should not have been enough turns. Let's see here. Offer. Sacrifice is consumed in a flash of light. Okay, there we go. Now I can do this. And now we have uh, five holy water, including the one that we already started with. Like, I didn't actually have to do that, but I'm really trying to make these resources go as far as we can. So the first thing we want to do is we want to bless our bla a bag of holding. Because that will increase the amount of items we can carry. Uh, next thing we want to do is the uh, unicorn horn. Now, I'm not sure what to do after this. Polymorph control, I feel like, is a very, very solid move to go. Let me think about this. So, if we become a Minotaur... Um, Minotaurs have a natural ace, base AC of 6... But they have D610 hit dice. We would basically tear through a large part of this game without concern by doing that. The downside is that Minotaurs can't wear armor except for helmets. Which we don't have one. We would also have to give up the robe. I am thinking about this. I mean, they're very fast. They're very strong. Like, they're fast and they're strong, but I feel like their built-in attacks would really help us. Unless we decide to become a dragon. But dragons kind of suck for basic things. I don't think we have to do it as of yet. So what else is in this bag that might be useful? Like polymorph control could be very useful. Plain spell book doesn't help. Actually, how bad have my... You can still do full attacks. I am thinking I might want to read a spell book. Yeah, let's let's dip you detect unseen. Well, that's useless. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the remainder of the holy water for now. Uh, depending on the version of Mine Town we get, we can always make more if we get booze. So I think Mine's End is the move to make here. Alright, so here we are back in Mine Town. So I yeah I I think mine's end is the better the best possible move we can take at this point. Drain life and yeah so let me we'll come back to this and let's start mapping. So what version, because if we can get the Lux Stone at this point, we could definitely do a lot with it. Ooh, a Tin Wand. I always like finding wands we don't know. So, Eberlif. Ooh! I revealed it. That is a wand of secret door detection. It's not a very useful wand, but it does have a couple of very niche cases where it's handy. Um, the helm is actually hand use. Oh, that was not what I wanted to pick up. Uh, I will just grab that. Oh, and of course, I take... I grabbed it. I'm... I'm good at this game. Citation needed. Why did I not check it? Like, what's the chances it was possibly cursed? Oh, we, we can deal with that, but it's not a big deal at the moment. Uh, it's like, it's more useful as armor yeah that that was a big dumb moment all right let's continue let's continue on to mine's end because there's lots of ways to get rid of cursed items so eh. oh you know what? hold on there was actually something i wanted to do before we actually did this i need to donate for um divine protection so the way you there is a way to do this um divine protection is determined as a matter of how your level based off so i think it's 4001 your level based off uh certain other things so uh Reese. I believe it's four. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's four thousand, a uh, four hundred times level. Yeah, four hundred times, we can get some free points of protection. So let's chat. Four thousand one, and we actually got three points of uh, armor out of that just by donating to the to the temple. Okay, I, I'm going to say that's a victory. Because now, now our AC is negative, which means we're now even harder to hit. And we're doing not horrible, all things considered. We've got a wish in reserve. Uh, potion of paralysis, not useful, but I'll hold on to it. I am not seeing much here that I am calling useful.
I definitely need a better attack spell. Uh, Drain Life is just not cutting it. Let's see here. Yeah. So definitely no more loot on this level uh, thus far, which is all right. Um, like I said, there's definitely some stuff in this. Is I haven't... I'm inclined to go for the polymorph and just play as carefully as I can. A grappling hook. I don't think I've ever gotten one of those before. I knew they were in the game, but I've only ever seen them a handful of times. And also, I apparently have... Did I not equip something? No, we, we're at the AC we're supposed to be. Okay, that's all good. Alright, so I think that's everything in this section of the mines. I see a tool over there. Let's see what that scroll... Ooh, a scroll of identity. That is always... That is always welcome. And you now begin to see how valuable having a unicorn horn is. Because you notice that I just got hallucinated and uh, started hallucinating. Because a black light exploded and then... You know, you just rub the horn and you just kind of keep on with your life. Uh... Yeah, I got to be. Do I want to use the rubber chicken? I don't think I want to use the rubber chicken. At least it's not as bad as some of the other things I've seen where the AI uses it. Uh, it does that can't happen in vanilla, but there are variants where it, they can rubber chicken. Now I don't think I'm gonna rubber chicken. I don't want a statue gallery here. It's it's funny when it happens, but uh, there are so much that can go wrong with using the rubber chicken that I really try very hard. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, this Incubus is seducing me. This is a way of getting rid of cursed items. I'm just going to let them take off that helm. Nice. And I got restored to full health, and I get rid of that cursed helm. I I'm going to take that as a victory. There are ways to use... Incubus and Scubius to uh, dra to level up uh, because it is one of the potential outcomes uh, to the point there's an entire strategy but I just tend to use them to get rid of cursed items not that that happens very often anymore like I'm usually good at chucking them in on an altar but hubris hubris is a real thing with this game Oh, and there's the staircase. Uh, I don't know what Fenor does. Is that, that's a monkey. Monkeys are one of the items that can steal items like that. Oh, a gray stone. Okay, so I know what version of the map this is. This is uh, this is the Gnomish. Uh, this is actually the booze cellar. So this is actually a very good version to get. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is... 
feel like there's a doppelganger. You are an air elemental. You are drastically out of depth. You are really out of depth. How strong are you? Air elementals are one of the fastest monsters in the game, and they can be utterly terrifying. Alright, so what we're looking for right now is the Lux Stone, which I know is here somewhere. Uh, gray stone. I, this, all right, I gotta be careful because something could have picked it up. So the way you do this is you kick the gray stone. Okay. Uh, let me use enlightenment because this will tell me if my luck is sustained. No. Okay, so this is this is a flint stone. I didn't think it was, but I want I, it's better to identify it now. Uh type of object in inventory. Gray stone, flint stone. Or uh, you know, that's fine. As long as I don't it's not the luck stone. That's fine. Now, the trick is... Okay, yeah, so there's no luck stone on that one. I think I want to take a potion of object detection because I don't remember offhand where this thing can... Do I have an object detection? I do not actually have an object detection. Uh, I feel like I feel like there's one in each corner where it could be. So where is this luck stone? I'm not seeing it. Don't believe the AI can pick up luck stones. I don't think they can even use them. Because the luck stone will prevent... It gives you plus three luck and then prevents bad uh, luck from timing out for you. Luck affects a lot of things. It affects how wishes work. It affects critical hits. Um, a couple of other things... Oh look, we finally uh, we finally had a bot show up. How many hours into the stream are we? All right, so it looks like still no luck stone. I'm running out of places to look for it. Like there's a lot of valuable gems here, but without a way to identify them, it's like, this is something an archaeologist is good for, because the archaeologist going to Mine's End can find, uh, figure out what all the gems are. But I can't, because I'm a monk, not an archaeologist, nor am I a gnome. Uh, I'm still not seeing a gray stone. It has to be here. There's probably a closet somewhere that I'm not seeing.
Ooh, a ring of polymorph control that may or may not be cursed. So why am I not finding this Lux Stone? Two violet gems, green gem, white gem. Okay. Let me just grab all the gems. We can always drop them off later. Unless someone grabbed it. I don't think so. I'm, I'm taking alignment penalties for killing the peacefuls, but I think something must have grabbed it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to actually enhance this to master. Because uh, it's... We're not going to get a weapon anytime soon. Do I really... Can I really take that to Grandmaster? I'm not... I Let me think about that. Because that's a lot of skill slots. Ooh, I'm inside an air elemental again. Why am I not seeing this Lux Stone? Uh, MP, uh, MPI1, thank you for the 20 euro donation. That's the first one we've had in quite a while, but I mean, it's also the middle of the night, so what am I expecting? You know, there's got to be a room here that I'm not remembering on the map. Let me look at the... Let's see here. Mines and... Because we are in this variant. Yeah, so there is actually another door here. Uh, is this flipped around? Six, is, six of them are hidden behind doors. So, yeah, so there are actually additional rooms here. So, hold on. So, there's one here in the corner. You know what? I have a uh, secret door detection. Let me just use it. So, if that is the case... And three invisible monsters... I harmlessly attacked the staircase up. That's kind of amusing. So, yeah, it looks like the... Um, the thing is handling... Uh, where is this damn luck stone? So, there's a small closet. I found this one here. And then there's one here in the lower left-hand corner, apparently. Okay, so apparently there isn't. Maybe they, these rooms don't exist on every version. Like, the, the mines and layout, there's like five or six specific versions of this map. Alright, so here we are in the corner. This version has been seen, and we've gotten everything in it. So now, there, if we go back around looking at the map, Coming off the staircase. Where is this? Why am I why am I going completely mad? Here, I'm just gonna drop the link to mine's end in the chat.
Oh, there we go. All right, now we finally found that door. Gray stone. Okay, so there's the there's the gray stone. Do I have a luck stone? There it is. Good luck, bad luck does not time out for you. That means I do, in fact, have the luck stone. That is awesome. Oh, that that is actually... Okay, so luck stone. And we want to bless that immediately. Let's see here. Alright, so where's our luck stone? Is T... And we want to dip this in the holy water. That, okay. That now brings us to the next part of actually, actually getting out of here. Oh. So with the Lux Stone in our inventory, uh, we are much more likely to get critical hits. Uh, if we were using a ranged weapon, we would have a incredibly be much much higher chance of not breaking um, breaking anything. Let me see what else we've got here. I'm going to just grab these two spell books and I'm going to just throw them in our bag. Uh, I believe it also influences our chance to read spell books, although I'm not completely sure on that one. All right. Let's, we do have, um, let's put some wands away that we're not, actually, I do want to know what the charges are, so if we get a full inventory of, let's see here, all types. So what do we have in here that we don't know what it is? Scroll of Earth, plain textbook, uh, plain textbook, uh, I might as well get an identify on that. Is there anything else in this pile that we care about? I would like to know what C is just to rule it out as something useful. I'd like to know the charges on the other one. I'd like to know for a fact that that is a magic lamp. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually going to burn that scroll of identity. So what is C? Restful sleep. Okay, that's fine. Blank paper and restorability. Uh, restorability is actually useful. Restorability is the monk's special skill. It's usually complete garbage, but we actually ha are stat drained. So if we could read that book and cast the spell, that would actually be useful. Let me just try it. Yeah, let's not try it again. Uh, that is worth using a holy water on, really. Um... Because there are other monsters that can drain uh, stats like that. So let's... Yeah, let's let's burn that. And I just gained back my intelligence point. And I can advance healing spells to the next level, which is actually really big. So I think we're going to do that. I'm going to put the slot in there because that means I'll now heal a lot more per. I am thinking the problem is, do I know what enchant armor is? I don't know enchant armor. And I don't want to burn a wish finding out. So if we could find enchant armor, I would say that's probably worth a wish. Otherwise, a helm of brilliance might be worth it at this point. Uh, actually, I will take that rig of polymorph control and I will put it on. Just on the offhand chance I hit a polymorph trap. 
It's not likely, but it's good to know. I think our best move on this point is I think we try heading towards down towards Medusa. Um, we don't have magic resistance. We don't have reflection, which are the two biggest things that we need to survive the next stage of the game. I'm inclined to burn the wish for magic resistance. The dungeon gets increasingly more dangerous as you go down, and magic resistance is probably the single best thing I can do. Like, magic resistance will shut down a wand of death. Which is telling me that a cloak is the best way to go, but I really don't like doing that. With maxed out luck, I could probably wear armor and not have excessive amounts of problems. Like, most monks do wear armor in NetHack in the end because you give up too much without it. There's a lot of things I want to wish for. A Wand of Polymorph would also not be a bad one because I could try and get a Ring of Free Action. Yeah, there is a I let's let's go a bit deeper into the dungeon. I'm let me use the restroom and then we will continue on in our descent. So, uh, I'll be back in 2 minutes. All right, and I'm back. I am thinking... I think our next goal should be as follows. I think we should try and find the entrance to the fort if it generated. It's not a guarantee. Because the fort will have more than enough um, gold to max out our protection. Because AC is going to be basically our worst nightmare on this run. Um... We're going to have to get creative is really what it comes down to. Uh, I also finding the quest portal is not the worst idea. Uh, and maybe we'll find a Helm of Brilliance or something similar. Yeah, I'm f let's I think we want to just go as deep as we can into the dungeon. Green Elf doesn't really help us as far as most of these things go. Um, an Elven Mithril Coat. I know we had one earlier. I think we can't afford it as of right now. Let's go as deep as dungeon level 14. Because if we go to 14... Um... The quest portal's on 14. Uh, the problem is that Master Key is... Oh, that that was bad. That was dangerous. That was nearly a game-ending mistake right there. Oh, I just saw a unicorn in that room. Yeah, that... Black unicorn. Uh... If we had a cross-aligned altar, that would actually be really, really useful. 
But we don't, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, see, we're definitely taking a lot of damage that we wouldn't be taking normally in this stage of the game because we're so... We're not as squishy as an archaeologist, but we are squishy. Just happens... Okay, so there is a vault on this level. I think we should try and find it. Because uh, gold is going to be our best friend going forward. Uh, find hidden door. Okay. So, if that's the full level map, there's only a handful of places that the vault could exist in. So, I think we just want to go... It's got to be right in this area. So, let's grab this. Let's grab that out of the tool pack and let's start digging all right so wield the pickaxe and let's start digging I mean how hard could it be to find this thing god those, those are fam <laughs> I like that the moment I say that I find it And that's another point of... Uh, that is actually pretty much another point of... Yeah, that is actually another point of armor right right there. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go down to 14. Um, 14 should be a pretty safe level for us. Let's put... Uh... Oh, there's a zoo. Uh, that is a really good room to rubber chicken, and the rubber chicken is right there. Let's let's do this. Uh, if we can get to that one, I am wearing gloves. Yes, two, three. Oh, he didn't drop a corpse. Just be very careful through this. Gray ooze. Okay. If we can clear out this treasure zoo. Okay, that leprechaun vanished. We'll go find the leprechaun. Green elf is dead. Ooh, okay. Uh, I got to be very careful because if I take a very strong hit, I can lose a lot of points at once. All right, let's grab all this gold and let us keep going. That is that was a pretty success. That is a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. <laughs> Holy cow. That is Uh, that is another few thousand gold. That is exactly what we want. Uh, where is that, where is that leprechaun? That leprechaun is all the way over there. Because that leprechaun will have even more gold. Ooh, and a wand. Ma wand of magic missile. Uh... Not an amazing one, but uh, fine. Okay, now now we're starting to st now we're a I would say we are actually starting to cruise. Ooh, okay. Uh, starting to cruise here. Because at this point, we've got basically the entire beginning of the game done with Mine's End taken care of. Uh, your boots disintegrate. What the hell just happened?
That's a doppelganger. That is a doppelganger. I just... Um... That could have been a lot worse, but that was also pretty, yeah, that could have been a lot, lot worse. Uh, if I was magic resistant, we would, okay, so we just lost our jumping boots, which is unfortunate. Actually, a good wish at this point would probably be speed boots. I mean, yes, I was paying attention. It did, in fact, happen to me. Um, yeah, I'm not... There are a couple of things I could do at this point, but I am definitely kind of... Uh, let's go down to DL10. I think that's about as far down as I'm feeling safe at the moment. Okay, and now we're feeling weak. I'm going to pray. Yeah, and then that counts as help. Oh, a couple of spell books. Put stuff in the bag. Uh, yeah, so spell books. Ooh, a potion of full healing. So if you take full healing when you're at full HP, you actually start getting health points. So we definitely want to grab that and throw that in our bed. I'm actually going to leave it in inventory because it might be very important. Uh, okay, so unicorn horn because I don't want to be blind. Okay, so that's DL10. Let's finish looking through nine. Because at this point, we should, I, we could probably, if I was careful, we could even go as far down as the castle. Um, I don't really want to go down that far. Well, it would, it would be Medusa, not the castle, because I don't even have a way to cross the, the... I... Wow, I am, like, missing everything we need to go keep going. Uh, okay, so... What we got here? Potion of Speed, Gold Pieces... Uh, potion of speed could be very useful. Ooh! There's an attended altar right here. Well, we can get more points of... Yeah, we can get another... Um... We can get another 4,000 of gold out. Well, that's nice. And I got another point of divine protection because of that. Okay, so now we're down to a base AC of a probably... You can get up to minus 10 easily. I think it's... You can get to zero, losing 10 arm... Gaining 10 armor points pretty easily. Oh, um... Dan, uh, James Brennan, thank you for the $10... Uh, sorry, 20 pound donation. I will say that this has been a really chillax and restoring stream, especially because, like, whoa, that tiger's about to end me. Like, yeah, that tiger is about to end me. Okay. So I think... My goal here is let's get the point. Let's get as much divine protection as we can do. And I'm just happy we're not playing with the atheist conduct because that would really suck right now, considering we've got like no armor. 
Uh, a Helm of Brilliance. I, I'm really thinking a Helm of Brilliance is going to be the wish that we are going to make in the near future. Because um, a Helm of Brilliance, based off its enchantment level, will increase my wisdom and intelligence, which means I could spell cast better. I just need a good spell book, um, which I don't have. Oop, Lizard Corpse, that is always welcome. Parchment spell book and a food ration. That's the only thing in those in that box that's actually worth looking at. Uh Okay. Oh, the big room. This could be incredibly deadly, but incredibly useful. This is one of the special levels that are not guaranteed to be in the in the map. Hey, Z uh, Zenandra. I mean, I have a sleep disorder. I've I've been kind of eh on live streaming. Um. In the middle of the night, even though this is when I'm usually. Up more than not. Okay, I gotta be very careful here because this is a very good way to die. Uh, if we stand on the upstair, uh, basically like that. I yeah. Okay, this is this is a good way to die. Um, Uh, the solution here is we build a boulder fort with one of those scrolls of earth that we got in Sokoban. Okay, let me take out a scroll of earth. Uh, hopefully I don't die the moment I go down these stairs. Read B. And then that creates a boulder fort. And now, now I am nice and safe right here with the stairs protected. Oh, shit. Um, shit, I fucked this up. Stethoscope, can I kill this thing? 36. Uh, heal. So, stethoscope is always a free action. So, as long as I do that every... My lamp catches fire because the pyrolisk is looking at me. Um, yeah, this is actually a very dangerous situation. But only one enemy can get to me at a time. I'm not on a staircase spot. I can use a wand of digging going down to escape. Alright. So I'm hitting fight and Y. If I press capital F, it means that I will not move off the spot. It keeps me safe. What is that? That is an owlbear. That is not something I want to deal with right now. Um, let me get you apply the pickaxe to the boulder so I can move back up to the upstair if I need it. No, that's not going to work. Uh, I do have a wand of digging. If I shoot that going down, it would cause me to fall to the next floor. That is probably the safer move here. But you know what? I've got these wands of magic missile. Let me use them because they will hit everything. See, the, the thing that you learn about NetHack is you there is no point where you should not use items. In 
preparation for a later scenario, with very few exceptions. Okay, how many are lined up here? What is that? That's a freezing spear right there. Uh, I think I want to teleport that away because you know actually it's probably fine. I kill that there. Elf Lord Chaotic. Uh, yeah, this is getting dangerous. I am going to... You know what? I can do Wanda Digging left. I may not be able to dig through the floor here. Whew. Okay, so this is the quest level. Um... That was actually very dangerous, what just happened there. I got surrounded, so I blasted a hole in the floor. And by doing so, I fell to the next level. Um, but now I can't get back to the top of the dungeon without dealing with that mess. But that might not be as bad as I thought it would be. That is looking a little concerning. And actually, when I say a little concerning, I mean, like, very concerning. That's a throne room. Um, we're not going to play with that throne room right now. There is a game. Why are you testing me like this? You're going to give me a polymorph trap right there. That has very unique opportunities attached to it. Like, I could use that for some seriously f insane shenanigans. That is a very good argument. Uh, is, is Master Mind Flayers... Are they... They can fly telepathy. I don't think they have innate magical resistance. That has potential. We could we could do something with that polymorph trap. That is very good to know that that is there. Um, all right. So this is the downstair. This is the upstair. So we do want to find the quest, um, the quest teleporter. It's somewhere on this level. Which may be blocked off from the rest of us because I might it might be on the other side of that throne room. Oh, well, I just found the quest teleporter. Um We can't do anything here yet. We're not a high enough level. So let's just go back to the main dungeon for now. We know where that is, so we can come back to it later. Uh, okay, so this is actually a pretty bad situation. Because I'm cut off from a good part of the dungeon due to that big room. I think we have to figure out how... Oh, there's the upstairs. So there's the upstair relative to everything else. I think what we want to do... Okay, so that I expended this wand. So we do have another wand. Let's use it. Okay. Let's see here. I gotta do this as closely and as carefully as possible. And now we get out of here before I die. Okay, yeah, that's the one I dropped.
Okay, so right now we don't have a way to do enough damage to get through that. I think we have to... I don't want to do this, but I think we have to do it. I think I'm going to use that Polymorph Trap. A Polymorph would last a very long time. The question is, what do I polymorph into? I could polymorph into ma master into a master mind flayer, but if I accidentally attack a, a cockatrice, it's game over. Like that's an insta death. I could polymorph into a minotaur. Uh, there's a few other options, but those are the two that are coming to mind. Oh, lich. Um, what are the downsides to being lich? I've never actually like if I become an arch lich. Like, if I become a poly... If I do a poly self... I don't know if Lich is... I guess Lich would be valid? Let's see here. Um, let me see, Polymorph. If you become... Uh, Random one because we I have the I have polymorph control. I'm almost wondering a black you know what? I'm almost feeling like black dragon is the way to go here. Because I could incinerate that throne room with disintegration breath. Like I am seriously considering going into black dragon here and just breathing. Um, let's see here. I'm just looking at the tips here. Uh, vampire, vampire Lord is a pretty solid one we could go for. I don't think Lich are medium size. That's why I'm hesitating, but I don't have armor. Uh, what is polymorph control as a ring? Because if polymorph control as a ring is silver, uh, that will end very badly. Yeah, I think... I think we're going to go Vampire Lord. Um, let me heal up. Like, let's spend some time healing. And I just realized that my, my gloves and my robe have been incinerated by those... The pyrolisk, so we, we're going to have to do some repair work, which is less than ideal, but let's do this. Uh, become Vampire Lord. Nice! Okay, we are now a Vampire Lord. Um, and our AC should be considerably more impressive. Uh, my lamp caught fire. Uh, I'm getting out of there because I rolled really shitty hit dice. Holy crap, that is incredibly bad hit dice. Um, well, that was a waste of a polymorph trap. Oh, wow. Look how fast I heal. That is ridiculous. That is really fast. Okay. And I won't die if I hit zero hit points. I'll just literally... Yeah, I just gotta be very... I just gotta take this slowly, and then I can clear this room. Yeah, look how fast I regenerate. Okay, so what... I have a Yeti there, I have a Giant Ant there, and I have an Elf Lord there. I think the Elf Lord is the scary one. Wow, I am taking a beating doing this. Okay, so that's the Elf Lord taken care of. Um, let's take care of the Yeti next. Okay. Okay. 
I'm also getting a lot of intrinsics just being like this. Okay, so far so good. You kill the Yeti. Okay, so that's a good chunk of this room cleared. Let me dip back down here. soldier yeah this is going this is okay now we're getting somewhere L look how much um unfortunately i'm about to lose all my armor i think i'm gonna have to take that robe off because look how damaged it is uh on the plus side i've just found some really amazing stuff that will be really quite useful losing the robe will be bad but i think we can make this work like, I'm now going through this room very, very quickly. Okay. What is that H? Peaceful Stone Giant. Cool. Opal Ring. I'm going to say that was a pretty successful cleaning this out. I uh, Let me see what we can do about that throne room. Uh, where did I rematerialize? Magic mapping. Your uh, game, you really gave me flipping Trollsbane as a weapon? It's like one of the absolute worst weapons in this game. Why would you do this to me? Alright. Uh, this robe has been a little bit too incinerated. I'm actually going to also take off these gloves. Yeah, we, we basically... Our armor got really chewed up through that. So we're going to have to do something about that. It's pretty rare that that happens. But it does happen. So let me see what we can do with the throne room now. Um, now that I've got, like, the more of this I can clear out, the better off we are. Because this could give us a wish, which would be amazing. And actually, every time we hit, we cause a level drain. I mean, I would... Believe it or not, in real life, that is actually how firefighter gear works. Is It's a number of hours uh, it can be exposed to certain temperatures. Look at how many monsters was in this throne room. That is a lot of monsters. I kind of still wish I went with the Black Dragon. Oh, look at that. Okay, and that is the throne room cleared out. I would say that was an incredibly successful... Um, polymorph. Like, that was probably one of the best ones I've ever done. Uh, let me grab that wand and make invisible. There's a lot... Okay, I'm seeing... There's a lot of stuff in this room I want. Uh... I don't eat as a vampire. So... And this polymorph will run off at some point. The biggest problem is because I'm lawful, I can't currently pray... If I pray at this moment, I will actually get smited by my god. So, I gotta be very mindful that I cannot pray as of this moment. Um, you... Wow, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so there is a chest in this room. So interestingly, I still actually get penalties for like if I eat. But let's keep going through here. What else do we got? Game, why are you giving me a silver saber when I can't use it? I feel, that feels so mean. I can't use it. I'm a monk. There are ways I could get it unrestricted, but... That is just cruel game. Um, a pair of riding boots. Are those speed boots? Those might be speed boots. Like, riding boots are one of the potential... Let me keep cleaning out what I can. While I still got this polymorph. Because right now I'm going to be I'm going to be a lot weaker as soon as this polymorph ends, but that might not be for a while. I don't remember quite how long these last for. Okay. Oh, we have an amulet there. Okay, so we have a throne that we could definitely use. Um, I'm going to just move... We have to move the stuff out of this uh, space. So drop mace and then drop that. I don't know if my luck is good enough that I really want to try sitting on this thing. I'm inclined to try it. You know, we'll come back and we'll do this on the way back up because I, I think we should take advantage of Yeah, let's keep let's keep pushing downward. Let's see if we can get to the rogue level. Uh that looks like that might be another throne room right there. No, this one's a treasure zoo. Wanda Speed Monster. I don't remember if that works. I, I think I have intrinsic speed. Ooh. I like all of that. Oh, shoot. I got frozen. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Yeah. I hit the floating eye. God damn it. At least it was an amulet of strangulation. Oh, that is... that. I'm a little... So okay, I'm really salty about that one. That was a one single mistake, and it all goes up in flames. Intrinsic means is a property of what you have. That sucked. That legitimately sucked. Oh. That's that's a bit rough. I am debating right now if I want to roll another one. 
Yeah, I got killed by Elven Queen while frozen by the floating eyes gaze. Oh, that 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 one stings. Not gonna lie, that one that one stings. Um Let's see here. Do we want to roll another one? What time is it? It's nine in the morning. Wow, we actually got up to like thirty-two. I'm debating if I want to roll a third character. How long have we been going for? We're coming up on six hours. Uh, almost seven. Uh, and we've raised another $300, which, you know, for a middle-of-the-night stream is not bad. I could potentially see myself rolling up one more. Chat, do you have any idea what class you might want to see me roll? I'm just... I'm thinking about it right now if I want to do this. Because... It means we gotta replay the entire beginning of the game again. <laughs> which we've already done twice tonight. Oh, that... That that was... That sucked. That really did. Um... So the, here's the roles. Our archaeologist, barbarian, caveman, healer... Knight, Monk, Priest, Rogue, Ranger, Samurai, Tourist, Valkyrie, or Wizard. Like, anyone got a thought of what they might want to see me roll up? Because I could definitely do something. Just thinking about it. Um, I could do Valkyrie. I think people want, I think people are, I'm seeing Tourist. Tourist will be fast. I think I think the answer here is tor if I don't get a tourist will either be amazing or it will go splat because tourists basically have they're even squishier than archaeologists because they start with basically Daniel uh, Namato just don't thank you for the hundred dollar donation I think I think that is enough to actually keep I think I just found my motivation here all right you know let's roll up tourist um I'm going to do random for everything else. So here's how Taurus's war... Oh, really, I start with two tins of spinach game. You that? That is how we are going with this. So Taurus suck. They are probably the worst class as far as starting inventory goes. They start with a plus two darts, a Hawaiian shirt, um, a lot of food. Although I actually got spinach, which... Is it kind of amazing? Um, I do need to blow my nose. Um, four scrolls of magic mapping, two extra potions of extra healing, which I think I'm going to just take immediately turn one. We have a credit card, and the camera is. I'll explain the camera after I blow my nose because I'm congested. <laughs> And I'm back. So, yes, the lamp cam has returned. All right, so here's the thing with tourists. They have two unique advantages that no other role has. They can become, they can get to basic skill in anything. I believe there's like one skill they can, yeah, their spell casting is a little weak. But basically... They can use any weapon they find, but they only can advance it to basic. So they're never going to be amazing. What makes the tourist, frankly, scary in the end game is their quest artifact, the platinum um, Endor uh, Endor in Express card, which gives you unlimited. It is unlimited charge card. It is literally an unlimited use. Um, scroll of charging it is probably one of the s most broken items in this game. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this is gonna suck. 
uh, that last I'm I'm salty about that bloody the bloody eye. Uh, what are we gonna call the little dog this time? Let's call it. Um, You know, because we are on the disc. This, is, uh, if we, assuming we get to the quest, I've never actually made it to the quest as the. Uh, you know, I need to let the dog kill people because um, I am completely. I'm going to be completely useless. Uh, we have. I have to find a melee weapon, like. So the dog is going to basically keep us alive. I'm going to actually take these healing potions to take us up to 14 HP. It's not a lot but it will help our hit dice is not particularly good we do start with a fair bit of gold which is not horrible but yeah we are completely dependent on our pet I mean, at least healers have a way to monitor their pet. We don't have anything. Like, I gotta find a weapon. Um... Okay. Cursed pair of old gloves. Dropped a death drop. That might... Let me see here. Uh, I'm just gonna mark this one as... Those could be gloves of fumbling, but they could also be something much better. Because old means it's not one of the generic items. I don't think there's anything else for us in this level. Alright. So let's go down. Alright, doggy. Uh, do your thing. The only, Oh yeah, the other advantage that tourists have, and I'm using that term very loosely is they do start with a t-shirt which is dog please give me that scroll they do start with a t-shirt uh the t-shirt is not useful in the beginning of the game it will be useful later okay Woo! i'm about to die 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 Yeah, I'm about to die. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. Heal it up. Heal it up. And let's just keep doing this. Uh, the the rule of thumb with the Taurus is we have to use Eberleth basically religiously. Ooh, oh, oh, hold on. Splint mail. That is armor. That is... It's not good armor, but it is armor. It's a very heavy armor. Please tell me. Okay, it's not cursed. And that is seven. Oh, it's it's actually a plus one. That is seven points of armor protection. The problem is it's very heavy. All right, so now that we've rested uh, with spinach, do I need to bless it? I think we just want to just eat it flat out. If spinach is... Much more than other tins. Um, yeah, okay. So it doesn't actually matter. So I can just... Yeah, it, the strength gain from spinach, which just eat it. Uh, as soon as we get down to hungry. Because that will give us a strength bonus, which will help a lot. Well, the entire the entire class is based around Rincewald. Like, if we uh, not Rincewald, uh, Discworld. Like, if we get to the quest, which I have never succeeded with a tourist. Um. All right, let's let the dog handle it. Where's my dog? All right, you know what? I gotta get used to doing this. Eberleth. Yeah. See, um, the rat turned to flee and then immediately ran <clears throat> ran right into my dog and got killed. Uh, yeah, so this is still a tame little dog. 
Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else on this level. Iron skull cap. Uh, let's see if that's cursed. No, it is not. Okay, our armor is already down to two, even though we are level one. Um, okay, I'll take that. We've got to level up soon, just for the hit points, but... Because <clears throat> right now, one good hit will end us. Ooh, an amulet. Uh, how... Is that a cursed amulet? I'm thinking that's a cursed amulet because the dog doesn't want to walk on it. Ooh, a spear. That is a weapon. That is a weapon that's not even cursed. We have found a weapon. Well, if you if you ever read Discworld, the reason that Two Flower, who is the first tourist on the disc, believes that because he's on vacation absolutely nothing bad can happen to them um they are immortal because the disc runs on the power of belief uh what we have here so that's an acid blob uh not something i want to attack okay let's see here Ooh, a wand and a smoky potion but uh i'm also now at full Really, game? All right. Let me eat. Let me eat a tin of spinach, and that caused me to gain a point of strength, which makes me feel like Popeye, and uh, that increases my encumbrance level. So, please tell me this is a useful wand. Yeah, that's not really helpful. Although it's it's cute how it says. You are warded because I'm standing on an Eberlift tile. I've never actually seen that before. I just want to see what are Spears hit dice? I don't I can't imagine they're that good. I've never used one. So a basic spear when used in melee is 1d6. If we can find a dwarven one, it's a little bit better, but that is not amazing. That being said, they do come in the silver variety. So, you know what? I, I will take it just so I have a weapon. Okay. Um... Or the game will just hand me a broadsword. You know what? I, I think I'll just take the broadsword. Uh, where's the dog? Because I have to determine if this is cursed. If I get stuck with a cursed item like now... Um, I No, that is good. Okay, yes. Wield the broadsword. And I believe a broadsword is D112. D1, it's 2D4 or 1D6 plus 1. So, actually, I think the spear is better. I'm actually, let's go, you know, I'm liking the spear. I, I just, I don't know why. But I, I think spear season is what I'm feeling. Like, I'm definitely feeling spear season right now. Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't think I can apply the spear. Can I? No, I cannot. But I can try and get marks in it. Okay, so I did. I successfully killed something. It's actually a very important milestone. Um, protection racket. Protection racket is scary, but it's not a horrible idea. The problem with the protection, you know, given how good our armor is, maybe we could actually pull that off. The problem is getting all the way to Mine Town. I'd rather gain a level and then do the racket. Yeah, I'm thinking. Whoa! How am I? Or that that boulder trap nearly just ended me. 
Uh, yeah, see, that's why I don't want to do the protection racket. Because it literally took one hit, and I'm already down that much. What is that up there? Oh, that's a sink. Um, we don't want to play with the sink right now, but that will be very useful in the semi-near future. A branded mail. Uh, I think that's actually better than a splint mail. Let me see here. Alright. So our AC as of right now is 2. So we take off the splint mail. We go down to 3. But which one is... I think this branded mail... I think, I think we want that extra point of AC. We're just too squishy. Yeah, we're just too squishy without. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can do something with this lynch leechin. Like, I have to use it. I have to use a spear twenty five times successfully to advance the mark. All right, all right. So now we're starting to get hungry. Uh, let's eat the second tin of spinach, and that's another point of strength. Gain. That is a solid, solid improvement on our lives. How has. Oh, yeah, the dog is now leveled up. The dog is now actually a dog. Um, I forget what they top out at. It's like puppy, dog. Um. And now I gotta wait until I my health recovers. Alright. A lot of scrolls, nothing amazing right now. Um this is actually a pretty late hold on. We're on dungeon level four and we haven't found the staircase. We haven't found the staircase leading to um, Rune Dagger. I almost wonder if... So Rune Dagger is an Elven Dagger. It is normally never worth doing this. But maybe Sting... Like, Sting is the shittiest of the... Uh, like, told... Sting is 1d5 times 2 versus fa uh, large. It's one. It's 1d3 and a hit bonus. I can't believe this. I think I'm about to name Sting and use it as a weapon. Because one, one, one d 3 times 2... Means that the minimum hit is two, and it has a two hit bonus, and it has a bonus versus orcs. Yeah, I. I actually think going with Sting is not a bad move here. Yeah, I think I'm going to name this. I think I'm, we're, we're going to name Sting. I have never... I, I've named Sting to force artifact generation. There's a reason why you don't want to do this. Because every artifact generated has implications for other artifacts being generated in the game. But that's really only when wishing. And I don't wish for artifacts. So if we name... So the way you get Sting is you just name an artifact. Uh, you just name an Elven Dagger that. And it shouldn't let me rename it. Yeah, Sting resists the attempt. So that means I successfully created it. That means that's a much lighter weapon that's better. Look, I actually killed something because it hit because of the hit bonus. 
Okay, well, this is entire... And Sting will also not take any damage. Yeah, see, like, I successfully hit that, and... Yeah. That is actually probably... And then we could upgrade it to a Chris, a Chris Knife. I'm going to say that that was a pretty solid, that, that is actually a pretty solid find. Like, it's a waste of an artifact. I think Orcrest is the only other one I might have considered actually going with. Yeah, see, like, I'm actually hitting things. Which, considering I have no skills in it, I am level 1. Yes, and uh, see, look, Sting is now flickering blue, and it's highlighting this orc, and I, I get a bonus towards orc, uh, which goblins count as in this game. I don't know why, they just do. And I just leveled up, and I gained not many hit points, but enough that I am happy. Um, Yeah, let's keep going. I'm, I'm actually thinking, let's get... Let me just keep trying this. Wow, I'm actually... A... The gecko killed me. Because I couldn't switch positions with the goddamn dog. We're going to try that again. That We are going to try that one again. Alright, so we are a male Taurus this time. And we are in a room with no exits. I, I still can't... We, we aren't talking about that one, chat. Um, and my stats are actually worse, but I have no spinach. I think we're on Fluffy 4. I mean, we, we really are... Yeah, I think we're on Fluffy 4. You know what? That works. So let's see if we can find... Yeah. Why am I in a room with no exits? It's like... This is a real short vacation. I can't find the... I can't find the way out of this room! Help! I'm trapped in a room and... Oh, I have a... I just realized I have a potion of blessed extra healing. Um, yes please. That is, uh, that was five hit points, and that, and then, that is 17, because, alright, so now how do I get out of this room? How am I trapped in the first room? Alright, let me let the dog take care of this, because, or the cat. Oh, what's that? A robe? Uh, okay. Also, what is with all these rooms? Like, I feel like I'm about to burn a scroll of magic mapping here. Actually, you know what? I actually think that's not a hard... No, you know what? If we're... Wow, I only started with 349 gold? Like, what the hell game? That is like the worst starting inventory I've ever seen for a tourist. Aside from that cursed, that blessed potion. Alright. Okay. So let's, let's let our pet level up as much as they can. Oh look, another room with no way forward. Like I game what did i do to deserve this was it because i tried to use stig as a serious weapon is this why i'm being punished is this why i have been forsaken yeah i'm just gonna read a scroll of ma like do i really want to read a scroll of magic mapping over this Yeah, I think I am. I can't believe I'm... Uh, God, that, fe that feels wrong to do. I, I'm level one. Uh, however, that 
actually the game uh, that's an altar it's a lawful altar but that is an altar and um okay so that was very careful maneuvering with Ibrolef. uh let's heal slow and steady if we can find the staircase to the mines, I maybe it's... Ooh, hold on. Studded leather. Okay, so the game has made a point that apparently I am going to be a spellcaster this game. AC of 5, that's not bad. What, what was the other thing here? Large box. Yeah, okay, so the game wants me to be a spellcaster. Studded leather leather is probably the best um, armor for spellcasters in the early game. Um, cat, come with me. All right, so now, now, so now that I'm starting to remember how to really do advanced Eberleth, the way it works is the monster gets scared for a certain number of turns, and then my pet can take care of it. Because uh, right now I still don't have a weapon. Uh, and wow, Intel Intelligence thirteen is not the worst. Wisdom nine. Oof. That's about all I'm going to say on that one. I really miss variants where you could just type a command and it just happens. How's the... Okay, so the kin is still a kin, but the kin's probably pretty close to glowing up. Ooh, 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 what do we have here? Okay, we have another spear. Uh, okay, let's, let's see here. I, I guess I'm going to look for my sword and magic helmet. Yeah, what, I mean, 1d6 is respectable. It's not great, but it is respectable. Uh, down staircase. I actually think I want to border go straight for the mines. You know, I, I, I think I do want to try the protection racket. We already had to burn a magic mapping, so if we could just magic map our way all the way to... Let me see here. Loot. Uh, we might have to search this level a bit more. The entrance to the mines are always with in the first... Where did my cat go? Oh, down the stairs. Okay. Fortunately, we come with a lot of food, and right now I don't want to pray because pray has a second effect that monsters get pushed back when you do. All right, I'm not seeing the stairs. Let's look for it on D4, and then we'll go back up if we don't see it. Okay, so that's a goblin corpse, t corpse taken care of. Okay, I'm beginning to feel weak. So let me eat a, a ration. Okay, so that's a staircase. What type of staircase is this? Those are not mines. Um, cobalt corpse that I don't care about. 
I mean, I actually haven't killed anything yet, so if we can make it all the way down, it's not inconceivable. We might actually be able to pull off the protection rack, but we have so little gold. I guess I could sell the camera if there's a general store, but you know what? I'm going to get Orc Town. We're going to get Orc Town, and it's going to suck. All right, let me read the scroll of magic mapping. Uh, and let's just go right for the staircase. Actually, I am going to grab all of that. Uh, because better armor is going to make this easier. Um, if that heart... Let's see here. Is the heart... Okay, so the hard hat is not... That is another bit. Let me drop the cloak. The cloak is not cursed. Okay. Uh, do I need the pick or the sh short sword? I think the short sword is probably better. Let me look at the data image numbers. Like there, I think there is a way to do this in game. So, broad short sword. Let's see here, short sword, because that means it's a dwarven one. Short swords. Short swords are what? Um, that's one d seven versus small one d eight. And I don't remember what a Maddock is because that's what the broad pick is. The Maddock is 1d12 versus small 1d8 plus 1d6, uh, 2d6. Yeah, okay, we're going to use the Maddock. Uh, that is like a no question one. It's just it's really heavy. But at this point, I don't think. Yeah. I f yeah, that's basically our best weapon. Uh, we're just going to have to be really good on stashing, is really what this comes down to. Okay, kitty. Okay, cat just uh, grew up into the house cat. I'm going to eat that. Oh. Take it very slowly. Uh-oh. Why did my cat suddenly... Teleportation trap. Okay. That means they're on the level somewhere. I just have to find them. So they got teleported somewhere. They've got to be... I, I don't know if that was a level teleportation trap or not. It might have been level port. Uh... Frig, without my... Oh, that, that, that ain't... That's a welcoming committee. All right, camera go. Okay, you're blinded by the flash. Okay, we are now feeling weak. I'm going to pray. That doesn't actually help me. Have a good night, Sad Mac. Yeah, I got a really, really crummy... This is not going to end well. Uh, You know what? If I go all the way up here to the corner, I can dig straight down. Yep. 
yeah, we're just going to go right through the floor. Like, if if you can't find your way home, just go through the floor. And yeah, I'm just going to die. Uh, there wasn't a lot I could do with that one. Uh, I mean, it was salvageable, but it was that was just a horrible one. I'm going to roll one more tourist. Let's see if we can get this to start. Uh, wow, that's actually somehow even worse. 292 gold pieces. Like, that's not even discount travel agency. That's like... I don't know what that is. It's not good. That is like the shit. Somehow I've gotten free progressively worse tourists back to back to back. All right, so we got the dog this time. Um, yeah, broke tourist wandered into the dungeon. That's that's actually a pretty good analogy for this. I hate the fact... If the dog had not hit the teleport trap, we would have been okay. I could have possibly saved it, but... Eh. Like, getting the Maddock was not bad, but without the dog, it would have been very, very hard to get the Taurus going. If, like, if we can find a... Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Like, the more the dog levels up, the better it is for everyone. But apparently that corridor doesn't lead anywhere. What is with all the secret doors here? Like, is this like the uh, playing a joke on tourists? Okay, so kicking... Sometimes if you kick a space, it can force the door to appear if it exists. I'm searching... Uh, what is this map? I, uh, fine. There's the door. Why? I... I feel I hate the fact that I'm burning those scrolls on level one. Alright. I think right now we're better off. I, I honestly don't think protect protection racket with that little amount of money is not a good idea. Wow, I only started with 22 darts? That's like as low as... It, that's like the lower bound of what I could possibly have started with. What the hell, game? Alright, so the goblin is killed. I saw the dog wear it, walk on that tile, so okay. Nope, okay, it's a cursed item because, um, I, yeah, this is, I, I feel like we're hitting the limit of what is actually useful, but I will start training dagger, uh, cause you know, sting is not going to be a bad weapon if I can get it again, and elven daggers are not particularly rare. And like I said, you know, it's annoying that that's a cursed item, but I still have, uh, there are ways I can deal with that, really, when it comes down to it. Come on, I got this, I got this. Do I want to try and work with this? I think I want I think I want the dog to deal with this if I can get the dog to if I can get useless somewhere useful. Let's 
here. Crude dagger. Actually, you know, it's probably a stupid idea, but I'm going to just dip this in the fountain. Because this is one way to get rid of it. Yep, and that's how you get rid of it. Alright, I think this is all this level has for us. Uh, oh, what do we have here? A lamp. But is it the magic type of lamp? Because if that's a magic lamp, uh, I need a way to bless it. But that could be, that could be very big. Like we're getting excited over a lamp. What is this? Let me eat, let me eat some of the spare inventory because our inventory is kind of a mess right now. Uh, you know what? I need a towel to clean my fingers because right now I have greasy fingers from eating. Uh, here's someone counting money. Okay, there's a vault on this level. That is actually really big news. If we can get that vault. Oh, and a potion of extra healing. I am actually going to take that immediately for the hit points. As soon as I'm back up to full, I'm going to quaff that potion of extra healing. That Okay, that brings me up to 16 hit points. Ooh, ooh, a Del Concession. Uh, that is not super useful. But it's not the absolute worst that I could ever deal with. Oh, no, the dog's going to eat all the goddamn tripe. Yeah, the dog... Those empty spaces are all the tripe that was in that store that the dog just ate. Uh, and then brings me a clear potion to make holy water with. Are you kidding me? Uh, fizzy potion, fortune cookie, orange potion. You know, I, I, I'm just going to accept this. I'm just going to accept that the dog brought me exactly what I needed. Apparently trying to disprove their name. I'm having problems with this. I'm having problems with this. Uh, okay. I see a ring right there. I don't know. Maybe it'll be something amazing. I have my doubts, but let's, let's see a ruby ring. Dog stepped on it. Ring of invisibility. Uh, what are, are are we are we are we looking for the one ring here? Because this this is what I feel like we're looking for here. I'm gonna grab that crude chainmail. It's it's pretty garbage, but let's just see if it is cursed. It's not cursed. Okay, so w let me so let me get this straight. We we wandered into a dungeon nearly bankrupt. We found the one ring standing in a corner of the room. Um I'm really hoping that's a magic lamp. Like if that is a magic lamp, that is actually kind of amazing. But I have my doubts that that is actually a magic lamp. Um, the way, I, how can I tell if that's a magic lamp? There, uh, there, you know what? There is actually a way I can tell. I just have to remember how, I just, I forgot this is a mechanic of game. So normally shopkeepers won't buy stuff that they don't sell. Like if I drop the lamp here, um, he's uninterested. If, uh, let me eat the pancake. And the creme. I just need to clear out inventory spots. Ooh. Okay. Let the dog handle the mimic. Mimic. 
the dog is not attacking because the dog is not high enough level. So here's how we tell what this is. If I throw the lamp into the room. Oh, they don't that doesn't work anymore. It used to be if you did that, he would just gain the item and you could do a price identification that way. Um and I can't get these two things to fight. Minimics are very slow monsters. I think I can just get around it and then out. Yeah, and we are out of there before we die. Um, the problem is I'd have to bless the lamp to be able to get the wish. Assuming it's a magic lamp, it could just be a normal lamp. Be nice if useless would fight. All right, let me heal up the full and then let's go down. Actually, there's still a little bit more in this part of the dungeon to look at. You know, it's better if I level up a little bit just because I am stupidly squishy. And I think that's it for this level. On to the next. You know, I'm going to wait until I'm on full. Because I'm not going to be able to do the protection racket with this little money. I do have... That's probably a scroll of identification. You know, I'm going to put on the Ring of Invisibility. Uh, my dog's going to have trouble seeing me, but I think it's going to be worth it. This is where we are at. If we can get, let's see here, how close, yeah, I'm not far enough here that I can enhance this. Ooh, a trident. A trident might not be a horrible weapon. What do tridents, tridents get 1, 1d6 plus 1. And they get 3d4 versus large. I think we're going to go with a trident. I think we're going to go with a trident. I think my dog is stuck in a web. Uh, Yeah, I got untrapped my dog. Let's see if that trident is... Un that trident is, in fact, uncursed. All right. We are now Poseidon, God of Seas. We have a trident and the one ring. I also think I have three scrolls of identify. You know what? I'm going to actually burn one. It is. You identify this as an identify scroll because it was cursed. Um... Cursed oil lamp, cursed scroll of a... Okay, well, that's not super useful. Um, yeah, that wasn't super useful, but okay, so be it. Uh, at least we know what identify is. And uh, dog... I don't think the dog is going to... Uh, maybe the dog will. Okay. Wow, that trident is doing work. And I leveled up. That's actually a good place to be. Uh, let's see here. Is this scale mail usable? That scale mail is, in fact, usable. That's actually worse? Yeah, that's actually worse, and it's even heavier. So, okay. Wow, when that when that trident connects, it it does stuff. Like that is a decent weapon at this point. Um, all right, sure. I don't. I feel like there's gotta be another room here. 
Uh, one of these is going to be the mines. This is a bones level. This is a bones level. Uh, Eberleth. Okay. Just wait here. The dog is going to clean this up. I'm hard to hit. Because right now I'm standing on Eberleth. Most enemies in here will respect that. This is a bones level. Um, that, in fact, might change everything. Okay, and we just found some very useful information. Hard shoes, pickaxe. Uh, yes. Let's just grab this and then go up the stairs. Alright, so what did we learn from this little expedition? I'm going to drop the pickaxe. We're going to need it, but we don't need it right now. Um, what, what is the rating on those shoes? Are those, those are not cursed. Alright. So that brings our armor a bit lower. I'm going to wait until we heal up. And Useless is now a large dog, which means that they are going to definitely start chewing through the gnomish mines. Like, we have no money. You know what? This is my own bones level. This is the level we died on. Yeah, look. There's Fluffy 4. We found we found our own body. We can in fact loot our own body. This is a feature of NetHack. I'm actually surprised we have not found a bones level. When you die, it is possible for someone else to find your level. It's the main reason why playing on public servers is so much fun. But we literally just found our own corpse. So now, now Useless is going after Fluffy. So we died over here. And we know what was in our inventory. Um, bones files, like I said, bones files are... They're not considered cheating per se, because they are an intended game mechanic. But um, there are things about them. I'll explain once I actually get to the body. Okay, so Jackal's killed. We just just let Useless clean out the mines as much as possible. Because the monster generation rate will be pretty low at the moment. Actually, I want to get to the staircase and heal up. Okay, uh, Fluffy4 is attacking me. You know what? If I throw a Tripe Ration... Uh, I can re I can retain Fluffy Four. I, I don't know why it took me that long to think about that. So now I have two pets that can kill things. Fluffy Four has returned to us. So Fluffy Four was on the level. All right. So my body is going to be up here where I died last time. Yes. And see, there's my ghost. The problem is that ghosts are very hard to hit, but this was everything in my inventory when I died. Now the problem is they would a lot of these items have will be cursed. I think I want to grab the robe, the money, and I do I want to go with the pick. I will grab the food, might as well. Uh, you know, I will drop the spell. I, I will grab the spell book and I will drop it on the upstairs. Because now we have. Didn't I grab the money? Apparently, I didn't grab the money. I forgot to grab the money, so I had to go back. I also had a hard hat. 
All right, let's let's get out of here. Um, so here's the problem with bones files is they a lot of people it it makes a less pure run in some people because you can get a whole lot of items very quickly from them. Um, and things from these this pile will be cursed. It's kind of the downside to them, but it's not that big of a downside uh so if i drop the pick yeah so a two-handed weapon that is going to be a cursed two-handed weapon that is actually a very dangerous thing to equip i think i'm going to go without the pick i actually think i think the only thing i'm going to take from that pile is the food and the robe i think that's all and the money I think that's all we're going to grab from that. So we know from experience, because we've already been on this level, that the stairs are going to be right here. So let and I, I'm just going to grab that candle so I have light in case we have a dark level. Um, so, you know, there this actually makes it a very good point that we should... Here, what else can I drop here to lay in my load? Let's see if we can get some divine protection. So let's read a scroll of magic mapping. Uh, these scrolls were cursed. These are the ones that I picked up. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, the bones file isn't actually as useful as you'd think. Like it's it's more of a it would be nice. Let me grab that candle. And then let me heal up on the staircase. Yeah, so once I heal up on the staircase, um... So they're definitely we're definitely making progress here with uh with the the pets being what they are yeah so far so good this is basically how the pacifist is run where am i And then suddenly the items start adding up. See, now we have a bunch of daggers. We can't, unfortunately, throw them. But I will actually grab that hooded cloak. Four daggers. Like, we, well, we can throw them. They just wouldn't be very useful because I can't advance daggers. Very, I only can advance daggers to basic. Yeah, no, I've got Fluffy. Fluffy's right there. We're, we, we are on Fluffy. Fluffy 4. Fluffy 4 got a second chance at life. Alright, so let's continue. Oh, okay. Let's let the pets deal with it. Like, if we can actually make it down to Mine Town, uh, I should have enough stuff in my inventory that we could sell. Yeah, you know, let's continue just going straight down to Mine Town. Like, Fluffy, come with me. Uh, the problem is I can't actually get through there. Uh, I, I, there's another way around. Okay, here we go. Uh, I gotta clear out as many items as I can because the pets will probably get upset trying to get through. Or maybe not. Apparently they, they are not having any problems. Ooh, a ring. Ooh, Mine Town. Wow, that was actually really easy. And the dwarf is wear, wielding a pickaxe that I don't want to be anywhere near. 
Pickaxe, hard shoes. Okay, mine town. And now we just gotta be really careful. And maybe the town will have an accident with, let me see if these hard shoes are better than what I currently have. Take off hard shoes, because like, every little bit is gonna help here. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. The goal is the temple. Uh, let me keep going here. Uh, where am I? Okay, so I'm there. Okay, so the wa the dog the dog is currently deleting the town watch, which is actually not a bad thing, because they um there might be a silver saber. This is very careful. Hello. Uh, we're just doing a very chillax stream tonight where we're basically just checking out. We're just doing net hack because I just felt like doing net hack. Um, is check. I think you've got a mimic in your um, in your store. Let's see what we see. That looks like a general store right there. So let me take off the one ring. Yes, that is, in fact, a general store. So we don't need a lot of money to get two pieces of divine. Like, let me start selling some stuff. Because we could do this. So 65 for that. The camera, I think I'm more useful keeping. Um... Let me sell off the scroll of Confused Monster. Yeah, that's because that's not useful. Uh, scroll of Enchant Weapon Cursed. Yeah, that can go away. Uh, what else is going to make a difference for us right now that we can sell? I think that Emerald Ring might be worth selling. Yeah, maybe I can get the pets to steal from me from the store. Um, yeah, let me drop the Ring of Invisibility. I can't actually seem to move. This is getting a little crowded. Alright, let's find the, uh, let's find the altar. I just want to see if I can figure out what this ring is. Okay, it's a cursed ring, which means we won't be able to do anything with it for a long time. So that gets sold right now. And that gives me enough money to get divine protection. And we get three points of divine protection for doing that. Yes! All right, the robe we want to keep, so I'm just going to put that over there. Um, that is solid. Okay, and then I'm just going to eat that corpse. Oh, Anonymous, thank you for the $20 donation. Oh, and okay, apparently that was just Neo Z that did that, but I appreciate it. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to lure the pets. Whoa, that is a thing I don't want to deal with. Okay, uh, let me find a place in this dungeon which is safe for me to heal up. Because uh, this is not a safe place to be. It is this is hard but i f 
the soldiers, the the Mine Town Watch actually has some pretty really game. You're going to give me two floating eyeballs right here. Um, there is a way to deal with this. This is a really stupid way to deal with it. Uh, a O self, and then I get blinded. The floating eye can't damage me. Let me wait until I regain vision. Yeah, okay. And that gives me experience level 3 and a floating eye corpse. And now I can... <laughs> yes! That is a victory. Now we have telepathy. Like that is a that is just a victory in and of itself. We have telepathy. And then let's just eat that lichen corpse. And we have a potion of water. So now we have two potions of water. There's another flowing eye and we have telepathy. Uh, that is feeling very much a win. Let me see what else we can dig up here. So we have hard shoes. We have an iron skull cap. That is a piece of armor. Um, let me keep an eye. Okay. Like, every... If I can make it to to the point that I can in, increase my skills, that would actually make it okay. That is not I don't want to die. I getting to Mine Town was such an achievement. Ooh, a hardware store. Oil lamp. Brass lantern. Brass lantern. Looking gas key. I'll, I'll buy the key. That's actually useful because now I can just uh, lock myself in here, and now I won't die. Oh, and there's a spell book room up here. Rare books. Oh, no, no, no. Don't kill the watch captain in there. Please do not kill the watch captain in there. Because I won't be able to get the gear if you do that there, useless. Okay, come, come with me, useless. If you can kill the... She has a long sword. But I want... She should have some decent gear if my dog can kill her and actually um the dog stole a spell book okay uh i'll take that i will completely take that all right let's see if we drop okay so that's not cursed our ac is down to zero that is a sol a pretty solid opening move. Um, let me drop that. What else can we get rid of here that doesn't actually help us? Uh, we have a ring mail. Let me see if that is better than what we're using. Like, it's not a good piece of armor. Uh, that takes me down to zero. I think that's l lighter, though. So, I think we'll just go with that. Plus, it's plus one and not zero. Uh, small shield and an etched helmet. Well, I, I know where a watchman died because that's what their inventory starts like. Well, it's not a horrible starting location. Let me pray. 
All right, so the lady is pleased. That's a good place to start. Walking shoes is nothing special. Uh, we have a delicatessen. Okay, so you, are you a large... Yeah, you are a, a large dog at this point. So really what it comes down to is I just need to get a weapon skill and we might be able to survive this. It was not a particularly great... Like, it's not the worst mine town I've ever had, but it's a little bit meh on the loot. Hooked pole arm. Yeah, nothing nothing here is useful. Uh, emerald ring for sale. Gray stone for sale. Do not pick up the gray stone. Uh, I think I want that scroll of enchant weapon. I think that's really going to make a huge difference here in the beginning. Oh, and I just finally managed to advance my weapon skill in Trident. I've never advanced Trident. Yeah, okay, so let me drop something so I can actually buy this thing. Uh... 17 fine all right so now we have a scroll of enchant weapon does it make the difference yeah so read i have no way of blessing it so let me just read it as is all right and now i have a plus one trident I'm feeling a bit more confident at the moment. Like, that is not a... It's not a strong start. But I'm thinking that is actually not horrid. Um, Let's get back... Let's get to the main dungeon. Like, let me... Let, let's... Now that we've got some AC behind us... Like, I am killing things. Actually killing quite a few things. Yep, experience level four. We have an amulet and we have a lockpick. Uh, I want to know if that amulet is useful. Most of them are a little bit meh. But um, only like two are actually... Oh, great. My dog just got frozen by the floating eye. That's going to take a very long time to resolve. Uh... I have no idea what this amulet is, but most of them are not bad. Alright, I gotta do something about these floating eyes. So... So what is this oak wand? Oh, it's a vanisher. All right, so hold on. That that's something I need to know about because if it's a vanishing wand, it means uh vanish. So, let me zap it. It didn't disappear. Did it make let's point let me shoot it something and see if it becomes invisible. No, it's... I think that's a Wand of Cancellation. No, uh, it, it's invisible. Let's make invisible. So I found a Wand of Make Invisible. Make Invisible. Okay. Okay. That's a solid. And now my dog is moving again. 
The dog is moving again. I think we want to head back up to the main. I, I don't think there's anything else for us to do here right now. I mean, let, let's let's we could spend some time exploring the mines, which actually is not a bad use of our time at all. By and large, the mines, it's more that you can get swarmed than the actual enemies being dangerous. So let's just do a quick sweep through and see what we get. Especially because now that I have, um, I won't say amazing gear. I have gear. Like, I'm actually killing stuff. Uh, potion of extra healing. I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to take it as is. I, I don't want to risk dying at this point. Uh, I'll take those ten darts. Yeah, I'll take that, definitely. Hey, look, I'm actually killing stuff. Yep. I am legitimately actually killing stuff. We we have a Taurus that is actually gone off the ground. You come back here because you're actually worth a decent amount of experience. And then, now I feel weak. So, and then there's a spell book right there. Uh, yeah, let's, let's haul this spell book out. And then figure out what we're doing next. I don't think we're in a good situation to deal with. I, I hate that my own ghost is apparently touching me and it's causing me to freeze up in place. Like, that that's just not good. Alright, let's let's get out of here before something bad happens. Alright. Dog, come over here. Come on, come over here. Let's get out. And we are out of there. That was that was a massive success. Like that was a complete success for all our major objectives. I still need a better weapon, but um I'm good with this. And also I'm falling down the stairs because I'm burdened. Uh what can I get rid of? Like Let's see here. I can get rid of that spell book. Let's let's start let's start lighting the, lighting the load just a little bit. Um, the less stuff I have on me, the better off we are going to be overall. So we have a spear there. Loot. I don't know. Like I'm I am getting a little tired, but we'll see how much longer I can go. And more food, because that's like the one thing we don't need. Ooh, a, a horse. And I just got an apple. Pony, you are now UPS, Pony. You're going to deliver me to the amulet. I mean, look at that. I'm actually successfully killing stuff, which means that this trident is doing... The trident's doing work. Which I think that means that we should go for Sokoban. Peaceful little dog. Of course, you know, peaceful little dog and then... Um,
And then, of course, the warhorse kills it. Or not the warhorse, the pony. Uh, okay. God, dealing with floating eyes is so scary. Right now, I am feeling weak, so we just eat food rations. I should... I'm going to start praying past this point, because I lie in the load enough. It should be less of a problem. Alright, you know, I should hold on to this wand of make invisible, because apparently the, the AI is just going to use it if I don't. Alright, um... Cool. And now we're experience level 5. That is a very nice place to be. I mean, I am look at look how fast I'm chewing through these folks. All right, so now we've got an iron wand of light. Okay, that's like as boring as it gets. So be it. Um Okay, so now we oh the oracle level. This, are you kidding me? Did my dog just kill the oracle? The dog is trying to kill the oracle. No, you don't kill the oracle. Why is the dog trying to kill the oracle? Come back. You killed the oracle. The oracle dropped a potion. Why did? Why did? Why did you do that? Um, I'm trying to think if spell casting is going to even be remotely useful for us, and I I feel like the answer is no. Rock pincer. Yeah, I think I think we want to just do a quick sokoban. Let me grab this. We'll stash it. Uh, we have a scroll of identity. I think I want... Does Do we have anything worth identifying? I think I want to try and identify that amulet. Amulet of ESP. That's actually good to know, although I should have been able to figure that one out myself. Alright. So, with that being said... Let's see if we can match Sokoban, because unfortunately I'm blind right now, which is not a great place to be. And because it's a yellow light, it might be a while. Oh, a level teleporter. Uh, has potential for the future. So the Sokoban's directly below us. Gnomish Wizard casts a spell. Yeah, let's let's head to Sokoban. Because if we can get some attack wands, it would definitely put us in a, shall we say, less bad situation. And uh, apparently I need to drop that spell book. And I am hitting S every turn because I have no idea where I am. Alright. Loot the large box. Okay. Uh, what can I draw? Okay, so I'm apparently overburdened. I gotta drop... S oh, there's a vault on this level. There is a vault on this level. Let me find the staircase to Sokoban. Let's drop some items because Sokoban's actually a pretty good place to um, make a stash oh and there's an altar there's a neutral altar okay that is actually quite useful 
let me drop all so since we have a stash right here um let me grab that spell book okay so at least that's uncursed drop the spell book what else here actually helps me and pretty much pretty much nothing actually helps me right now nothing in this inventory right now uh esp lets me um lets me basically gives me telepathy all right let me let's farm this altar for a bit if we can and let me pray on this altar for food okay didn't get anything that's fine let's do sokoban oh look another altar lawful apparently this is the apparently this is a temple Ooh, and a <coughs> a blessed scroll of identity um there's going to be good rings in Sokoban, so let's let's go clear Sokoban real quick. Even just the first few levels could be huge. Like I'm not playing super methodically, but we are getting this game. We are going somewhere. I'm actually going to not bring useless into me into Sokoban because you, it's too likely he's going to get stuck somewhere. See, my biggest problem is I don't have a ranged weapon here. Uh, so something... Well, I do have... The, actually, I do have the darts, so that's not that big of a deal. So let's see. Let's just go right... Let's just go right through this as fast as we can. All right. All right. So there... So those are our two scrolls of earth. And either prize is good for us right now. The bag of holding would actually be the better of the two prizes. Okay. Uh, quiver. See, and now... Okay. Grab all that. Grab that wand. All right. So what is this? Oh, a wand of lightning. That is probably one of the best items we could have asked for right now. It's not. It, I mean, it's not flashy. It's not. You know, it's 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 not flashy. But it definitely will help because the um, Wand of Lightnings can burn an Eberlift that don't... Uh, yeah, oh, that was close. That was nearly me miss... That I nearly made the puzzle impossible. Um, I... How do I fix this? If I move three left... Yeah, if I move that there, I can move it back, and we're good. Okay. Ooh, I, I, I do dislike Sokoban. Um, I will throw a food ration so I don't have to... Yeah, I'm actually... I will just throw... Throw... Like that, and I'm going to just take this house cat off the level... And you can just stay here with all my pets. Like all my pets, you'll just be abandoned here on the level below Sokoban. Because you get underfoot and you make these puzzles way harder than they need to be. Because this is such a bad bit of game design. And if you if you feel like I have problems with Sokoban, you are correct. I do. I'm dead. It was a ring of hunger. It was that unidentified ring. What got me? Oh, Team Ant got me. Team Ant got me. 
I think I got spit out by the dust elemental right into team, uh, right into a soldier ant that finished me off one two. I mean, it's not the worst. It wasn't the worst um, ones that I ever played, but that is a. Uh... That's a riparune. That is just a complete rip right there. <sighs> there were more things I could have done on this one. And this is a learning experience. On level 3 there was a vault. And on level 7 there was a vault. I could have gone dug up those vaults. a little rough that is just a little rough i think i may want to call it at this point because how many hours have we been going we've been going for eight hours at this point um that's kind of how tourists play i mean there are people who successfully streak ascensions back to back and do some really unreal things with them that's not me and I just realized the camera is basically not even looking at me at the moment. So let me adjust where the camera is looking. I am. I don't think I want to roll up another one because eight hours in a single go. Let me fix where the camera is. Uh, here's my here. Let me let me pull what few people are actually here. Um, Like, let me do a write-up of this as a community post before we actually end it for tonight. Because I'm just debating if I want to do this. So, let me see here. So, characters played. Uh, we rolled a... The first character we rolled was an archaeologist. Doomed by RNG to suffer. Uh, we rolled, we rolled the monk pilot error because that really, that was all that was three X tourists cheap flight. I, I kind of like that as the cause of death. And I think I want to put that on Mastodon. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, if you were a tourist, like, if you were a tourist, and you were deposited at a place called the Dungeons of Doom, I would have words for my travel agent. Like, the monk actually did pretty well. Like, that was going fairly smoothly as far as monks go. They're just, they have such a miserable middle ground. Like, they peak really early and then they kind of suck all the way through characters played and cause a death F um funds raise i think we've raised about 500 tonight and then i just want to put the i'm going to actually just put some statistics down so we peaked at around, it looks like 45. Honestly, I think that was, that is actually pretty solid, all things considered. Like, you know, we're, we, we literally streamed overnight for eight hours. Here's what, you know, this is what I'm going to put here. I'm going to put in this. Um, I'm seriously considering keeping night stream, um, late night streaming. Uh, something we'll do on the channel. Where we cover off topic items like playing NetHack. Uh, playing NetHack. 
or just having uh, a random, a good old time may just make uh, these will be charity streams at least for December. We'll see going on past this. I'm actually curious, have I lost subscribers over this? I have! I actually lost four subscribers because apparently even NetHack is too based. Like, I shouldn't even be surprised. No, I lost about 10, but I, I actually find that really amusing. Like, I seriously find that amusing. Um, This is looking like a pretty solid place to put it up, though. So, yeah, I think... I mean, it's possible that people are just upset that I'm fundraising for charity. I mean, that's one of the big things that I don't understand why it gets that many people ticked off, but... Every time I've done a charity stream, I lose subscribers. Like, I've lost... Like, the last one I did, which was the GDI one, I actually lost about 350 in total. Which... Okay. I mean, fine. It's not... You know, as people tell me, and honestly, it is the truth, is that if you're going to unsubscribe for me fundraising for well uh, some people just see the stream notifications like yeah you know this is not why i subscribe to this channel but it's why content creators really get taken for granted by a lot of people uh you know i'm, I'm gonna get my soapbox hold on let me find this i mean if you really get down to it there's a lot of people that really just see content creators as making content for them. They don't see content creators as people. Um, the way I could describe this is dream. You know, I hate to bring up dream, but this is probably the best example I can bring up. Dream was a very big Minecraft. It still is, but more a live streamer these days. Um, it was mathematically proven that they cheat uh, that he cheated and his community basically defended him in front of mathematical proof that of wrongdoing and would attack anyone that would um go otherwise i mean and that's really what it comes down as a content creator like i could just do retro computer videos nonstop Honestly, I got kind of the the thing is Vel is that what content creator doesn't have a uh, cult of personality around them? You don't know the person. I mean, you know me because I'm active on my Discord, but most creators are not active in their own communities. Like, how many people can say they know LGR? LGR is probably the single largest name. Uh, LGR and 8-Bit Guy are the two largest names in vintage computing, with Michael MJD probably behind them. And how many people can say they know Clint is a person? How many people know... Um... Wow, I can't actually think of 8-Bit Guy's actual name. It's going to hit me like in 20 minutes, and I'm going to feel really annoyed with myself, but it's... The problem with being a YouTuber is, A, you're kind of tied... David Murray. I should have known that. I should have known that one. But, I mean, that's really what it comes down to, is... Are you supporting the person, or are you supporting the content? Like, if LGR suddenly started doing a lot of content on... I don't know. Um, Magic the Gathering trading cards, because... For the life of me, I, I couldn't think of anything else. I don't even know why that came to it. Um, a lot of people would basically stare at him and wonder, what the hell, dude? But, and for my actual videos, I don't intend to deviate from vintage computing. At least not for the time being. I might do some related topics, but I've got, you know, I'll actually, let me bring it up. Just because I want to 
show that I am still working on things. Uh, let me bring desktop view up. Actually, before I do that, uh, let me just bring it up because I don't remember what's going to come up when I bring Resolve. Just because I have a whole bunch of stuff in there that I don't know if I necessarily want to show on camera. It's not, it's not like I really care that much, but I've been going through and organizing the whole damn thing. And right now, I don't have the time physically in my life to do these sorts of things properly. I really do not. I mean, maybe I'll do a live stream where I actually do video editing. It's not actually that horrible idea. It's a little bit meta, but... Um, Alright, so that's coming up. Like... Come on. Oh, why is DaVinci Resolve this slow? I'm, I'm just waiting for it to go full screen before I bring it up. I mean... I was using computers from when I was like six or seven. And a lot of it, though, is stuff that I've learned after the fact. So, I mean, this is the stuff that I am handling on Resolve with my editor. Like, I'm not doing this video on my own because I literally don't have the time. But this is a re-edited version of the POSIX video. And you can see that, you know, there are animations. This is up to basically the same level of quality I've done before. I just... You know, this is what, uh, 15 minutes, give or take. And I have maybe been able to open this project file for a few hours at most. It's how little time I really have at the moment. So, um, Zeandra, that's kind of true for streaming, but not so much for video videos in and of itself. I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because this one is nearly done as is. It only needs, like, a little bit more work, and I can call it done. Like, I might be able to finish it this coming week. I just have to... I just have to get nose to the grindstone and do it. So, I think, though... I think, though, on that note, I'm going to call it for the night. It's 522. Um... The bagel place near me opens around 6, although I don't actually know if I'm going to go get bagels. Um, yeah. So, I guess if you've enjoyed this live stream, uh, actually, the last thing I'm going to do before I end the live stream is I'm going to take this post. I'm going to... Let me, let me put that up as a community post first, and I'll even put it up on Mastodon. So, let me do that before we end it out for the night. Um, okay, so I just put that up on Mastodon, and then let me go grab this, uh, let me go grab this, let me open the studio, create post, okay. So, going to say that my first late night stream was pretty successful. We raised $500 and played NetHack for eight hours. And I'd like to think it was a pretty good time for all. Yeah, pretty good time for all. Uh, would love to hear if you'd like to see more of these late night streams for times where my life simply doesn't let me stream during daylight hours for most of the English speaking. Okay. Here's the character rundown and I'm just going to post this as a poll and we will see NetHack characters uh, NetHack characters played and causes of death uh, what, where, where are we currently on our fundraising we are at 3.7 uh, there is slight uh, is that issue really coming back
Okay, peaked at 45. Yep. <sighs> nice. I mean, I was streaming for eight, uh, eight and a half hours, so I think this is a good place to call it. I'm just going to, um... It'd be interesting to see. Yeah, I'm not even going to make this a poll, I'm just going to post it. And I think on that note, this has been your host, End Commander, and until next time, I will see you all when I see you. Bye-bye.